All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another stream. So, uh, we've got a new build idea for the day, right? Today is going to be the boom build, okay? <laughs> I'm excited. Um, when you're doing the grandmother build or the granny build, I, I just wasn't feeling it. It's kind of, after that much playing with it, I may I may make a video on fighting Caldera with it instead. Um, because it was just kind of, eh. Um, but it was, it was fun. I wanted to try something different right now, though. So we are going to try it and explode, uh, as much as possible. So we've got abilities such as Shield Infuse, we've got Gong Strike, we've got the Runic Trap, um, all kinds of stuff we're going to be going for. Um, now in the beginning we don't really have much other than maybe the bombs, because they did add that, uh, the bomb drops, but we'll see. What's up, Raphael? Janelle, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I am pretty excited for this one. We'll see how it goes. I, I haven't used the shield to beat the game yet. So, and I will be this time. Kind of uh, intrigued by that. I'll be doing, I think probably what's going to happen is I'll be doing the, the old rune switch. So, use a rune or a lexicon and then switch to a shield when I need to. Uh, which I don't really like doing, but I think with this build it'll be fine, because I can hotbar it. So, we'll see how it goes. Also got a new mic. Hopefully it sounds a lot better. Uh, got a new mic, and uh, it's working better for at least the videos. So, that's nice. That's pretty cool. And, let's see. What's up, uh, Rosie? Or Rusi? What's going on? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Let's see, do I want to use... I think I've never used the fishing harpoon here. I don't really know. I always, It's always hard to figure out what kind of weapon you want to use in the first area. I usually choose the wooden club, but I feel like I should branch out, you know what I mean? Okay, let's talk to you, Zan, to get our other piece of clothing here. Hey there. You'll catch a Boom! If you name a character, it's hilarious. Clothes. Thanks, you, Zan. You're a good guy. We back, another blood price, another adventure. What's up, the steed? It's cooking. Boom. Junk pile. Need all that. Uh, what a save. What path will you follow in main quest? That's a good question. I was going to ask you guys what you thought. Uh, there are a couple different options we could take. I think blue chamber is is pointless. Um, I, It's just not going to be that good. Now, Levant or Heroic Kingdom isn't that great either, considering it's just extra damage. And we could get some better bonuses. So, Holy Mission would honestly be the best. Um, but that requires us to do the Holy Mission faction quest, and that's one of my least favorites. To complete. So, it's either Soroborians or Holy Mission. I'm not 100% on which yet. All right, this says 14. Let's go with the machete. We're going to be using a sword this time. We're going to be using the ethereal mana sword. So let's start out right and let's practice with the good old machete. All right. One of the classic first weapons you should be using, the machete. Not very good. No, not very good at all. With a little bit of a cold rag, we should be okay. Well, you know what? Yeah, I have I have push kick on. I'm trying to separate the IE in here. Uh, Jano, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, my friend. I'm fine. I heard they broke a uh, rune trap. It's no longer can teleport you. It's very sad. Yeah, they, they fixed it. Yeah. Thankfully. A lot of people were pretty upset about that one. It was kind of fun, though. Oh, here, they're separated. Come here, you. Yes. Fight me by yourself, you ignorant dog. And then I run up here. All oh, sword play is going to be fun, ladies and gentlemen, because from what I have learned in the last couple of streams, stream playthroughs, is that the sword has one of the best combos in the game. And I never utilized it when I played with my other runic, or, uh, yeah, rune sword build, whatever it's called, ethereal sword. It's going to be fun to see the combinations, too. I don't always remember him. He just hit me? How dare he? The fool. Oh, we did get a fang, though. That's good, because we can make a fang sword right off the bat. 
That is a really nice find. Um, let's see. Hyena? As two leather. So that's two leather. We can make our leather attire already. Boom. Easy. Game's giving us the win, ladies and gentlemen. Giving us the win. And that is an extra five pouch bonus. Hence why I'm making it early on. What's up, Tabletop Rolls? What's going on? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Hey, oh, hey, I almost missed the start. So did you prepare Red Hat and <laughs> name the character appropriately? Uh, I did not prepare the Red Hat because I went with Tenebris instead. Because Tenebris has an interesting enchantment. Um, I went for the enchantments this time instead of the other stuff. Also, the the Red Hat, or all, actually the, all of the hats, the mage hats... Am I not able to grab this? This is weird. They all have a like a collar thing, and sometimes it messes with the armor. It does it does not look good with certain armors. It actually kind of annoys me because those hats are some of the best hats in the game. But they have that weird looking collar thing that messes with them. Beard of Berg? Oh, wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, instead I went for the it's actually a really good enchantment. I went for the enchantment on the runic chestplate because the runic chestplate is just fun. I, I really like it, and I also think it's one of the better chestplates look-wise in the game. Um, so we're going to go with that one because we want a bit of decay. Yeah, I think the enchantment gives us decay damage. So when we want to switch it up, we can use decay damage as well. Not that I'll be doing that that often because I usually don't, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Alright, here we go. Stash. Uh, This is probably one of the worst stash I have ever gotten of all time. The worst. That's sad. Okay, let's move this to bag, this to bag, and then we're good. Kind of excited for the start here. Uh, A lot of this character's power is going to come from later on. So, we do need to get ourselves a nice shield. Now, should I buy an iron shield? That's going to put me back a little bit. It's probably worth it, though, right? I'm thinking it probably is. Okay, we need to make our Gabberry Tartines here. Three Gabberry Tartines. Nice. Um, Flint and Steel I can sell, I think. I always forget to sell that, though. That's kind of funny. I always end up with, like, three, four, five Flint and Steel. Just chilling with it. Like a dork. Do you recommend decrafting a leather bag to leave Sierra with full makeshift leather? Uh, I actually usually use the makeshift leather. Actually, that's not a bad idea. The steed, maybe we'll do that. Rise and shine, trog spawn. You there you, you speak to me like that. And not pay what you owe the tribe. A blood price. If I don't, yeah, enough of that. Only oh, yeah. That's why I think you, blonde man. I'm sorry, that was that gives that does you must find a listen. All this right. is your task. That does never forget if you She's still talking. You only there we go. Two days. <laughs> She's May still talking. Watch over you. What's up, uh, six gun? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. You shots, I don't know you, but I will find you and I will give you red hat. <laughs> nice. Hey, that red hat looks good, though. I feel bad not playing with the any of the the mage hats, but man, do they freaking. They look awful with that collar. If you once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. Trog spawn. What's up, Dusty? Grab some gab berries here. I'm excited for this build, mostly because I find shield infused to be a fascinating skill. And I've never gotten to use it except for like a build testing video. So I'm pumped to use it. I was, was kind of sad I can't use Speedster. I really wanted to, but can't use it with my build. Sucks. Happy to be one of my first stream Sheen Shots stream. Just started playing out. What's up, Tyler? Glad you can make it, my friend. Hopefully you're enjoying the game. Do I don't have water. I don't. Huh? Glad you're uh, hopefully you're enjoying the game. Thanks for coming out to the stream. And yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun today, so. A lot of fun today. Now I don't know how much I'll be killing before I get to Burr, because I do need some money for these skill trees. I do need some money for these skill trees. They ain't cheap, you know? They ain't cheap. What is this loot that we're getting right now? This is abysmal at best. Abysmal. Abysmal. Is the bomb bug fixed? Yes, uh, that bug is fixed. Yep. 
You can officially use runic trap. Well, we'll definitely be testing it to make sure. Uh, but yeah, it's it's fixed. That was came out in the recent mini patch, I guess you could call it. They fixed her up. Got that done pretty quickly, as it was uh, only minutely breaking the game. Friend. Only minutely. You know. Hmm. Do I need... I think I might need the boots. I can't remember if that counts as boots. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, Rune Traps is not bugged anymore, though. So that's good. That's good news for us. Holy Borg, what's going on? I've been binge-watching your channel. Love Outward and obsessively playing it the past couple weeks. Awesome! Welcome to the stream. Glad you're joining. It. Oh, I've been playing it for... A better part of a year now, I think. I think I, I think my channel's over a year old in terms of outward content now. Yeah, I think so. So, yeah, I'm loving it. I love the game. It was getting uh, that granny build, man. I tell you what, I liked the build. It was fun. It was a gimmick build, but I just, I it bored me after I got everything set up, you know, because it was basically just spam ability from far away. I'm still going to make a video of it in Caldera probably, but... Man, I just... I couldn't do it. I had to make a new build. That's how all of my, uh... Outward experience ends up. I'm just like, eh, I'm bored. Let me make a new build. Let me make a new one. Oh, you know what? We'll use the plank shield, ladies and gentlemen. Use the plank shield. That'll be a blast. Skill trees for this build. Um, skill trees are going to be... The... Kasai Spellblade. A classic, and one of my favorites, of course. And then we will have... Probably Mercenary. Mercenary has a lot of cool things. And will be extremely helpful for this build. And then we will take... Uh, the Rune. Uh, Rune Mage. Rune Mage is awesome. So. Uh, Lucas! Hi, Shin How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Good to see you in the chat. What brings you here? Hey, Roland. How's it yeah, going? Yeah, shame about the ship. Mm. Uh, accidents like this happen all the time. She's awesome. Option two, I think. Exactly. If my brother had a smaller ship, I guarantee you wouldn't have had any trouble coasting in. If my brother had a smaller ship. That's hilarious. I don't think he wants my help. Oh, this is the worst day I've had in forever. Poor Roland. You feel bad for him. Can you imagine, like, you're in, you're in trouble for a ship being crashed because you didn't light the lighthouse and you blame your brother for having too big of a ship. Like, that's just hilarious. That's just hilarious. Get the mushroom shield? Probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Another one of my favorite starter items. The mushroom shield. What's so great about Spellblade? Uh, it's just fantastic. Um, usually elemental discharge for the... Mid-range combat is what I like it for. I'm a big fan of that mid-range combat. Alright, do I need anything else here? We'll, take, we'll be taking Gong Strike now this time, though. And I have never played with Gong Strike. Um, I mean, I've play tested it, but I've never actually played with it. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, two Flint and Steels here. For a total of 41. Now, we need a little bit more than that, I think. Yeah, we need quite a bit more than that. To get the Shield... Uh, what is it? Shield Bash? Shield Charge. Yeah, we need a lot more than that. I need both of these first. So we have five silver. That's fantastic. That's what I want to see. Not only did I not get anything else, but I didn't even get my iron sword or backpack yet. Feeling really good about this. Is there even anything else I could sell? Wow. I just crushed myself. Okay. Let me think here. We're going to have to sell the good old machete probably. And we do have the fang. That's good for the Is there something you iron need? sword that I need later. Dude, I need like a butt ton of money. How much you got? 25. I could sell the pickaxe because I'm about to get a new one. Sell those. And the iron to start out with. We're up to 16. 18. It's not looking good for me. I think that's enough though. No, I'm off by two. I'll sell one of these. There we go. And now we get our backpack. I literally can't play without the backpack. This, I don't know. Alright, someone said I need to decraft the leather. 
Yeah, I need to decraft a leather... Whatever this thing's called. Satchel? Yeah. Primitive satchel. Okay, let's see what, what happens here. It's cool. Okay, we get two hide, which then means we can take this off and this off. And get a... Full leather set. Awesome. Look at that. That's a good uh, strategy, the steed. I've never done that before. It's a great idea. So now we have 15 pocket space from our little bit of our armor. We have our nice backpack. Our machete, I'd like to not start with the machete. I'm going to be totally honest with you right now. But it does have a fast attack speed. So we're going to run with the machete for the for the time being. For the time being. Uh, Tito, hey dude, you're very entertaining to watch. And the inform informative videos are also great. Thank you, appreciate that. Thank you for letting me know that. Always nice to uh, hear that. Trog Spears in the cave if you need some more money. Oh, true. I could go grab those and sell those. That's a brilliant idea. Need something? Yeah, I'm going outside, well, Burek. Teach me a skill. Here, there you go. Ah, yes. I'm good old puncture. Right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. He feels comfortable. Use the door when you want to head out. Do I want this on E or R? I, always, I never know which one is better, E or R. All right, we need shield bash. Uh, are the trog spirits going to be enough? Probably not. Probably not. We can get the blue sand on the beach, though. That'll be enough. Garrison, outward. The game I'm never bored of. Yeah, this game's awesome. What's up? Smokey Man, welcome to the stream. Can you die in front of Vendival Fortress? I mean, I can. I've done it before. You get trapped, though, don't you? New build sounds fun. I'm excited for the new build. Uh... This isn't a gimmick build like my last one. This is going to be a straight up, like, how high can we get our damage? That's what I want to see. And we're going to have multiple sources of damage bonus, too. So we're not going to be in trouble ever, I don't think. We're going to have the advantage most of the time. You know? We come across an enemy, we're going to have the advantage. That's all I'm saying. We're going to be able to blast them to death with our abilities. Okay, give me something good from this. And that was not great. Another pickaxe, though. I mean, I could sell that. That's five silver. It's not much. I think I did get a few things to sell, though. Yes, again, it's like, eh. Did I, though? I am going to need the frost rag because, unfortunately, I have the machete. It's terrible. Nate, is this basically an area of effect only build? Kind of, yeah. Kind of, yeah. We're going to be doing a lot of uh, explosion damage. True. All right, where's the truck at? He's not hiding back here. We've we've kind of established that to start out with. There is no trog back here. There he is. Dude is trying to follow me around. All right. Big part of this build is going to be actually shield bash. Or shield charge. Because the one thing that the runic sword does not have is impact. So I need something with good impact. Luckily... Shield charge has it. Dang, puncture be coming back really fast. Okay, wait for the next attack. Easy. Easy clap. We got those trogs. Feeling good, you know? When you take down the easiest enemy in the game, it, it makes you feel really strong. Feel real confident. Proud of yourself, almost. You know? I feel like I can take on a uh, immaculate at this point. With my tiny machete. That barely cuts through trogs. By the way, did they ever fix the bug with the imbues? I, I don't remember if they did that. Also, wanted to use Gong Strike and use a more sh uh, shield-focused build. Yeah, that's the idea behind this as well. Because shields are phenomenal, but I feel like they get underused just because like no one sets them up to do all the damage. Take Shield Infusion? Yes, Shield Infusion will be getting used because it's an amazing skill. Um, and since I have got to show it off, I, I kind of want to. I've got to show it off. Maculates mean nothing in fear of the mighty uh, machete. Exactly. Let's turn off my lantern. We're gonna we're gonna start a new habit for the stream, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be having our lantern turned off when it's light out. Okay. Hold me to that. Okay. That's important. Oh, look at this guy. He wants some of this, huh? Some of this. Take one of these. Do Merc Rune Spellblade? I think that is what I'm going to do. A Gep's Blade? I never tr I never thought about Gep's Blade. That's actually a good idea for the AoE. Did I just already eat one of these? That's fine. 
All right, we need to make sure we drop bag. That could give me the old run around if I don't be careful. What's up? Oh, you didn't know I could block that with the shield? Huh? Huh? Do something. Do something. Want some more? You mean nothing to me. Yeah. Alright, machete. Low impact. Not gonna lie. Has very low impact. Alright, lightning ball me. Oh, don't, don't be running at me. Oh, man. Yeah, I can block that, bro. You didn't know that, did you? Oof. Ooh, impact. Oh, you're you're getting destroyed, bro. Aren't you supposed to be this big bam monster? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get some. Yeah, take that. Already feeling really confident with the shield. Already feeling really confident. Maybe a bit overconfident. Maybe a bit overconfident. We'll see. When I get immediately rocked by a hard enemy, then then we can be underconfident. <laughs> Newell, what's going on? A real challenge build, lantern off the whole game. Exactly. Exactly. You guys really know me. You, you get me. What is this prober doing all the way down here? Buddy, this is the beach. There's no grass here for you to eat. What are you doing? You fool. I can't. There you go. I Here's your bandage. Working. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome, buddy. I don't think I'm fit to run back home. No, just yet. you pretty much suck. You got beat up by mantises. Mant mantises? Mantises. You're pretty bad. Jill's the best weapon in the game. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's gonna be a famed hidden lexicon run. I do have a lexicon enchanted in my legacy chest. I'll show you guys the enchant when I get it. Very excited to use that. Very excited. By the way, I decided to follow your money-making guide and just grabbed Merton's fire poker. Headed over to Wind Temple next. Awesome, Tyler. Good luck. The Wind Temple's the hardest part of that run, honestly. If, you, if you've never done it before. Other than that, the golems are the hardest part. Alright. Come on, buddy. What are you gonna do? Do something else. Is there a bird behind me? It sounds like there is. Oh! He dodged my kick. What a professional mantis. What are you doing? Wow. Yeah, impact. Impact is a very key here. Boom, Mantis Shrimp done for. What are you looking at, you punk? What are you looking at? Let me get some stamina back. Calm down. Jeez. Whoa. Whoa. All right, here we go. Here we go. The old Traveler versus the Pearl Bird. Who wins? Apparently he does, because he's backing up. Oh. Yeah, get on the ground. And you're dead. Boom. Puncture is really good. I like Puncture. I'm already liking it a lot. Uh, Weston. Is the rune perk that lets you cast without a book worth taking, or is it better to swap equipment around? Um, it's... Fair question. Um, so let me explain it in the way I think of. It's useless if you want to make a powerful build. If you want to make a powerful build. It's internalized lexicon, which is the skill that lets you have a... Uh, use lexicon abilities with no lexicon is useless if you want to make a very powerful build. You can make good builds with it, but not very powerful. The runic prefix is so much better in terms of defense, damage, all that jazz. Um, so swapping in that case is better, which is what I'll be what, what I'll be doing. But it does get annoying if you're going to be constantly swapping sometimes. So you know. Sometimes, uh, the convenience factor wins over damage, you know? Sometimes it does. That's how I feel. That's how I've always felt about it. It's like, it's, it's there for a reason, you know? It's there for a reason. But it's just definitely not one of the stronger abilities in the game. You took normal lexicon with forbidden lore? Uh, I took... No, I actually took the... Light Mender's Lexicon, and I enchanted it to have mana regen, interestingly enough. I thought it was a fun little enchant. That doesn't really add anything in terms of power, but it's kind of a fun little enchant to have. Show timers, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. 
There are I, the one enchant that I really want to try on a lexicon, and the reason I didn't do it for this build is because I'm not doing physical damage. But the one that gives you 40% physical damage bonus, like holy cow, that's a lot. Made a build like this before, I think. Uh, it's very similar to my Mana Knight build, except for this is going to be better. This is going to be focused on uh, the shield. The Runic Knight actually didn't use the shield. Uh, he had it as backup. This will be entirely maining shield. Lantern Control, dropping bag to sleep. Who are you? And what did you do with Sheen Chats? <laughs> I'd become something that I was never meant to be. I'm writing my own story now. Go kill a mantis shrimp. Another one. How many of these things are there? A lot. Play that. Alright. Um, We do have quite a bit of loot that we can we kind of head back to town here. Again, not a fan of this machete. Really not. But it does look... It looks cool. I'll give it that. Ooh, barely dodged that. What a professional. Professional player that I am. Dodging lightning balls out of nowhere. Ooh, what you think? You're gonna hit me with that? I don't think so, bro. Ooh, I don't think so. Can we can we defeat the wall? Can we defeat the environmental problems? Puncture. Back up. Sometimes that has a little bit more range than you'd think. See so you have slowdown on him? The rag doesn't inflict slowdown, right? Oof, I got hit. Failed to run. Going home, boys. <laughs> Failed to run. Going home, boys. Alright, I'm we'll grab his stuff. I wish this cave had more in it. It's a cool cave. Just kind of pretty insignificant other than the Roland quest. Alright, lantern back on. Should you going for elemental damage or physical? Uh, it'd be elemental damage. It'll be elemental damage. What's up, Rodolfo? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Also, when you sheathe your weapon, you run faster. Less stamina consumption. That is true. true. Also, guys, I had this idea. Um, I don't know where I should do this. Oh, if any of you are in my Discord. Soon, I'm going to do a poll, actually. I, I probably won't even do it with Discord. Soon, I'm going to do a poll, and I'm just going to ask for tips and tricks. I'm going to make a, a very 10-minute a video. And I'm going to quickly run through 50 plus tips and tricks. I think that's a good idea. Uh, probably be one of my final tips and tricks videos I make. But I think it's going to be really cool to see kind of all the things that... Uh, that we outward players do constantly that we always forget about. You know? Might be a good idea. What is the boom in this? Alright, we got shield and fuse. We've got uh, runic trap. And we have gong strike as well. Uh, Jaroslav, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Did I grab all of the blue sand? I did. Five. Okay. We need to go around here. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm out. No, I have... Yeah, we need to make more linen cloth or I'm screwed. There's literally no reason to fight these guys without ice. They don't freaking die. Had area bosses to clear mobs for me. Yeah, kind of run uh, bo or enemies. Use the enemies to defeat your other enemies. I like that one. Did I end up with three water canteens? Why did this not use my water? Did you see that? It was full. Weird. Odd. Oh well. Continue on. They fixed the rune trap. I forgot about it. Yeah, they did fix it. Thank goodness. Oh, what? You want some of this? Block! I'm so excited for the blocking of shields. Watch this. Oh, I'm just gonna scratch my nose here. <laughs> oh, man. What are you doing that for? Think I'm gonna stand in range of that? No. You are looking at the wrong outward player if you think I'm doing that. Dodge backwards. Block! <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, hey, you know that ability that you can really kill me with? Yeah, I'm just going to block that. I'm going to completely avoid it. Block. Oof. Wrecked. 
Yeah, th these guys actually kind of look creepy at nighttime. Are we seeing this? Does that not look kind of creepy? Their heads don't move, but their bodies do. They kind of wiggle around the ground. Kind of wiggle around. How long does this imbue last? 19 seconds? That's not long enough. Not long enough. Physical damage in channel. That's kind of super fun on a mace build. I bet it is. Yeah, I I really uh, I really wanted to take it, but then my I set up my build for elemental damage instead. Just because I want to use some of these abilities that I've never used before. Mostly uh, Gong Strike and Shield and Fuge. Shield and Fuge. Ooh. The impact. Alright, Puncture just being an absolute freaking beast right now. An absolute animal. Alright, we're gonna grab this blue sand and just dip. We're not even gonna... We're not even gonna go up here. We're just gonna go back. Did I grab the Amalite? Eh, it's another shrimp. It's like five shrimpies. Shrampies that I'm fighting. That's fine. I think there's another blue sand anyway. We're gonna... We're gonna dip. We're gonna go back to now. That's all we needed to get, anyway. Have they fixed varnishes and rags? I don't know, actually. I can't tell. Um, because it wasn't in the notes for the patch. But I don't know, like... It's hard to tell, because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So, we'll, we'll have to see. Hey, Sheen, what is the time in your area? Uh, it's 9.30 a.m. My time. That's yeah, central time, Alpha. Shields block magic projectiles? Or always has been? Uh, they've always done that. A lot of people didn't know that, though. A lot of people didn't know that. Because your weapon... Your weapon can block attacks, but your weapon cannot block projectiles. Um, but the shield can. That's one of the major advantages to using a shield, is that you can block more attacks than you can with a weapon. So, yeah. It's always been able to do that, but uh, it's... A lot of people don't know it can. But it doesn't block area of effect. So, like, AoEs. Which are blast damage on the ground. So the mantis shrimp actually do blast damage when they, they do a lightning blast near them. That you cannot block. That is why you get shield infused. Because you can block it with that. Bought Remnant with all DLC after catching your stream a few weeks ago. Just waiting on a friend to pick it up for co-op. Awesome Fisk. Yeah dude that's that's a fun game. That's one of the most fun games of playing co-op. Bro it's a blast. It's a freaking blast. You just, uh, you're constantly fighting, you know? And there's all these kinds of abilities you can use and stuff. It's an all-around good time. Can I get the Pearlbird Mask? Can I, can I get so lucky? Oof. Oof. That didn't knock him down? Okay. That did. Mmm. Not so lucky, guys. Not gonna get, not gonna happen immediately. Not gonna happen immediately. Most build use the no dodge penalty when using backpack breakthrough. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. I really like that breakthrough, but it uh, it's not going to be that good for this build. Uh, because when you're using a shield, ideally, you want to be blocking instead of dodging, right? Especially if you take shield and fuse. So, if I was to dodge, I'd be hurting myself anyway. Look at that. Flawless. Flawless combat. Makes you almost tear up, you know? It just looks so good. And then later I die to a freaking trap or something. It's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Sometimes projectiles are AoE, so it can be consistent at times. Yeah, occasionally. I'm trying to think of a projectile that's AoE. Can't think of one right now. I, I believe I know what you're talking about, though. More arrows, bullets, yada yada. Actually, I could sell these arrows, I think. Don't the elemental arrows sell for more? About to find out, I guess. Got nine instead of, like, four. Which is cool. Any other counters should be able to block the ground pound, too. Yeah, all the counters block everything, which is really funny. Because if you... I think if you read the skills... If I remember, they actually just say they block physical. But they will block everything. You can actually block, um, Counter-Strike is a skill that's, like, lets you 
take your weapon out, block something, and then you hit back, right? You can actually block it with a projectile and then just swing. Sometimes it'll hit the enemy even if they're not near you. It's kind of funny. Sword swing and special combo is so good. Yeah, I agree. It's awesome. It's awesome. Immaculate Warlock, like Firewall Projectile. Oh, true. That may be an AoE. I'm not 100% on that one. I'd have to test to see if you could block. So, like, some of them are AoE, but they, uh... They, they're just weird. You can block them, but they still have an effect after you block it. It's Greetings, very friend. odd. We'll have to test her out, guys. Oh my word, look at that. Making money like a professional. Almost like I played this game, like, once or twice before. One time, right? Um, I guess we'll keep the landers for now. Let's go buy our amazing shield bash and maybe get a better shield. Uh, Cagematic Gaming, Yoshin, hope your day is going well, bro. That mana build was awesome, my dude. Yeah, glad you enjoyed that. That was pretty fun. That was pretty fun when I made. I liked that. What's up, half Ren? What's going on? Getting the Fang Sword? Heck yeah, we're getting the Fang Sword. Amber, my friend. I need my shield charge. Boom. I need to buy the Iron Sword. Yeah. Maybe the Iron Shield as well? Let's see. The extra flint and steel. Yeah, thanks, the steed. Ah, I told you, it happens. It happens every time. I always end up with more flint and steel. What can I do for you? Ah, let me browse your All shop, broski. Right. Sometimes, uh, one time I looked in here and I like eight of them. What am I doing? Nothing good, that's for sure. All right, shield and sword. Easy, easy. A lot of larva eggs. Fancy that. Now, let's see the damage. Uh, plank shield is nine damage. This is 15, so it's already a six increase in that. Impact is 25. The impact of this is 36. Durability is pretty bad in the plank shield as well. Okay. Yeah, iron shield is definitely way better, which I mean, I already knew, but. Um, let's see. We need fangs. Oh, I have to de equip that, don't I? Here we go. We need fangs and the sword. And I believe a linen cloth, which I don't have. Oh, I have one. This now does 22 damage, 17 impact, 1.1 attack speed, inflicts bleeding. Okay. You craft this in iron for now. I might need some later. All right, now we're looking good, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking okay. Looking all right. Let me go turn in travel favor real quick. All right. Let's build, take the internalized lexicon or... Uh, I thought about it. I was almost going to do it, and then I was like, but wait a minute. But wait a minute. I don't really need it. Um, so I I may take it. We'll see. I'd prefer not to. But I might. I might. I, in my in my write-up of the build, no. But we'll Greetings. see what happens whenever I take I'll the, the skills. It depends on how much I'll be using the runes anyway. Which I'll probably use them as backup. I might take internalized lexicon. Who knows? It might be useful. Uh, blood you press. And don't. Well, Oliel and his Oliel is leaving to go join the Holy. That's fantastic. <gasps> you keep talking. I'm gonna do my own thing. Them. I did. I didn't want to take it, but this may be a build where it's, it's actually a benefit rather than a hindrance. Can you make the Iron Shield Fang too? Uh, I don't know if I ended up with enough fangs. Yeah, not right now. I can't. I right, was gonna activate that for no reason whatsoever fun you know you know how it is where did i need to go Olil and yazan let's talk to yazan first consider a strange rusted sword for the start of this build until the rune skills that is maybe yeah maybe i take it you've heard the news Come yeah i heard you leaving bro Levant. and you won't take me because i can't swim you but you're a robot so that doesn't make any sense Abrasar desert i'll be waiting Maybe I should grab Breast Stranger's Sword. I haven't grabbed that on uh, stream ever. It's not a ba it's a good sword to start with, so yeah, well. I guess this is goodbye. I'll miss it. Or Start using a gauntlet now, build with enchanted or Colcom armor, primal Follow wind, savage fan knuckles. So I am also considering silver chesty for lightning. The holy mission. It's fun. Yeah, the savage knuckles are really, really fast. Really fast. What legacy items did you transfer? 
So the legacy items for this character are the runic chestplate, runic boots, and the tenebrous helmet, actually. The tenebrous helmet. All enchanted. I, I legacy chested those because they're enchanted. They don't actually get better or anything. There you are. This is... I'm going to... It's um, and then my lexicon. Your life, you will need because the lexicon well. has the Caldera enchantment on it. And I can't do the Caldera enchantment without first beating Caldera, so... I just figured I'd enchant it and then switch it over. Alright, I'm feeling good. Let's go do Trog Cave. I feel kind of... Pretty... Pretty solid with what we have. Yeah, we'll go do Trog Cave. Um, should I kill Vendable first? I feel like we'll come back for Vendable. I really need to figure out what faction I'm going to take. That's the important thing here. Really need to figure that out. I just don't know, you know? Skill or uh, cooldown would be great. It would be. And I'd have extra pocket space, too. Get your Zan sword. You got to kill him in Levant Quest. That is true, yes. Yeah, lives by a fishing village. Can't swim. Yeah, our character is very, uh, very talented. Let's just say that. Very talented person. Do I... How many fangs does it take to make a fang shield? I don't remember. Now we're going to drop the plank shield because it's not decraftable. And also not sellable. Which is unfortunate. Trog Cave got harder with DE drop. As that big mage Trog I wasn't expecting it on my first playthrough. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. He is definitely a challenge now. I think he got uh, a bit more impact as well. Oh my word. This combo is going to be nuts. Freaking nuts, bro. Shields. Am I right? Just shields in general. Okay. Okay. What do I need to grab here? Oh, here it is. Supply cache. Aha! Fragment bomb. Still very unusable with one bomb, but okay. We'll equip it. On our skill slot, just for fun. Just for giggles, you know? Just to, just to make it look like we're using it. To pretend. To pretend. Because we all know no one's using bombs. <laughs> one fang for shield? Okay, thank you. Love shield charge since you block during the animation. It's so good for trading hits. I 100% agree. And that's a lot of people's problems when they start the game is like trading hits can be difficult. Especially since faster enemies like bandits. But the shield, man, it puts you at such a high advantage. Need to get linen cloth. Problem is, I have to find it in... I have to find it in here. Hopefully these bodies here drop it. We'll see. Uh, Cinder RPG, what's going on? Hey, Sheen, hope you're having a good morning. What's the idea behind this build? I am having a good morning. Hopefully you are as well. The idea is to use all things explosions. Gong strike, shield charge. Or not shield charge. Uh, shield infuse. Which is a really fun skill. Uh, and runic trap as backup. We're going to be using all kinds of explodey type abilities. And I don't know. I did write it up to use not internalized lexicon. I may take it for this build. I might. We'll see what happens. Sounds kind of fun. What's up, Michael? Welcome to the stream. Decraft clothes for cloth. Yeah, but I'm out of clothes. Uh, hopefully I find clothes in here. We'll see what happens. Because I need these. I have a lot of larvae eggs. I could turn these into some good stuff here. Are right, you ready? Iron claymore. Okay. Got to do the old sneakity sneak. Not going to help because I have my lantern on. But it's fine. We're pretending. Turn lantern off. Sneak over by mushroom. Oh, shoot. He already saw me? No. Hiding behind wall. He can't see me. Doing the wall hide. Alright, this plan failed. What a glorious plan. <laughs> what an epic plan. Alright, you got pain on you, bro. Yeah, you're dead. So what I was going to try and do was use the bomb. And, um... I don't know if you noticed, but that did not work out. That did not work out. Okay, here we go. Hey, we can decraft this. Let's go a cooking pot. I'll take a cookie pot. Don't you come over here, bro. Don't you do it. 
Don't you do it. No, I see you. Don't do it. You're a fool. Let's watch shield charge in action. Oof. Oh, I almost killed him with kick. Darn it. I was hoping I could. Just, what is he doing? He just fell onto this. He's having a... What do you call it? One of those things. Uh, mas a massage or masseuse or masseur. I don't know. Oh, he's going to the spa. He's just chilling. He's laying back. Catching some sun. You don't catch the sun at the spa. That was a great analogy. Being able to heal with runes is very nice. Internalized lexicon precludes that ability. True. Eh. It's a hard decision. It really is. It's a hard decision to take. Okay, we decraft this. Where's my larva eggs? Here we are. Do I have anything else to decraft? Not really. So we didn't end up with that many rags. Sad. Uh, they'll be pretty good against this guy, though. Where is he? If he's right here, that's bad for me. Ah, he's over there. We're good. Oh my word, just got a cooking pot and an alchemy kit straight up. How'd that even happen? Oh, what the heck? He coming at me. Block. Come at me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, did he get more impact? I think he got more impact. Yeah, that buff gives him more impact resist. Wow, that's cool. Alright, I'm not feeling good about the stamina that we currently have. Let's take a... Boyon de Predator. Say that right? Hope so. Here, here's where it gets ugly. For them. <laughs> Drops bag. Proceeds to annihilate. Dodge! Oh, I didn't dodge it. What a fool. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Come back here. Why do the trogs always run from me? You ever, you ever noticed? This has happened to me at least a few times. Get the heck out of here, broski. Yeah. Trying to fight this dude over here. Oh, I'm slowed now. Whoa, everybody coming after me. I'm a champion. Oh, my word. I'm getting my butt handed to me. Fine, we're doing good. Got confusion on, so we definitely lit up the hallway here. Yeah, they do a lot of damage when they have that stupid ethereal infuse on. Where's my backpack at? Aha! The Deviant is over there. A little bit more health would be nice, huh? Just a minute amount? Ooh, this gives health, doesn't it? What's he doing? Being very unintelligent, that's what he's doing. Oh, don't freaking heal yourself, you bum. Can this block this? No. Okay. We know that now. It's important to keep learning things, guys. Luckily, my imbue ran out. Or my, uh, reg. We're good, though. We got the shield. But what's nice about puncture is it makes everything weak to you. Everything. Because as soon as you hit him with it, they have negative 25% resist to physical. It's so good. It's so darn good. Alright, well he actually beat the crap out of me there for a little bit, but we, we managed to uh, stave him off and become the champions of this story for now. Quite a few things to decraft here. Gonna be mainly using the shield internalized lexicon can be fine. That's true, yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I think Rune Mage will probably be the last full tree I take. I'll take the runes, and then I'll decide later. Just to be sure. Alright, so now we have... Uh, yeah, this is why I didn't want the Fang Shield, actually. Um, the Trog Shield is worse in every way, but it does inflict poison. So, you know. Not bad. This poison's freaking great. And should I look around for another? I should because I didn't grab the, the heart either. Yes, Blade for more booms. I may take it, yeah. Uh, someone said something about that here a, a bit ago. I honestly might take it. Because it's not that hard to get. 
it's it's great and yeah it has more explosion damage so that's what we're about baby we're about the boom damage the boom damage Okay, we need to de... We need to make more of these, yeah. Dude, can you imagine if I'd had the lightning rag on? That guy would have gone down so fast. He already did. Bang weapons plus uh, mushroom shield, bleed plus poison. Yeah, that's... Going really nice. Look at that. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, dude. Can't even touch me. I am king. I am outward. Uh, how many points of mana do you think you'll end up with? Ah, uh, so I was going to start with probably... I hadn't decided. I think probably start with three. I'm not really sure because the runic armor actually offers negative mana cost. So I, it's hard to tell how much I'll need. But, I mean, runes also give you plus 40. It's a decent amount. Hello. I'll probably start with three, though. It's usually my... Uh, Preferred amount. Three sweet spot? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Three's just a nice... Nice amount. It really just is. Oh, I got hit. What a fool. What a fool. Luckily, the sword attacks really fast. But I am missing impact. So, like, the two animates build that I did... Nice impact. This build, not so much. Impact is going to be a very major... A very major... It's going to be a major problem with this build, to be honest. Actually, the only problem, I think. Where am I at? Okay, I'm totally lost in this cave. I think I am about to come up to the room that has the trap chest. If not... Yeah, I definitely have no clue where I'm at. I took a wrong turn, I think. I need to go back down the... Is no other turn. Hi, this hallway. Okay, now we're at the entrance. Not where we want to be. Missed it. Oh no, is this the room with the chest? I feel like I was here. And it might be because I was. Hmm. Okay, we have a left or a right. Let's go left. I think I need to go down and up. I went down and left last time. Insert evil laugh. Yeah. Hit them, they bleed. If they attack you, they poison themselves, and then they you blow them up. Exactly. Exactly. Big brain moves right here, ladies and gentlemen. Big brain moves. Do we think we could take out Montcalm Fort yet? I mean, maybe. Let's do this. Stamina, man. I Stamina is such a problem with some of these. Broski, I really hate that. I really, I'm, I'm not liking it, and I'm really annoyed that you did that to me. Take that. Woo! I was a little bit too close. No. No, we're not healing right now. We're gonna, we're just gonna die. Thank you. Appreciate that. Get the cooperation here. How do you apply the shield effects? Is it only shield charge? Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, someone asked me a while ago if, if Gong Strike did it. I don't think so. I think the only one that does is, is shield charge. Which it limits you because you have to use it. Yeah, we didn't get the, the shield. That sucks. That's super sucky, but that's fine. I don't know. Should I, should I sell? I don't, it's good money. It's a hundred. It's... 70 silver. Durability on it's not that great either. Have we seen that? Yeah, it's like uh, 85 durability. Really good against humans, though. I think we keep it for now until we clear out a few more things. And then I'll come back to see as I'll sell it, I guess. I do have two... I have a cooking pot and an alchemy kit from this cave, so we could set that up in town, maybe. I had no idea the mushroom shield was actually useful. Oh, yeah, it's big time useful. It's like, eh, in the rest of the game. But for bandits, excellent. And those are one of the harder enemies in the early game because they're fast. Just poison them, run away. <laughs> poison them, run away. Wiki says Mushroom Shield has 60% poison buildup. 
But you did it in one charge. What's up with that? Oh, the charge actually hits twice. Uh, shield charge actually hits twice. Whenever you press it, if you're directly next to the enemy, it hits then. And then whenever you run, it'll hit him again. Um, so all shield effects actually apply instantly. Because I think most of them are 60%. And as long as they're 50, they always apply in one shield charge. But you gotta hit both times. It's easy to miss the... The first or the second, depending on where the enemy is. I always get another mushroom shield to give her. That's also true. What are we fighting down here? I hear noises. Oh, those are dos bandidos. That means... I need... What? Fire? He's looking at me. See that? Oh, wrong time, bud. Wrong time. Oh, we're fine. Here we go. Left the lantern on. Typical me. Alright, we're gonna... See, I hit him once that time, so it didn't inflict. But it's supposed to hit on initial. Oh, bro. That is not gonna feel good tomorrow. Easy win. Easy win. You don't even stand a chance. I am a better species than you. Antidotes, though. It's a pretty good find. Iron sword. I guess I'll decraft those. I can't really carry them around. Yeah, we'll decraft it. But we can take on bandits. That's important. Note that. Need to note that. Runes is my favorite build, but I never found the right armor set for it. Yeah, I honestly think the best armor set for it is the... Either Tenebra's armor... Or the runic armor from the blacksmith and Berg. Honestly, both of those fit really well with runes. Thought it hits three times. Does it? I only thought it hit twice. I'm pretty sure it's only twice. I made tripwire traps to take down the Royal Manticore without engaging in combat. A lot. I'd say 30 plus. Maybe even 40. You need a lot of those. Heard on Reddit, if you're point blank, it can hit three times. Or maybe it has a uh, a weird thing that can happen, and it can do that. I don't think it's supposed to, Brandon, but maybe if you if you do something like unique, it will. I don't know though. Runic magic tree, boon tree, then philosopher. Uh, honestly, what we're gonna be taking is rune tree, mercenary for shield diffusion, and then uh. The what's the other one? Cause I spellblade for the gong gong strike. Oh, I'm here about work. Lend me your ear. Greetings, friend. Found Lend something. Oh yeah, it's the I'm unusual always item. Always interest. Oh ho! Excellent. There we go. And we'll give her the rest later. I just need to go put up the cooking pot and alchemy kit. That was a really good find. That was a really good find. Your stream has inspired me to do another playthrough of Chakram Hex build. It's actually a lot of fun. Awesome. No, that's... Hex Chakram is amazing. Because you have a lot of range, and then Chakrams are specialized in both short-range and medium-range combat. So, like, you really have a full, well-rounded build. I, I like that. Like your commitment to explosions? <laughs> uh, so you're going non-Lexicon Rune Mage? Probably, I'm thinking. Now that, now that we're getting into it, it sounds like a, a good idea to not go with the... Renick prefix. We'll see what happens, but it sounds like a good idea. Um, sell these? Yeah, we'll sell those. Just because we want to focus on explosions as much as possible, right? That's what we want to be doing here. But we need to focus on it. Uh, I was going to make something, wasn't I? Aha! I guess I could make meat stew instead. After my halberd build, I plan on doing a hex mage build using astral and pistol. Oh, that's interesting. See, I actually, I've tried using the astral weapons a few times. I'd never really found the right build for me. I wish I could say otherwise, because they're really good. But I just haven't found what works for me. Aha. Okay, what do we want to take down next? What do you guys want to see me take down? I mean, I could take on anything, really, but... I don't know where I should go. I can either go Conflux Mountain, Montcalm Fort, 
Vendival will be off after Montcalm. Or, uh, Ven the Conflux Mountain, sorry. So not there. It's either Montcalm, Fort, or Conflux, I think. This guy here, what's the boom build? What's going on, Corinthian Daniels? Uh, so the boom build is going to be shield build with rune and runes. We're going to be using as many shield abilities as possible with the blowed up rune power. The blowed up rune power. That's what we're calling it from now on. Conflux? Okay. Do I have six? Uh, I mean... A 15 stew. How many gabberries did I have? I guess that's true. I can make some tartines. Let's go back and make some tartines. You're not wrong. It's a good idea. I think I have bread for it as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm missing the jam. Okay. Um, It's four, right? Is it four or three? Yeah, it's four. There we go. We'll make a little bit more. That's a, That was a good call. That was a good call to Steed. Complex Mountain, but all three. So do a rogue path first. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. You really want to see my pain, don't you? Heroic, heroic path be brutal. All right, I need to sell stuff. I am completely full. Like eight space. It's not good for making money. Becoming uh, Deidara. I think it's fire, lightning, lighting it on fire would be fun with shield too. Yeah, yeah, you could do that pretty well. It might come in handy for multiple situations. We'll see what happens. Hey there. Art is an explosion. Exactly, exactly. Um, let me sell some stuff real quick. Is it money that I need to store? That could probably help. I don't need hex cleaner. I never use that in the early game. I just tank through the the poison death clouds of whatever's on me. I don't need any of those right now. Okay, 34. That's way better. And actually, we'll just hold... Yeah, we'll just do this. Boom. Easy. Easy peasy. Alright, yo, I got the DLCs and I'm having a blast with the Hex Tree. Awesome, Hellspawn. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the, the Sword of Boreans DLC is definitely one of my favorites. Look at this. You got the Wolf Sword, dude. That's a cool looking sword. Yeah, Sword of Boreans has two of one of two of the best skill trees in the game for sure. A speedster not being a favorite of mine, but being a really solid tree. But Gary the Ghost can activate totems on my Dreamer Halber build? Wait, really? He can activate totems? I didn't know that. Kind of weird. Brandon, the Astral Dagger with the Midnight Dance enchant works great with the Decay build. I don't remember what that enchant does. I imagine it's pretty good, though. Sounded like you guys wanted Conflux, right? Uh, Sheen, have you decided on faction? If not, the Sorbor faction will give you infused mana at the end. Oh, true. I was either going to go Holy Mission or that one. Holy Mission has a nice stamina reduction, though. Alright, you ready? I'm going to use a bomb. Pretty sure no one's going to stand on it. Oh, he got blasted! Yeah, I think that only hit twice, didn't it? Alright, we got Hyena versus a, a Bandit. The Bandit seems to be in the winning position here, although the... The hyena does have mobility, it just is not in the arm. Oh, I just immediately wrecked. Just immediately trashed. It's nothing. You want some of this? Oh, you're gonna block? Shield v shield. Do something, bro. Let me kick you in the face. Huh? You like that? Ooh. Watch this. Stand over your body as you get up, and then I'll murder you. I'm not a very nice person. I'm not a very nice person. And I don't even regret it. I just. Outward makes you into something you're not, you know? It does. Our word has done this to me. I used to be a nice guy. I used to wait for bandits to get back up and then fight him. Not anymore. No longer. I only fight those who can't fight back. <laughs> Use mana would also go with Gep's Blade. Oh, true. We got to do it. We got to do it. Sorbor it is, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds like a freaking fantastic idea. Also, just use the wrong ability. I'm going to use that one. 
See, that's the thing. I always mess like my E and R are so close together. I always mess with their their keybinds. Messes me up. Okay, I should have taken more water before I left, but it's fine. Micro, whoa, hey, Sheen Chats, you've been super helpful getting me through the learning curve of this game. Now I'm straight up addicted, trying out all different builds. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That was the goal, baby. Get you guys addicted to some outward content. Get you guys addicted to the grind. If you're not, uh, if you're not, uh, skipping your job to play outward, what are you doing? You know what I mean? You're not calling off sick just to play outward. What are you doing with your life? Get to gaming, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's awesome, Micro. -o. Thank you for telling me that. But I'm not the only one that trash talks AI. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. I be trash talking AI all the time. Because if it was an actual player, they probably whoop my butt. Can't be doing that. Game's way better than I ever expected. Yeah, a lot of people don't give it that uh, that chance because, like you said, the learning curve. You know. The learning curve is the hardest part because imagine dying seven times in a row to a hyena. That makes you not want to play the game. That makes you not want to play the game. Because that's like the first enemy you fight in the game. I mean, it is the first enemy you fight in the game. The really... But once you get past that learning curve and figure out kind of... I mean, it's all about either weapon combos or skill combos. You got to kind of do one of the two. And then you're good. The learning curve isn't actually that bad. It's just... It, when you don't know anything about the the abilities in the game, that's when the learning curve is hard. Because as if you start reading stuff, you'll be good. But uh, you know, it's hard to want to read every single thing in the game. That's that's a big thing. So close to giving up in, in the few uh, first few hours. So glad I kept playing. Yeah, <laughs> that first few hours is rough, man. It's it's rough. Like, why is everything killing me? What is this Wendigo that one shotted me? I'm so confused. Hard to play two players. Don't have a good club for uh, getting it together. Uh, if you join my Discord, there are a few people that uh, play every once in a while. There were some people on last night, actually. I hopped in and talked to them for a bit. They were playing together. Die seven times to Ahina. Learn how to call down lightning. Step three, revenge. Exactly. That call lightning is amazing. First enemy you fight is crafting. True. Now, links in the description hell spawn if you wanted to check that out. Not all the time, but every once in a while you can find some people who want to play. Three weather defense potions. Ooh. Brutal axe. I probably, yeah, it's going to get crafted. I hate getting these things because I never have room for them. And it's always at the most inconvenient times that I find them, you know? Oh, I should be looking for power coils. Also, I don't know what backpack I'm going to go with. I want power. Thanks, buddy. You're a good guy. Um, because... Like, there's multiple different backpacks that could be useful for this build. Not Brass Wolf. Unless you take, like, Rogue Engineer, Brass Wolf is not very good. Or if you have a very tank build that doesn't need to dodge. Actually, I guess I have a tank build. Because I'm going shield. I guess I don't need to dodge. The Brass Wolf will be good. Hmm, we're learning new things. A uh, Gofu, hey, she new, new build? Yeah, new build. This is going to be a fun one. The explosion build. Holly, welcome to the, the uh, stream. Backpack Montcalm. Yeah, honestly, though. <laughs> don't tempt me, Hafrin. Don't tempt me. Need to finish the Rust and Vengeance quest. Don't know where the keys are. Ah! The keys can be hard to find first time. Um, luckily, if you just go to every one of the locations and clear it out, you'll find everything pretty easily. You just gotta go there. You'll, you'll find it eventually. Look at all these pearl birds. There's two walking around. Crazy. Am I even going up a path? Why does this look like a hill? Did I miss the path? Oh, and no, I didn't. This just looks really weird. Oh, hey. Hello, Mana Crystal. Can you give me Hackmanite? No, because you're a butt face. There you do that to me. Dusk Backpack, greater than Wolf Backpack. Uh, for the five barrier. Yes and no. 
because barrier is not as good as protection. My only problem with that statement. It's like, yes, because it has more, but barrier is actually not as good as protection. Even they do the same thing for the opposite damage type. And I've talked about this before. Barrier really isn't that good because in a lot of cases, because elemental resistance can get up to 100%, whereas physical can't. Barrier, on the other hand, is good in builds that don't have those 100% resistances. So it is still good. I still love Barrier, but it's like, technically, it's not... What What are we doing, guys? What was that? I'm very concerned for your, your health and mine now, if you're going to be climbing mountains like that. Oh, look at that. Don't tell me that's not skill. I just inflicted poison on both of them in one shield charge. You know how hard that is to do? That's actually really hard to do. That means I hit both of them with both attacks. Ha <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Is the note in the wiki guide explaining the changes? Oh, yes. There is, actually, yeah. Oh, there we go. Double poison. That's what I'm talking about, Slippy. That was cool. I like that. Hug the wall, he'll never see us. Exactly, they're scared. They're scared. What's up, King? Welcome to the, uh... Welcome to the stream, friend. Grab these gab berries real quick. War Master, I mentioned the imbue shield skill from Merc Tree is going to be slapping when you start dealing, scaling ethereal. Yeah, I think so, too. It has, like, 2.2 ethereal shield damage conversion. Really? I'm excited to use that one. I am. Hey, an oil bomb. Like, those have been so useful so far. Don't they weigh a lot, too? How much does it weigh? Weigh 0.4. That's actually not that bad. Let's go use an oil bomb, guys. This is going to be great. They're the best thing in the game by far. Best thing. <laughs> I wish. Favorite build is bows and bombs. No, it sounds crazy, but really fun. <laughs> That's funny. After I just made fun of bombs, so you post that up. And bombs are pretty cool. Yeah, I wish I enjoyed them more. But I just don't like them. That's fair enough, though. Cool. Has 85 carry weight. Yeah, it's a good bag. I honestly might grab it for the carry weight. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you might be right. It is better because the carry weight. Heard the dev fix uh, the brightness of Rune Lantern. So that will be very good. I hate when they it was too bright. I actually didn't... I hadn't tested that. That's interesting. We'll have to mess with that because I didn't... I didn't even look at that. Oh, wait. I got an idea. Guys, look at this. Ready? It's going to be so cool. Can I even throw this from this far? Yeah. Oh, that took freaking forever. That's good damage, though. It's more of a stealth thing, I think. You have to make a rogue build, kind of. And died of poison. Okay, yeah, bombs are good. It's just like you they're really situational. My lantern just ran out the second I got one. Catch this lantern. Aha. Alright, here is one of the hardest dungeons in Chair Sneeze, to be honest. It's traps, poison, everything. It's all it's a bad time. Hexer with Astral Shield is strong. What is what is it? Strong? Yeah. Rusi, welcome to the stream. Leyline connection is weakest. Ha! Fair enough. A lot of people don't like that one, yeah. Okay, I need my stamina back, but honestly, I'm gonna run with this. Weak? Easy. See, puncture, man. Those guys suck to fight because of their resistance to physical attacks, but puncture makes it completely workable. Oh, this is too easy, bro. It's too easy. Why don't you take the short path with Zephyrian? Oh, because people were like, tell me to take this one. <laughs> That's the only reason. That's the only reason. I, I would never take this path if it wasn't for the, for the stream. Honestly, this path sucks. 
Oh, look at that trap right there. It's trying to get me. What do I get from this? Nothing. So far, looking real good, guys. Looking real good. Delete that. That. And this. Okay, now we can we get out of here without hitting the trap. Okay. And where do I go? Okay, so that needs to go up, right? No, it's already, it already is up. No, it's not. We need to raise that one more time. Thank. Watch out for traps. They're everywhere. Be careful. Heroic was my first path. I've never found the blue path. Oh, really? Yeah, heroic's terrible. Never take heroic. It's awful. Where am I going? Oh. Okay. Well, we found the wrong direction. Important. Oh, look. There was a trap. I did not see that. You tell me I almost walked over that? I'm definitely hitting a trap while I'm in here. Definitely. Oh, the elemental. That's that's lovely. Sniper! Oh, dodged it. Okay, not gonna dodge that. Oh, sniped in the back. Yeah, love to see it. Come here, you. I'm gonna bully you. Maybe it does hit three times. Oh, it looks like if you're right next to the enemy, it does hit three times. Maybe I was wrong about that. Huh. I think you have to be really close, though. What do you want? Can I kick him to death? Kick! Oh, he didn't die. And he hit me. Did not feel good. Okay, guys. We gotta deal with the elemental here. What is that? That's a freaking troc, dude. Heal up! Heal! Aimbot elementals? Yeah, the aimbot elementals suck. Having to make Zephyrian carrier all those trogs for me? Yeah, he likes doing it anyway. The traps do suck in this place. I'll admit. I'll admit. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go for the elemental first. Oh, he's damaged. Bro walked over a trap. Whoa! What the heck? He must have hit me. He did all my health. Look at that. Holy cow. Um, elemental for the win? Jeez, dude. How much damage do they do? And they spam too, which is really great. Really great. We're gonna chill. We're gonna chill right here. I'm fine. Why is the healing so low, though? He is poisoned, I think. Yeah, he's poisoned. It's just about letting him die. Dude, the healing from meat stew is garbage. Make a bandage or something. Where's my backpack at? This turned from really good to really bad very quickly. Oh, he's gonna heal him? No, 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 he didn't heal him. He missed. He missed. Come over here, you stupid. Come fight me. I can fight you. I can't fight that guy. Look at him just spamming away. Come here. Come on. Stop being dumb. Fight me. What are we doing right now? What is this little game we're playing? Are we playing Bully Sheen? Because he got overconfident? Like I said, what was going to happen? Look at him. He won't come at me. Why is the elemental backing up? Look at him. The heck? Very confused. What is happening? Okay, we got the backpack. We got the backpack. I couldn't actually find it. That was the thing. Linen cloth. We got a bandage here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, God, Rose. This guy's obviously going to attack me whenever I put my bandage on. I think that's very clear to everyone involved. Yeah, go ahead and hit me with that. That's that's great. That's great. Did that elemental die yet? Jeez, poison sucks. I think it's the healing that sucks, actually. He's just spamming heal. That's a little bull. Okay. Lesson learned, ladies and gentlemen. Do not fight arcane elementals. Ever! Yes, move to pocket. Here we go. Here we go. We're half health. That means we could take one hit, I think. That's not a lot. We can do this. Gotta be careful about it, but we can do it. Alright, we were less than careful about it there, but it's fine. Aha! Punk. Oh, I blocked it that time. Who told me to take this path? 
I regret everything. <laughs> Who was it that told me to take this? <laughs> Never listen to you again. Terrible idea. And not even worth it, because he didn't drop anything. Okay. GG. <laughs> Rune Mage uh, gang rise up. Exactly. I'm about to be taking that. So excited. Okay, he was half health too when I first found him. And that's how badly that went. Woo! That was rough. That was rough. Kodo, what's going on? Giga Chad path? It honestly is. This path is horrible. Okay, I'm just watching the ground for traps. Watching the ground. Still looking. There's one. Okay, we gotta raise this path up. I think. Which is the one I need to go up? So this one goes... Yeah, this one needs to go up. I'm not going down. Dude, come on. Dude, why, bro? Just pull the lever. Dude. This cave sucks. Levers aren't even working. Okay, there we go. So that one's up. Now we need to go to the other one and get that one to go up. Aha. Uh -huh. See what I'm doing now. Okay. It's important that we don't die. That's all that matters, right? Our survival. That goes down, so how do I get up? I think I need to go up the elevator. This is probably one of the few dungeons I still get confused in. Finally, oh, he just died. Look at that. He just got trapped to death. Has the most recent patch uh, hit consoles yet? I'm not sure. She they never really notify us. Hey, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate that. They just stepped on the trap and did nothing. Yeah, welcome to the channel. Uh, I don't know if the, the patch hit constantly, because they never notify us. Like, they don't make an announcement. Ow, bro. Chill out. Okay. Important to me that we don't step on this trap. Look at the traps just killing everyone. They're just walking around up here like idiots. What are we doing? Why are we dying? Why are we dying? I don't understand. And then they die. And they're like, oh, I got trapped to death. Okay, let's see. This needs to go down, I think. I don't have a freaking clue, actually, at this point. If that's down, I can pull this up. I have to get on the elevator, pull it down. I think. Is that how it works? I can't remember this one. Let's see if I can figure it out. Where's the trap at? Here it is. Both levers? Did I pull both levers? Both levers makes you go all the way up, though, doesn't it? And then I can't get up. Dude, I'm so scared of running into a trap in this cave. I'm so scared. Dude, to freaking interact in this cave is horrible. See, now I can't get up. See, one lever has to be down. That has to be down. That lever goes up now. I think. Because it's down. Let's see if this works. This cave is so confusing. These, these levers never make any sense to me. Makes it go up when you get on it. Okay. But I can't get on it if they're both up. Ah, there we go. Well, the this is the one to go up on. The other one you have to get up here. That's that's why I was confused about it. I didn't know if it'd go up or not. Yeah, see, this one I had to go up. We're gonna avoid the sword golem for now. We're just gonna get that was that was pain enough, I think. I think we almost died enough. We're good for now. We're good. But calm down. <laughs> Alpha try to get me killed. Can I get me killed? I don't have, uh... I don't have enough impact to kill the sword golem, I don't think. I need my runes, and then I can kill him. Also, I'm not doing the elevator puzzle again. Because it sucks. Look at this cobweb. That's a cool cobweb. I wish I fought spiders in this game. That'd be cool. The old Sheen would do it. <laughs> what do you mean? No, he wouldn't. Maybe he would. You're right, you're right. The old team would have fought everything. Alright, blue Tonosaur time, ladies and gentlemen. 
Okay, mace is good. Mace is good because it means we can put it in a trap and inflict confusion. That's good. How many traps do I have? I have three traps. All of which we'll set up. No spooters. <laughs> hey, I know spiders are rough, but... They do make fun video game enemies. They look freaking creepy. Do I want... Fangs on this? Yeah, we'll go ahead and throw one. For some bleed. Why not? Okay. Wait a minute. What's going on with the grass here? Don't give him ideas? Oh, fair enough. You ever prefer the look of a worse armor and have to choose between fashion and function? I always prefer the look of the clan sage robe to the arcane robe. But the arcane has so much more resistances. Uh, I like the arcane, so I always choose arcane. Uh, I, I do... I understand where you're coming from, though. Some of the armors just don't look good enough to be used all the time. I'm trying to think of one right now. But I cannot... Except for Caldera armor. Like, Caldera, I would actually use maybe one or two of the armor sets, but I never will because they look garbage. Okay, do I have enough stamina? I'm trying to figure out if I need a Tartine or not. Alpha Tonosaur is weak to... Fire. Oh, it's not Alpha, but whatever. You know what I mean. Do this. Let's do this. Oh, he's so far back. There's no way my view doesn't run out. Holy cow. Did he aggro fast or what? This is where I died on my last build, so let's see how this goes. I think I've died to this guy twice. Fuck's the fight. Alright, hit this trap and then this one. Drop the bag. There we go. Confusion. That's what we wanted. Poison, but that doesn't matter. I think he's immune to poison. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my word, that hit me? How? Thank you for subscribing, by the way. Welcome to the channel. Bro, Tonosaurs suck. Mostly because they always back up. Gotta be a dodge and weave fight, I guess. I'm not doing no damage to, which... Not... Look, he backs up every time I use kick. There we go. There's some damage. I don't want him to use ice blast, because that'll kill me instantly, I think. Okay, that did okay damage. Not great, though. There's the blast. I am running out of stamina. Run attack. Boom! Let's go! Whew. This guy's so annoying due to his speed, bro. It's just so annoying. Like how the guy just stands there watching you fight. Like, yeah, why didn't this guy help me the whole time? What is he, what is he doing? Well, you can talk to this guy. Welcome. Bow your head in respect, for you have come to the end of a ley line. Bro, I had no idea. To use magic is to command the world. You are prepared to sacrifice some of it. Okay, he tells me nothing. That's cool. I was hoping he told me something cool. He didn't even care. Yeah, he just chill. Just chill. Fight the sword golem? Oh, Alpha, since you donated, I guess I have to. Why you gotta do that to me? Hey, I got you Lats Relic. That's one I hadn't got yet. Fight the sword golem. You know what? Because you donated... I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take some mana and then I'll go fight Sword Golem. How about that? You enticed me with your your donation. I, I have to. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, by the way. Runic swords are summoned. They work just like any swords. They just disappear when sheathed. Hmm. Feel free to use Let's set up for this guy, I think. Um, confusion is going to be key. Impact resist is key. He doesn't burn, so I can't use lanterns. You know what I should have done is I should have thrown lanterns at that Tonosaur. I got too into the combat, and I tried to muscle my way through. Funnily enough, it worked this time, but it won't always work. 
I feel like one health potion is going to be required for this, so let's take that. And we can make bouillon. I like it a bouillon. Sells for 60. I will not be selling it, trust me. The last relic is one I never got last time. Okay. I really think... I don't know, three mana? Or should I take two right now? I think I take two right now and I get another one when I go to Harmattan to get the extra stamina. Stamina's gonna kill me right now. Yeah, I'll take two right now. And then we will get... Fire Sigil or Reveal Soul, guys? Gonna hit Voltaic Hatchery to keep the Firefly Powder? Uh, I might. Maybe. I, I didn't even think about that. We'll see. No, probably not. I'll wait till I get the rune. It'll be easy to clear out. Let's do, honestly, reveal soul. Because it'll just be easier to get mana back. That's what I need it for right now. I'm not, I don't really have fire sigils at the moment. I could make some pro... Nah, we're fine. Make a gold shield. Oh, the gold shield be good. Some nice lightning damage from the gold shield, actually. And it looks awesome. Alright, uh, we need water and the three fangs. To make the predator. Or the bouillon. One of my favorite foods. Why am I overweight? Still. Alright, I have enough money to buy... Oh shoot, I need to buy flamethrower, guys. Let me forget. How dare you. Magic is the weapon. Listen to me. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Giving me cool. Which isn't that good right now. Um, I guess it buffs my cold damage, which I have some cold regs. So. Lantern throw is actually amazing. Yeah, I should have used it against that guy. That's honestly the easiest way to take him out. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. Hey, stop yelling at me. Calm down. Calm down, Sonny. Okay, now I can buy flamethrower. And it's not useful against the golem, really. Welcome so, may listen to me. There we go. So it's not really that useful against the golem. We'll we'll, we'll use something else. I don't have traps for him Feel either. Free to use one of our boats Box. to return to the surface. Bro, how many times are you gonna tell me that? I understand how a boat works. Famous root. Ah, that's what I picked up. And that's eighteen. I could buy back the gold bar. Wait, what? I'm missing 10? That sucks. Aha. There we go. Okay. What am I, like, carrying too much of? Food? Probably. Let's go kill the golem. Since I'm a sucker for donations, I guess. <laughs> Take no damage from golem and win a prize? Oh, jeez. There is a strategy for taking down the golem. He does have a rock mantis near him. So let's see if that uh, comes into play. What are the chances I walk over a trap, though? I'd say at least 30%, considering there's three traps. So that's 10% per trap. You know the leyline water gives you magic regen? I did. Yeah. I never use it, though. I don't think I've ever used it for ma uh, mana regen. A few times when it's, like, there, but I never grab it for, on purpose for that. Reveal soul is good for mana recovery. 50%? Oh, jeez, Alpha. <laughs> Yeah, I prefer it most of the time because a lot of the builds I take don't have a ton of mana in the early game. Fire Sigil is a really good starter, though. Okay, so this doesn't actually have a go-down function. That's interesting. The other one's the only one that goes up and down from the elevator itself. Okay, watch traps. Where is it? In the corner. In the corner. We got it. Okay. We pull this down. See this? The levers. Oh my word. Look, I can't even touch it. There we go. Okay, that was the wrong... Wait a minute. How do I get back down? Can I do... Oh, I do this. Yes. Okay. I think that fixed it. You have to pull the other lever, which moves that lever. 
Aha, yes. One of those levers actually moves the, the other lever, which I always forget about. Who's fighting? Holy crap, the sword golem is fighting something. What is he fighting? Okay, I guess we buff up now? Like, well, this is very inconvenient for me. Shh. What? Golem with Mantis? Probably. Ooh, half health. I like that. I like to see it. They actually have a decent battle. Look at this. He's confused and he's still taking a lot of damage. I bet he flicked... Can you inflict pain on a golem? I always forget. Okay, watch out for traps. Oh, that was scary. Almost had him. Fully dead. Woo! <laughs> that was unfair, I <laughs> Let's go, dude. I came in at the right moment. He already had almost killed the dude. And I just freaking... Ooh, power coil. A little bit of cheese. I like it. Now, can I get through here without getting uh, trapped to death? Maybe? Where are they? Told you it was worth it? Yeah, you you were right, Alpha. You're, you're not wrong. That was worth the... Uh, the effort. Oh my word, there's four power coils. Check this out. Literally, Golub's trying to climb out of the door. Can't get it. $10 from King. Hey, no damage. Thank you, King. Appreciate that. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I did have some help from a good buddy of mine, but, uh, you know, that's how it is. That's how it is. <laughs> Thanks, King. Oh my. I appear to be slow. How much is this weigh? Nine pounds? Free palladium. Free palladium. Wear it instead? No, because it, it's just, uh, it, it hurts stamina too bad. That's why I don't wear heavy armor in the early game. Because the stamina runs out too fast. Also, I already scrapped it. Otherwise, I would... I didn't even think about it. I immediately scrapped it. Okay. You know what's funny? We can actually exit... Uh, we can actually exit out here. We don't need to go back through Conflux. Although I could do... No, because I'll go back through Holy Mission and do Blue... Yeah, okay, yeah that's right. Alright, so let's go back up here. Look at this elevator being broke. It's kind of cool. I like how someone just said, hey, you know the elevator's broke. Let's just climb down as a, a rope. By the way, what was this ice mage doing here? Like, what was the plan? <laughs> what was his intention? I really want to know. There's a story here that we're missing. There's a story here we're missing. Black Plate, mm -hmm. the moneymaker of Sierra. That's true. I could have sold it. Uh, it's just weighing me down right now. It <laughs> turns out whoever suggested a rogue mission was planning ahead. You guys are thinking. I like it. You're thinking. Okay, what are we full of? We've got the broken golem rapier, which actually, funnily enough, that was good that I scrapped that, because we can go to Ghost Pass and kill the golem there and get a, a uh, another one of these. Let's go there. Yeah, that'll sell for 300. That'll be excellent loot. Now, the problem is I'm already overweight, so... I don't know. Ooh, about walked off the cliff, ladies and gentlemen. I about ended it there. I think she's making her own ley line, too. Maybe. Hmm. Who knows what she was doing? Something goofy, that's for sure. Which way is the way down? I think it's this way. Bro, we gotta drop something. We gotta drop some. Um, let's see. I have 13 of these. Let's drop a few. I always make way too much food, and then I'm surprised when I'm heavy. You ever do that? You make 15 things of one food, and you go, I don't know why I'm heavy. Carrying around a whole entire bakery. I don't know what's happened. 
Okay. What's up, noobs? Let's do this. We only got one? Oh no, there comes the other one. You're gonna block me, really? Wait, he blocked, but it still inflicted the poison. Weird. My phone's going off. Wrong time for the phone call. I'm fighting a bandit right now. Boom, stabbing it back. Shield is amazing. Look how much longer I can block. I. Ooh, linen cloth. I need that. Travel rations. I need that. And I picked up more weight. Why do I do this to myself? I think the game should get rid of the majority of its invisible walls. I drop down from higher platforms. Uh, I don't know. That's a interesting topic. I mean, I don't mind them. Because there are certain areas where it's... A, it's that's a good question, though. Because, like, there are some areas that don't have those invisible walls. They'll let you walk off and some that don't. And oftentimes, it doesn't... Like, the bridge in Complex Mountain is one of them. I'm pretty sure there's an area on that bridge that you can't fall off of. But you can fall off another area of the same bridge. Kind of weird. I don't know. Good question. Iron scraps. Yeah, but what if I need them, Rodolfo? What if I need them, bud? What if I need it? That's that's always my thing. What if I need it for something small? All right, we do have a water problem for stamina. Is there like a thing of water around here somewhere? We might have to grab some sea sea water, some salt water. It's not called sea water. Okay, that's a little dumb. I thought I was safe there, but okay. Alright, punks, let's do this. You wanted this. Okay. What the heck? Shield bash didn't work. Alright. Don't like fighting two hyenas at once. Let's fight... Pearlbird. Attack that guy, please. Pearlbirds are so stupid. So dumb. Come this way, hyena. Fight this pearl bird. Yes! Okay. Alright. Hyena is on me. There we go. Aha! This is what we wanted. Where'd everybody go? What? Where did the hyena... Where did they go? I'm so confused right now. Oh, is that them over there? Dude, they disappeared. They they disappeared. They were out. They did not want to fight me. Man, hyenas do a lot of damage in the early game. It's so hard to easily kill, too. Crowbird probably got low and ran. That's why I think you're probably right, Alpha. That's probably right. Let's go cook some sugar water. Slamming the roaming Wendigo or Cutthroat yet? No, I actually haven't. Hey, there you are. What? Hey, guys. Hey. What's up? What are we doing? Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, the, uh, the Sorborians added that ley line water to the game. So they it gives you sugar whenever you cook it. It's kind of cool. I'll do it right now, I'll actually show you. Not that I need sugar, because it's pretty worthless for me right now. And that's a big complaint. The, the, the one complaint that's still in the game about Soraborians is that you can't... Uh, you can't make half the foods in that region unless you're in that region. Even though stuff is spread out, there there's no Boozoo. Boozoo are like the whole point of all the food over there. Watch this, you ready? Bark. Oh yeah. Okay, so we can cook this, and it gives four sugar. Wow. I actually didn't know it turned into clean water, though. That's cool. 
Tom and Jerry stuff for sure. The Steve. You always playing uh, HC? What do we mean by HC? Uh, Super Miz. Hardcore? Oh, hardcore. I actually never play hardcore. Because I like to create fun builds and then show them off. And if I accidentally die, I can't show them off. <laughs> I tend to get reckless. <laughs> I tend to get reckless. Let's see what's in this chest. Anything good? No. No. Pretty bad. Actually, we could use that clip. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We're heavy. No, I don't play in hardcore. Just because it's like... Mess up uh, once or twice. And... Actually, the reason for it is when I did play on Hardcore, I messed up one time and lost my character both times I played it. So I just quit. Quit doing Hardcore, because I like to test out these builds and stuff. I like to test them out, have some more fun, get to the end game, see how good the build is, and then be like, hey, this build sucks, and then make a new one. Let's do this. Okay, Ghost Pass gives us two Ethereal Varnishes, so we should be able to clear it out. Fight the Shell Horror now? Oof. I don't know if I could kill the Shell Horror. Probably could. I probably can. We'll see. Yeah, I lost two characters with 50 hours. Yeah. See, that? that's just... Like, it's, it's fun that it's there, but to me, I'm not going to do that. I want to have that character if I ever want to make a video for it or something. Okay, water. Ooh, the third water skin. No wonder you should come here. I forgot about that. Back up. And varnish up. Which is harder for you, Show Horror or Sword Golem? Um, depends. Shell Horror most of the time. Shell horror most of the time. Just because they're more... They're not more aggressive, but they have... Decay damage versus the... I don't know. It's hard to explain. The shell horror just can be annoying sometimes. Okay, ghosts with this sword are pretty hard. Because this sword's actually not that good against them. If I had gong strike, this would be really nice right now. Alright, I need to stagger. Dang it. I... Come on, man. I thought this would be easier to fight a ghost, but apparently it's a freaking nightmare. What the heck? I can't get my attacks in because he has so much more impact than I do. Well, time to heal again, I guess. Luckily, someone decided to buy a health potion earlier. Thank you. Okay, drop this again. Now, how do we deal with this? Will Shield Bash take care of my issues? No. He still gets a free hit almost every time. Yeah, so he gets a free hit every single time. Jeez, they have a lot of impact resist. What the heck? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to run through this. Um, I'm going to need to get a lantern out. Probably torch him. The theory, this sword's just not good against ghosts. Also, it's broken. That <laughs> has something to do with it. No ghost is no joke. You never easy for me. Yeah, they're kind of rough right now. I think what we do is we equip a um, lantern, and we'll go with a uh, flamethrower for now. That was brutal. I I kind of got scared there. Wow. Personally, I like hardcore because the adrenaline, you know, be extra prepared, try hard because I have a lot of experiences and take your advices. Thanks nice testing stuff. Yeah, don't worry, Super. Uh, yeah, hardcore is a lot of fun. I mean, it's there for exactly for that, you know, for the the extra intensity. Okay, the problem with the ghosts is well, the other problem is I just dropped my freaking lantern that I needed. So okay, drop that. Ooh, that was close. Don't like that. All right, wait for an attack. Ow, he still gets me because ghosts are freaking retarded. Okay, he should die to... Yeah, okay, there we go. 
Dude, ghosts are so annoying. <laughs> I didn't realize how hard they were. Because last build that I played, excuse me, uh, was a two-handed mace build, and it made them so easy. Ghosts is less than flamethrower. Flamethrower is pretty good, dude. That was cool. Okay, we need our pungent paste. Alright, we gotta be really careful here. I, I'm getting to, uh, into the game without, like, improving my character at all. Kind of funny, actually. Oh, look, I ran out of mana. Holy cow. That's not good. I forgot. I didn't even... I forgot completely about my mana usage. Discombobulate them with Skadoosh. Fair. Uh, I used one already. I have another. I don't know if I should use it yet, though. What do we think? It's a firefight or a... Probably varnish, right? I don't know. These guys are rough. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay. These guys are actually easier. They attack less. The purple ghosts attack way more often. Okay, he's 25 less physical. Okay, I shouldn't have dodged. I should have attacked, but that's fine. All right, red ghost, come on. Run low on stamina because I forgot to drink water. Aha! Okay, one goes down. When a video game reminds you to drink water. Excellent. Excellent design. I approve. Oh, here's the other varnish that I need. Alright. Um, do I have enough mana to cast a few things? I have a total of six mana. Alright, I need just a little bit back. Need the eternal ethereal lantern for ethereal flamethrower. Yeah, it'd be really good here. Three mana. This needs to get to five. Ice torch? Oh, true. I could do the ice damage. Come on, one more, dude. Why is this taking so long to regen? There we go. What? Why did it just tell me I couldn't use it? Makes no sense. There we go. Much better. I'll grab that ice torch. You, have, you make a good point. I could actually use that here. Instead of the... Uh, it'll do more damage with... Uh, will it do more damage with ice? I mean, I have the ice spoon. Let's try. Can't hurt to try, right? Then I die. Huh. Yeah, check this out. This is going to be cool. Purple ghosts block 70% of the time. Super inconvenient. I think that's my problem right now. Okay. Oh, shoot. I need to get the, uh... Wrong button. Watch this. Haha. <laughs> Noob. What are you doing in there, buddy? Okay, now we activate Cool Boon. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, it doesn't do damage over time. Which is not good. Oh, come on. Really? We're gonna fight to this cage. I feel comfortable here. Ah! Funny. Let me go get some more mana. Let me go find a dead body. Round around for dead bodies again. It's gonna be another playthrough of that. Mm-hmm. No dead bodies so far. Does inflict slowdown, yeah. Which is good. I mean, it's not bad. Aha. You know, I should just hot bar this, shouldn't I? For now. Easy. Alright, let's go see how much we do again. That was kind of cool. I like that. Hey, stupid. Hey, you. Hey. What are we doing? What? The professional. Should never have tested him. 
Oh, come on. I almost killed him. You can use it again, but I feel like that's a waste. Ah! That was scary. Oh, I didn't kill him! He's doing no damage! Oh, 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 there we go. Thank goodness, dude. Whoa. Okay, so Mason Fuse is way better here. And don't use a Fang Sword, because it has no impact. <laughs> it's got no impact. Oh, it's brutal for ghosts. Buff Ice Mage? Yeah. Ice Mage would be cool. Um, what do we have for healing now? My healing is lacking for sure. I think this offers heal. No, mana restoring properties. Oh, ethereal resistance, or uh, elemental resistance. That's not bad. Do I have a bandage? I do. Let's use that. Okay. Alright. You know what? I, I have one more idea. You ready? We're gonna go get a little bit more mana. A little bit more mana. Go. And then I'll hotbar my other skill. I always forget the hotbar stuff in the beginning game. It's like, I really need to be doing that. Okay, activate this. One more reveal soul, so we have max mana. And boom. Nice. I like it. War Master is nice, but I would love it on regular plate armor. Regular set just doesn't have the stats I want. Fair enough. Slow down is great for increasing your kite potential. I think it's good for ghosts for sure because they're really fast. They are really fast. Um, where's this other one? It's up here, I think. Hi, bud. Oh, we don't want to fight two ghosts. Nope. That did not feel good. Supremes! Welcome to the Fearless Companion. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel, my friend. Appreciate that. Okay. I no longer feel confident. Nope. Alright, here we go. Got pain. Like, that's gonna help me. Magically. I hate ghosts. Can we all just agree the ghosts suck? Can we all just collectively agree to that? They are taking massive chunks out of my health constantly. Constantly. Now, again, I like I said earlier, I'm fighting them with garbage stuff, but... Ooh, look at that damage. 11. Very nice. You love to see it. Completely broken weapon. And so we're gonna go up the elevator and sleep. Can you be in... Ambushed by a shell whore? I don't think you can. No, you can't because he's in there. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, I appreciate it, Supremes. I always wanted to try punching a ghost. Brandon, I don't recommend it. Don't recommend it, mate. Not good. Not good for the health. Pretty bad. Okay, we sleep out here, and then we go back in and kill the golem. And the ghost. And the other ghost. And the other one. I made it sound easy. It does, this is not gonna be easy. Okay, we need a nap. It's important to remember to rest. Also, repair. Repairing is important as well. Let's... I guess we'll put... Can you poison a ghost? I don't remember. Probably not, right? I don't think they... Yeah, they don't bleed. Five, five, five. That's pretty good. Taking Hermit? Uh, no, but I'll probably grab... The Weather Tolerance. Punching actually does raw type damage. Interesting. It does raw damage. It cuts through all... No flesh and no poison or bleed. Okay. That's what I figured, but... I did not know punching did raw damage. That's fascinating. Alright, we didn't fully repair, but... Since when does that ever stop me? <laughs> Never. Not one time. 
Horror sword incoming. Oh, heck yeah. We're about to make the horror sword. I need a cult remains. None of these ghosts have dropped one yet. Okay, we have one varnish left. What's the play here? Well, number one, let's drink some water because we're really uh, thirsty. Really thirsty. All right, we'll take some of this as well. And mana regen is also important. Take that. Uh, I don't know. I really want to pop the varnish. I'll tell you what, we will we'll we'll go in here and then pop the varnish. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this. Easy when to go in bandit camp. Oh, true. He does have a, a cult remains, doesn't he? She need broken weapons. Name more iconic duo. I'll wait. Ah, <laughs> that's right. Hey, that's true though. My weapons are always broke. I don't even know why. Actually, I have a brilliant idea. You ready for this? We're going to do something interesting here. Then we're going to switch. Aha. Now we have the advantage in battle. Pull out our shield. Use the ethereal varnish. Drop bag. Oof. About, about took a hit to the face. Zero chance I get hit by that. But alright. That's fine. I don't want to be salty about it or anything. Can you not dodge it? Do you have to be away from it, maybe? Because I did dodge into it. That could have been a mistake. What the heck? Bro's taking all my health. Do not approve. Oh, good. That's what I needed. That's what I wanted. Because I, I remember saying, hey, can I get another ghost to fight me? That's I remember saying that. I I, I remember. Yeah. No healing, as, as usual. Of course. Oh, this is a good fight. This is a great fight. I love this. Excellent. What's this do? Pulls the lever. We don't want to do that right now. Alright. Bye! Okay. Oh, good. He blocks. That's that's fantastic. Can I kill this guy in one hit? Nope! Ooh, that was close. Dodge, please. Ah. Okay, one down. That's the important thing, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, they have very, very rapid attacks. I'm not a fan. We get his bar to health. That's that's where we need it, at least. I'm gonna dodge every single time. Every time. Yes! Okay. Ghosts down. I think there's actually one more ghost, though. Uh, can, we can loot the chest right now, I think. Because he is not in here. He always walks out the other side. Really funny. Whew! Just health just got siphoned? Yeah, he sucked up all my health, dude. What was that? Oh, man. Okay, we've got a brutal club, which can be used in... the tripwires that I don't have. Uh-huh. I believe tripwire is... It's two iron. It's wood, though. Do I have wood? Yes, I do. Because I thought ahead. Big brained ideas here. Okay. We have a few things we can put in here. That's important. I'd like to heal as well. Should probably do that. Should, do I need the steel shield? I don't think so. It's pretty bad. It doesn't offer anything like the... Uh, Although it's probably better than the one I'm using. Not gonna lie. Probably better than that. Brutal Club, yeah. <laughs> okay, take some water and a bandage. I guess it is 25. Maybe we'll sell it to Merchant. Yeah, it's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. We're so heavy. Drop it for now. Okay. Now we need to set up the traps. I'll come back for that. Ooh. Is there one more ghost? That's my question. Because if there is, we are in for a bit of trouble. Could be mostly okay, though. This guy sometimes drops good stuff. He did not that time. Because why would he? Being a very convenient run at the current time. Agnes, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. 
still dream of you enchanting a brutal club and using it. <laughs> what enchant does it have it? What enchant does it? What enchant does it have? There we go. Words and things of the such. Hey, what's up, Agnes? Well, hello, ghost. Just spreading it out there for everybody to see. Oh, shoot. You can't close that back up. Okay. And here is where we make our, our final stand, ladies and gentlemen. Now, normally, I would fight this guy hmm, with a little less cheese, but uh, he's being, he's being kind of rough, so i got to take him out. Also, I think I need to make more spikes. Aha. All right, he's not on me. That's good. Can I put this down, please? Thank you. Jeez. Cheese the game before it cheeses you. Hey, that's fair, though. That's fair. You are correct in that assumption. The game will cheese me if I don't cheese it. Can we find anywhere in this cave that these are good? Crumbling Anger adds plus 50% extra weapon damage. Inflicts burning po- Oh, really? It does all that? I didn't know that they got Crumbling Anger. Cool. And it would inflict confusion. That's actually a really good mace. Thought about that. Alright, so we can get a few hits in whenever he does his, like, knockback from these traps. But I'm gonna set up as many as I can because in the off chance that I mess up, we're gonna need some backup. Big time backup. Yo, man, what's going on? Any people? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we have a lot of people today. A lot of people checking it out. Okay, where is my freaking trap? Oh, here it is. There's, this cave's really weird. Like, you can't put it... Oh. That's not good. Well, it's time it's time to get dirty. Time to get at it. Prepared enough, I guess. That's he that's what he's saying. Alright, dude. You're taking zero damage from traps. That makes me feel really confident. Okay, shield bash should actually do pretty good against this guy, apparently. Impact's nice. Oh, he's confused. Yeah, from the the weapon. Dodge backwards. Running out of stamina. Forgot to take water. Easy. Easy win. Why do I why do I even get scared? Why do I get scared? Imagine if I hadn't put the traps down though. Holy cow, he would have roasted me. Vendival's hospitality. You ever been into mods of this game, or do you dislike them? Uh, I do not dislike them. I do. He actually dropped a recipe for the Golem Rapier. I do not dislike mods. I've never gotten into mods, but I'm not one of the people that dislikes them. No. I think they're cool and they're fun. I just have never had a reason to play them yet. I have. I th been trying to try out each weapon type before I get into mods, so I can try everything. There are some cool mods out there that I'd like to check out, though. Dude, if I hadn't used the tripwires, I was I was a goner. I was a gunner for sure. Dead for sure. Not going to make it out. Okay. Now... If the shell horror is past the bridge, that'd be ideal, because I could sell stuff, get prepped, and then fight him. If he's before the bridge, I'm gonna have to wing it. I'm gonna have to wing it. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Only using the quality of life mods, not like the food doesn't expire type mods, just the DPS numbers. That's a cool one, yeah. I don't really think I would like it. Maybe if I did more of DPS builds. Um, because it looks in the way and stuff, but I need to try it before I decide for sure. What is going on with my water buff? I feel like I keep drinking it and it's not... No, uh, I guess I just keep forgetting to drink it. Okay, we need to be careful because the horror could be anywhere. Not there. Hopefully, he is not. Ah! Okay, I was like, prepared to see him and then I, I immediately still got scared. That was terrifying. All right. We know where he's at. We do have to fight him in the dark. It's not ideal. 
We have two tripwire traps left. Do we have anything to throw in them? You have two spikes. Okay. And we have cold damage. Yeah. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's he doing? What's he doing right now? I don't like it. All right, take my water. Take my bouillon. Uh, cold rag. Rock beetle, of course. And we can do this. Shoot. Bro is coming after me. Look at this. Okay. We have a plan here. If the plan fails, we're dead. Oh, I do not like this. Oh, I'm not a fan. Oh, I'm I'm not I'm not a fan. Okay. So I have no light now. We're gonna be fine. I can't see anything, but it's okay. Here's where we run and regain stamina. Oh shoot, he can uh, he can walk up there. Okay. All right, stamina regaining in the process, and that did not last long. Shields broke. Love to see that. Got him to half health. No hits so far. Using a lot of stamina to block. That's the problem. Okay. Regaining up on this balcony. Get him over there looking all smug. Luckily, I brought your favorite weapon type. Damage type. How about that? Easy win. Why was I scared? Didn't even get hit. Didn't even get hit. I do not think I dropped this back here. Woo! Alright, listen, guys. That was rough, though. That was... I definitely needed this staircase. This staircase? Mwah, love it. The greatest staircase of all time. Greatest staircase of all time. What an absolute champion of a staircase. In fact... Best staircase ever. King! Gifting five memberships. Thank you, King. Holy cow. That's awesome. They got this rapier, by the way. It's what a golem rapier looks like when it's fully repaired. Hwa! 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 Acid. That's awesome, King. Thank you. Okay, so number one. Our shield broke in that fight. That was bad. It wasn't good. We have a lot of pocket space. This is nice. That was a fun fight, though. I, I think shell horrors are really fun to fight. They're pretty fun. You try the forest sometime? It's another kind of survival game. The forest? Yeah, I've actually seen it. I've never played it. Um, I've never played it, but I might try it sometime, yeah. I think the next game series we'll probably get into may maybe we'll see what happens i might put up a pool or something uh is i might play some of the souls games but uh forest i haven't i haven't played yet looks kind of fun though i think there's a second one too isn't there there's a one and a two what's up rika yeah new build the uh the boom build unfortunately we don't have any boom yet it's pure build no boom really got to get some money Forest is pretty bomb. This seems pretty good. Soon. Oh, it's not even out yet? Oh, cool. Running your tarnished pirate build. Love it so far. Awesome. That was a fun build. It's a fun build. Uh, I might... I might follow, fight all the arena bosses with it here soon. That build is honestly broken if you get to Caldera. There's two skills there that can buff it massively. Pretty crazy. 
Sad to say, but I stick around for outward content. Heck yeah, outward's the best, dude. Outward's the best. You can't beat it. It's king. Thanks, Agnes. At the Sons of Forest is coming out soon. Oh, okay. So there's a new one. Interesting. What happened to Grandma? I got bored with Grandma. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I know I said I was gonna do some other stuff with her. For, for right now, I might go back and do it, but I like I got bored. I didn't want to be non-entertaining in the stream because I was just like bored with the build, so I decided to just not, not do it. Um, we have Palladium. Where's that at? Did I not just have Palladium in my inventory? Bro, where's the Palladium? Am I blind? Dude, thanks a lot for your videos. I've learned many things from them. Awesome, appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by to tell me that. I'm glad I've been able to help. Used it for Golem Rapier? Ah, stupid. Why? Okay, that's fine. We can get another Palladium Scrap from... Is there one in this cave? I have no idea. We're gonna have to find out. Um, we do have two fangs. It's not really much to do anything with. I didn't get a, another power coil. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Big whiff on that one. Alright, 500 silver. Now we come over here. Listen to me. We will buy definitely this and this. We will not be taking the skill tree. But we do have a mana push, which you could use. I also forgot about that. Um, I don't know how usable it is right now, though. Mm, trying to get my weight down. I mean, I think, honestly... Gonna have to drop. I mean, the chitin's heavy. I'm not gonna drop that, though. There is the Wendigo in this cave. We will kill him. Sell these. Those aren't necessary. Okay, and then we'll buy 300 gold. Still overweight, though. I mean, I am holding... Look how many lanterns I'm holding. I'm holding an obscene amount of lanterns. Why? Because I feel it's necessary. Okay. That's good enough. Let's check our weapon durability. Ooh, it's bad. Ooh, it's bad. If you ever look in your inventory and you have to say, ooh, yeah, you're in, you're in for trouble. You finished the game with a trog. I never finished the game. I beat everything except for Caldera. Why is it hot in here? I guess he's standing next to a furnace. That's fair. I did play it, but uh, never never beat it. Why are you buying gold, Joshua asks? Uh, gold weighs less than silver. Gold weighs a lot less than silver. Uh, so I think... Can I see it in here? The silver right here weighs 0. 0.6, which is only 55. This weighs 0. 0.7 for 700 silver. Um, so if you carry around a lot of silver, it's going to weigh you down a lot. Gold weighs way less. So it's your travel resource, what you want to use it as. I need to sleep again because... That... Should I take water or something? Should I just probably just move the bed, right? Should I probably just move the bed? That'd be convenient. That'd be probably better. I'm just trying to meathead my way through this. Yeah, okay. What a dummy. Huh. So there's two skills in Caldera for Tarnished Pirate. What are they, if you may? Um, so there is the Specialist Skill Tree Trainer. The Specialist Skill Tree Trainer sells a variety of skills. One of them increases, I think it's bronze. It increases your physical damage by 15%, I think. Um, so if you take that, you do more physical damage. That build is purely physical damage, so it obviously is much better. Um, and you all you can also buy a skill from the same trainer that increases your skill damage, which all dagger attacks are skill damage, so it also increases your dagger attacks. So if you do that, your mace, regular mace attacks will do less damage, but all of your dagger attacks get stacked, like, insanely high. Um, I need to sell the shield, that's what I need to sell. How are you? Doing good. Why are you yelling at me like that? That was weird. 
kind of kind of creepy too okay i had to sneeze yeah. Whew, they came out okay all right um i do want to sell a little bit more to get uh, another piece of gold there we go there's one sell one of each of these Now I buy another gold. There we go. Okay. Now I feel a little bit better about that. Let's check this. I don't think I looted that yet. Oh my word. What the heck? Thank goodness I checked that. That's some good. And we're overweight again. <laughs> Have you seen Seth Sachin Outward Review Sheen? Is it the one that just came out recently? I haven't watched it. I, it popped up. I'm going to watch it. I don't know if that's the person you're talking about. There, uh, someone just made recently an outward review. I'm, I thought about checking it out. I hadn't yet. I was working on Discord yesterday. I didn't get to check any of them out, or any other videos out. But and that was like two years ago. Oh, okay. Someone recently made an outward review. I don't know who it was. Uh, I didn't watch it yet. So, like I said. Um, I don't know if I've seen his review of it, but he's pretty funny. I probably did if he's the guy that made it as pretty funny. There's been some pretty good outward reviews, honestly. I haven't tried blood infused blood yet. Seems very powerful. Infused blood is nuts. It's absolutely nuts because it does bleed. No, it doesn't do bleed. Sorry. It does uh, extreme poison and bleeding. Maybe I can't remember. But it leeches health over time, obviously, and does decay damage. So it's, like, stupid powerful. Yeah, we don't need this Hearthstone. That's not worth my time. I think it was, uh... Yeah. Does extreme bleed and poison. Okay, I both. I couldn't remember if it was, yeah. Next challenge, kill Wendigo without losing more than half health. Oh, jeez. King, you really put me out here. Okay. All right. Red's getting fed up with the town building, Brandon. Yeah, 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 I feel that. The town building does suck. Um, it's it's there for a reason, though. Provides you with a lot of content to play. I'll, I'll say that. Okay, step one. We need to have our water and our stamina at max. Now, the problem here is that this guy is a high-impact dealing enemy. Very high, in fact. Do what we need to do is we need to get. I just go sword attacks on him. I don't know. Yeah, we'll probably just use regular sword attacks. Okay. Thing is, I want to use these bombs, but they kind of like are inconvenient for me. You know what I mean? Like, they just freaking miss. Okay. Drop bag. Alright, we should have the stamina to defeat him. They don't have that fast stamina regen, actually. Look at my stamina, though. This is brutal. The shield uses up so much of your stamina. Really gonna need to worry about that for sure. Need to just regain right now. I mean, it's coming back fast, but... Okay. Easy. Easy. The stamina is so brutal right now. I gotta get some some stuff for that. The problem is the runic armor is bad for stamina. What is my stamina currently? Negative six? That's with the backpack on. Easy fight, though. Easy fight. Easy fight. 
Now, the problem is the elemental. The elementals are always terrible. You know, in Sierzo, I have a skill to make blocking easier. Uh, yes, but I already took it. I bought it very quickly because it's extremely useful. I try to never leave town without it. All right. No freaking... Dude, we're getting no particles. Thank goodness I enchanted everything beforehand. We'd never be able to get our enchantments. Oh, my word. King! Holy freaking cow, King. $20 donation. Exceeded challenge requirements. Requirements. GG. Thanks, King. Holy cow, man. Jeez. Thank you, King. That's pretty awesome. Oh, guys. I was going to use... I was going to use Throw Lantern. I didn't... I didn't even get to. No quartz, no particles. Yeah, it's, it's a typical... Uh, typical elemental for most people. Drops nothing. Alright, we're going to go smash Burton's head. I know some of you like him. I'm sorry. I do not have the time to clear this out. Oh, he drops Flower and Corruption. He dropped me flowering corruption. That's cool. Yeah, thank you for the donation, King. That means a lot. Uh, no. No. We're not going to do that, buddy. Mostly because I don't want to get corrupted is why I'm not doing this cave. Yeah, I'm coming to talk to you. Don't. Check them finally. Oi there. Oi, listen. I put a spell to seal the door. One palladium and you have horror sword? Like yeah, it. I really need to get it. Listen. Alright, I'm sorry. I love Myrid, but it's just not worth my time right now. Also, this cave is pointless for me. So. I do feel bad killing him. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Uh, the helmet that he dropped was the brigand helmet. It's pretty terrible. It is the brigand hat. Not worth much. He either drops that or the brigand coat. I think because he used to be a bandit, so they're kind of giving you the correlation there. How dare you, Samurai Jack? I see, I knew somebody was going to be... Yeah, maidenless behavior. True. half plate boots? Interesting. Oh, I can't move. Okay. Oh, wait. Is that palladium? Nah, it's iron. Bro. I just... It's not worth becoming corrupted to complete that cave. Okay, so palladium. We know that there's one in the blue chamber conflux bath. Um... That's it. That's all I know in this region. In Merker Forest, we could get a bunch, but we're not there. We are not there, unfortunately. So, I have enough money to buy some of the Kazite Spellblade skill tree now. Maybe... I don't think Gong Strike, though. No, I don't have enough for that. That's really what I want. That's the coolest thing. So, how do I earn some more money here? There are some ornate chests I could farm. Honestly, it's probably just faster to go in Merker Forest, though, right? Probably. That's kind of sad, though. Nah. Oh, well. Alright, let's take our overweight self and start throwing lanterns, because that's my biggest issue right now, is I just have too many lanterns. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. And they're both on. Surprise! One in Blue Chamber Path, and by the Ice Dino, Dino and Ley Line. So yeah, I should probably just go through Blue Chamber again. Is one in Ghost Pass, really? Oh, is it in the bottom? Probably in the bottom. I did clear that out. Hmm. Vigil Pylon have any beast golems? You can break their scraps down. Uh, Vigil Pylon does not. It has the... Forge golems instead. Uh, 
Okay, we're trying to waste lanterns right now. I guess I could always sell them, but why would you do that when you could throw them? Such a better use of a lantern. Yoink. Okay. Some weird noises going on in the background. There we go. Did anyone notice that? It's making a shield charge sound every time I throw that. Did anyone hear that? Let's see. If, it was only on impact, though. It wasn't on initial throw. Let's see if I can do it again and get it to do it. No, I don't want to throw my lanterns away. That was weird, though. Do items on ground ever disappear? Yes, all items in the outside world disappear in seven days. Uh, every seven days, the region will reset itself. All enemies will respawn. Items will respawn. And anything you left out will disappear. In towns, that does happen now as well. The towns now reset in Definitive Edition. However, you can drop stuff in your houses and in New Sirocco. New Sirocco does not reset and the houses do not reset. So you can drop whatever you want in there. But that's it. You can't drop it anywhere else. Alright, listen, you punk. See what your plan is here. I don't approve. Chances of you having hit me were so slim. And yet you did it anyway. I'm honestly impressed. Okay, we go to Conflux. Get our Palladium. Then what? I don't know. Even backpack? Yeah. That's why I lost my backpack with all my items. Yes, yeah, even backpacks will despawn. Literally everything will. If it's not... In... Actually, yeah, because all the containers reset and everything. So yeah, unless you're in town. Not even in town, in your house, sorry. Yeah, the houses are weird. That's so that your chest doesn't... Be... Spawn. Or respawn items, you know what I mean? Because your chest, uh... Would reset all your stuff, that would suck. Alright, um... You think I need... It doesn't weigh that much, though. I always do this to myself. That's why I like Mofinos, guys. It's like I said a million times. Best backpack, Mofino. Infinite carry weight! We'll go through Holy Mission and come back through... To, uh... The other one. Backpacks in the house do not respawn. Or do not despawn, sorry. Your houses are, are clean from that. Didn't know your whole house was safe until now, but I don't even play a DE. They were safe before as well. They So they are an old word. Is old word. Yeah, there it is. The houses never despawned because the towns used to not despawn. The towns now reset though, so they that doesn't work in DE. But Yeah. Yeah, you can still use your fridge. Don't worry. If you don't go in it for a while, no. Your your house stuff will never despawn. You could drop a food item in there and then come back four months later, it'd still be there. Backpack at home is good for storing perishable food. Yeah. Big time. Dude, stamina on this build is just killing me. Kill me. Got pain. Oh, they must have fought the the cutthroat. He's the only thing over here that inflicts pain, I think. Right? No way they won that fight, though. Did he run? Probably. Hmm. Getting chased by this hyena. Oh, that was close. That was close. A little too close for me. A little bit... Out of my comfort zone. Got Pro Bird Mask for third stream in a row. Win a prize. Dude, that's been crazy. Last two streams, I got it in... Not even that many Pro Birds. This one, I've already killed quite a few and haven't gotten it. Well, hopefully we get it, though. We'll, we'll see, King. We'll see. Damn it on every build's a pain for me. Hence why I love the economy enchant so much. Because stamina does not matter on that enchant. My favorite enchant in the game.
Hey, buddy. What you need? Listen up. I need you to help me kill some rock mantises or mana mantises. Whatever one you want to call it. Economy and hex page passive stamina not an issue ever. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, we need to put on probably this. Okay. Should I put on mana push? Probably not. It's more of a... Yeah, it's more of a... Thing I can't use as much. Alright, Zephyrian's coming to help. We gotta keep the... We want one of them? Yeah, we want one of them on him. Here we go. One of them's on me. That's important. Really? You guys know that actually does like, uh, I think it's two or three damage. Ethereal damage. Easy. The Ferian's kicking butt over here, dude. What a tank. What a tank. Why doesn't he wear a helmet? I don't know. He's just that much of a... Just beast. He's a beast. Do you use preservation backpack in your house? I think I am going to grab preservation, considering I did kill the Wendigo already. So I might actually grab it. You're supposed to always grab it. I just never do. I did kill the Wendigo, though. Before Vendival, so... Alright, two trogs. What are we doing fighting trogs over here still, Zephyrian? Kill this guy. Hmm. Taking a sweet time, I see. Ah, there we go. I did not hit both of them with that. It kind of sounded like I did. But I did not. Okay. Gotta do this guy over here. Hello, ladies. Nope. Nope. Bro, where's Zephyrian at? Is he hiding on the other side? Okay. You know, I just noticed that crystal looks an awful lot like the one in the Jade Lich's palace, except for his is green. Or Ziggurat, not palace. Oh, Zephyrian's poisoned. Not looking too good. He's not looking too good. Zephyrian, your health is my concern, buddy. Oof. Big oof. One of the greatest things about this is that Puncture applies pain, which obviously is great for you. But if you're doing co-op, your other friend could, like, use something that deals a lot of physical. And then you guys could just blast your way through the game. Everything would die. <laughs> like, two hits. Alright. Need to sell. Thank you, Supreme. Appreciate that. You said the map resets every seven days. Does that include enemies? Yes. Uh, the only enemies that don't respawn are unique enemies. These are ones that drop these items. Uh, the relic-based items. These are new. They just added this with the patch. Um, uh, any enemy that drops this does not respawn. Except there is a... What is probably a bug... Um, the one in the Lightmender's Cave, which is called... What's it called? I can't remember. It's the Lightmender's Old Cave here in Cherisonese. It actually has a unique enemy that will respawn every seven days, sometimes, for certain people. For me, he always respawns and drops a unique item. Or arena item, which should not be the case, but he does. Um, which is interesting. Very interesting. It's like a, literally an army of trucks dead here. Now, for other people, they've told me that they he doesn't respawn. 
So, very situational, I guess. But he also drops a particle every time and a purity potion. So, pretty darn good loot for a, a mini boss that's not supposed to respawn. Two-handed yellow swings all day, yeah. You don't have to do arena anymore? You don't have to? Necessarily. They don't give you guaranteed drops, so they're, they're RNG-based. Meaning, you could end up with all of the same one, theoretically. Um, I got a couple different ones last time I did it. I didn't get a whole bunch. I got a couple different ones, but I still was unable to make any weapons because I just didn't get the right ones. So they added kind of more RNG to it, which is, I think it was a good idea. Um, especially since now you have a chance to get an arena weapon before you fight bosses, which is cool. Again, it's a chance. There's no guarantee. But all right, so everyone keeps telling me, oh yeah, there's a Tonosaur. A lot of trogs we gotta fight here. A lot of trogs. Five vendable hospitality. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of those. It was pretty bad. To make it harder than if enemy now respawn more often. Uh, yes and no. Like, like they they did add in Definitive Edition a minor extra respawn like uh bandits will respawn in the outside world a little bit more than they used to but it's not really that big a deal and the main area resets the big thing so you're not going to be like spammed with enemies all the time you want some of this huh all three of you at the same time bring it you don't know who i am a cool buff Ooh. I don't want none of that. Get out of here. Ouch. Oh, yeah? What the heck is going on right now? Get out the freaking cliff. I'm not doing it. Nope. Get out the cliff, you moron. Why is he healing? He has full health. Doesn't make sense. There's no logic to that. Why would you continue to heal yourself if you're full health? Alright, stay there, you idiot. I ain't gonna fight you, you moron. Not worth my time. I only fight intelligent beings. You, my friend, are not. Running out of stamina very quickly. You must die. I should have a shield on right now. Why I don't? Good question. A valid question. Stab. <laughs> that was funny. Alright, here we go. Grab backpack. Switch the shield, please. Oh my word, bro. What is that? Every stinky elemental in this game? It's in this area. And I haven't got a single particle? What luck. What luck. Okay, here we go. Dude, the stamina consumption of a shield is pretty brutal. Especially if you have your backpack on that's costing you, like, way extra. Don't recommend. I do recommend the bleed and poison build. Excellent damage. Excellent damage. Okay, we're gonna skip these guys because they're completely pointless and I have no carry weight. Hi. Yeah, heal yourself, stupid. I think it buffs him too, but it doesn't matter to me. You can take brown tea for max stamina. Eat tartine. I don't know if I have any brown tea, do I, though? Thought I didn't. Ooh. Really? I didn't know you were that close to me. You just keep eating on me while I eat my food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Alright, we did not find the right room, guys. 
Bro, what the heck? Get out of here. You're not that fast. I know for a fact. I know these things. Okay. Now, which direction do I go? I always forget. To here? Go to here. I went the wrong... There's no way! How is he this fast? He's amazing. He's the next Flash. Ah! That way. This way? This should be the Mantis. Bro, I'm freaking lost. How'd I do this to myself? I found it. What are you two doing in here? Can I get some, like, a break, please? Like, one, one tiny piece of... Just luck. Any sort of luck. Forgot to upgrade that on my character. Come on, guys. Let me just bait you out. Ah! What the heck? There's like a thousand trogs in here. Did not know there was that many. Okay. Duly noted. Wait. Wrong way. Need to go this way. Oh, shoot. Dang it. I'm doing this to myself. I is stupid. Got an idea. Ready? That idea needs stamina to work. We're good, ladies and gentlemen. We're fine. The fastest freaking trogs in the world are on my tail. Get out of here, bro. Need to go get this palladium so I can get my horror weapon. Please, thank you. I went the wrong freaking way again! What's wrong with me? All right, fine. I'm dropping bag. Need the stamina back. Nyo. Everybody come here. Everyone come here and hide in this corner. Three minutes. Three minutes alone. I need some alone time. Appreciate it. Making this difficult on myself, I know. Oh, my word. Okay, don't pick it up. Just stand there. Just stand there. I've only pushed it four times, you moron. All right, here we go. Boom, palladium. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm dipping. The heck out of here, dude. Yoink. What was that way? Is that the right way? This is the right way. Yep. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is 100% the best way to enter this cave and leave untouched. Just kidding, that's horrible. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's bad. Woo, that was rough, guys. Guys, that was rough. I don't know what I don't know what happened. Lost all intellectual prowess. Hmm. Oh wait, I think I can make that now, can't I? Sword, chitin, occult, and palladium. My horror sword of death. Now we're doing extreme poison. Boom. Also, my word, this thing's short. Does more impact, too. Other palladium by the dino? I probably could kill the dino now. Pretty easily. No hit the horror. Trogs in the maze nearly kill him. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. Feel free to use one of our boats. That'd be how it goes. Who does he have? He has three leather. Skilled satchel costs three skilled though, doesn't it? No. Okay, we're gonna sell literally everything that costs anything. I'm very tired of being overweight. Even that still not good enough? Fine. Fine. I'll do it myself. Okay. 39 out of that. Now, what do I need for this Tonosaur? What's he weak to? Fire, cold damage. I have a cold reg. Aha! 
and make one. Alright, so the main problem here is that he's a little bit faster than my sword. Oh, do I need tea? Did he have tea? I need to buy that. Grabonia, what's going on? Welcome to the, uh, the stream. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. Does this where you get some of my stamina back? No, it doesn't look like it. Really killing me currently. You know what? Do it the old-fashioned way. Let's get good. Huh? Hopefully it is nighttime so we can skip that. It is. Look at that. All right. Finally. Is the oven downstairs? Do I have anything to cook? Oh, I guess I could make some, you're saying, Jason. That's a good idea. Good idea. Water and rebuild. Yeah. <laughs> He's already dead. Uh, the Tonosaur... So, funnily enough, how this works is the Tonosaur itself does not respawn. The boss. But a regular Tonosaur will. So. I'll show you. A regular Tonosaur will spawn immediately. You can actually uh, enter the Blue Chamber Conflux, immediately come back, and he'll spawn in immediately. Even if you have just killed the blue one. Kind of funny. I need to make some of these for later. Yeah, it's kind of neat. In seven days for Dino to reset? No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet, but he will he will respawn anyway. I found this out on stream actually the other day when someone told me. This dino will spawn in every single time. I'll go over here and show you. As soon as you kill the blue one, you can enter that door right there, exit, and another regular one will spawn. Don't know why. It happens somewhere else too, with uh, a boss, not a boss, but an enemy that's similar to that. Okay. Take my healing. I'm gonna fight him down here. I feel confident enough. Oh, shoot! That was scary. I'm not gonna lie. Let's do this, punk. Oh, fat damage. Only get one swing at a time, though, because how slow his sword is. Fine. Got plenty of stamina now. Blocks like four hits and then is broken. What I'm talking about. Easy. Easy. Easy cake. Now we make some more bouillon. They predator. The greatest dish of mankind. Good to know. Don't have to go to Monsoon for scale leather anymore. Yeah, I think he only does it once. Like, I can't go kill him again, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, you get at least at least two or three immediately. And if you kill the Shell Whore, you definitely have three before you go anywhere else. A damage and impact? Yeah, Ricky. This, this horror sword. I'm telling you, horror weapons are the best weapon to get your hands on after the Fang weapons. They're excellent. Good French accent. <laughs> yes, well, the first time I said it, I don't remember what I said, but it was not that. It was not the actual word for it. All right, we got some water. We got some bouillon. Some bouillon, you know? Got to be French. I'm French. To be French about it. Bouillon de predator. I wish I knew the rest. I wish I knew other French words for the, the foods. I don't know the rest of them. <laughs> What's the idea behind the build? Uh, oh, you're from Quebec? Awesome, Supreme. Uh, it's a blast damage build, or a boom build. So we're gonna go all the shield stuff, which is shield and fuse, shield gong strike. Uh, we're gonna get Gep's blade for the explosions there. Um, And yeah, that's kind of, kind of the idea. 
And we'll be probably going with Sorbor faction. Someone said that the mana infuse would be really good for this. So, yeah, Gong Strike for sure. It's one of the few abilities I've never beat the game with, so we're going to try it out. Stuck with the Star Trek Claymore and luring a mob into chimes. Procs that like mad. Oh, the chimes are awesome. We have decent stamina right now. Now, see, once you get this horror sword, you can take out everything in this region. No problem at all. Stand in your way. About to get a better shield, too. See? Boom. Easy. That's pain. Then I hit him again. Wait for it. Oh, fat damage. Sorry, dude. I'm just better. I killed a shell horror. Did you? I don't think so. I don't think so. If you did, you'd be the hero. But you're not. I'm the hero. Okay. Is this worse? No, it's better. The tower shield! You don't see people use this uh, in the end game much, but it's a pretty cool shield. Not very good for end game. Pretty good starter, though. Easy clap. Heck yeah, though. Just build different for sure. AoE virgin weapons, maybe? I could, but Gep's Blade does the same thing. I may need to enchant one, though, for backup. Excuse me, sir. I need you to attack three times. Thank you. Get out of my face, you peasant. Peasant? Oh, a trap. I like it. What are we doing up here? Hmm, we have a bandit versus a mantis shrimp. Now, it appears that the bandit has agility, while the mantis shrimp has flat-out damage. Bandit really not putting in a lot of work here. This is a pretty equal battle here. He's dodging the AoEs like a pro. Ooh, he gets nailed. He's at half health. Both of them are. This is a pretty fair battle. Mantis shrimp not doing enough. Bandit coming in with some max... Oh, he's getting demolished. Demolished blocks. But he's jabbing at the right time. He's jabbing at the right time. If he can get in a few more hits, he'll win the battle. Oh, and he just flunks it at the last second. He just absolute fail. Destroyed, bro. Get wrecked. He got wrecked by Mantis Shrimp. I beat that day one. Day one. Commentate this fight. <laughs> I don't get to commentate them often because they often, uh, they'll kill them too fast. I wanted to commentate them, though. Me on my first playthrough. Hey! <laughs> Let's be. Fight the Mantis Shrimp on my first character. He killed me instantly. Surprised? Alright, Croc. Are you ready to die? I have Gabberry Wine. Well, now. What do we have here? A lost traveler? I'm, uh, we'll I'm just passing by. Care. What? But we have everything you need in... No, no I don't think you do, bud. I don't think you do. You How's that Zagus armor working out for you, huh? I heard it was pretty crappy now. My favorite YouTuber told me. <laughs> Self-promoting in my own live stream. How dare I? How dare I do that? I'll, I'll sit here all day. Oh, oh man. What are you guys doing, huh? Having some fun? Oh, Croc, did you die? What happened? What happened, Croc? Zagus Armin's kind of back now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, not in for a Zagus Armin. You chill out, machete man. Sit down. Alright, we're gonna use Shield Bash. Ooh, that's way better. Sit down. Stream poison is cracked. Heck yeah. Yeah, Zag is not that good anymore, unfortunately. Not that good anymore. It's still usable if you want it to be, but it's like... You gotta put in some work, you know? And Whereas before, it was already good. Dead. Died of malicious mockery. <laughs> toxic sword. In the hands of a toxic warrior. True though. All right, guys, I got to use the restroom real quick, so I'll be right back. Uh, but give me one second, okay? Pause the game here. One second, and I will BRB.
All right, I'm back. Okay. So, can we talk to Balira and get the backpack then? Is that what we can do? Can you speed run this game? Sort of, Supreme. Sort of. Not really at the same time. Because there's like... A Caldera can't, can't be sped run. You cannot speed run Caldera. It literally will take you a long time, no matter what you do. The faction quest you could probably speed run, though. People have done it before, too. Um, what do we want to take here? I think we're good. We need to just go talk to Blira. I'm back for the ornate chest here. Funny how, uh, here the bandits are swept under the rug and not seen. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. You can speed run Caldera with the debug menu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just spawn in 100 samples and be like, hey, well, I don't know what happened. Okay, do I need the outfit to actually do this? You're not one of my warriors. You're from Yeah, Sierzo. I do. All right. I could get my armor piece though. We'll come back later with Ito's outfit and do her thing for the preservation backpack. Cuz this just I don't know, I've never done it on on stream and it'll be a good idea to do it. You can talk to her without triggering if you fight uh, guards first. She, um... Rospa, in, de in Defensive Edition, Rospa will immediately aggro. Now, they changed that. He will immediately aggro as soon as you defeat anyone. The Witch does not. The Witch does not. I don't know why, actually, that they made that distinction, but the Witch doesn't. You still have to talk to her, probably due to the quest or something like that. But it's weird because Rospa has his own part in that quest and he can't you can't do that to him. So it's like I don't I don't know why. Okay, let's see. There should be a cook down here, I think. There we go. You can skip time and spawn the things you need. Easy speed run, yeah. Darn it. It would debug menu is definitely possible. All right, they're all blocking. Only thing that sucks about this dungeon is right here. Because Outward is a very balanced game, but when it comes to multiple enemies, you just can't. You can't fight multiple enemies unless you have uh, last damage. Which I unfortunately do not have currently. Also, I'm not sure why the cook is in that room, because he's supposed to be in here. Yeah, well, you bunch of dummies. I gotta go heal real quick. Got to go heal, because you guys beat the crap out of me with machetes. Feels kind of rude, but okay. Let me heal up. Thank you. I think it's for the better, which isn't inherently evil, and her not being immediately aggressive uh, made the players think of killing her a bit less. Yeah, I, I agree. It's a good change. I always thought it was odd, but yeah, it's, it's good. What do you think about the possibility of a split screen while end game isn't cheating? Uh, no. No. The thing is, like, you can't cheat in a PvE game. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't, it's a PvE game. Like, it doesn't affect other players. So, if you want to pop in a split screen, it's part of the game. It's a mechanic. You can use it. Do whatever you want. It's just the same thing in, uh, in Souls based games. You know how they have, like, cheats and stuff where they skip half the game and then speed run it? That's not a cheat, it's part of the game. So, no, I don't think it's cheating. Would you be able to submit a speed run with that? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't think it's cheating, though. Mm hmm. Health coming back very slowly. Just waiting. Now, why did that bandit follow me, but the rest didn't? 
Did they get stuck down here? Banditos. Where are you? Do I have a cold reg? I do. I got one from the shrimp, I think. Ah, excellent. What shield are you going to use? I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty open. I think I had one planned, and then I I just couldn't decide on one. Fabulous played him is never bad. Dude, where did these bandits go? Did they legit disappear? I'm so confused. They're not even here. What is happening? I disappeared the bandits. Don't fight me. I shall make you disappear. Been proven. Everyone has a machete. Guys, listen. It's a terrible weapon. Why are you still doing so much damage to me? Oh my word. Stop blocking. I literally can't do damage without getting hit because you won't stop blocking. Thank you. Jeez. Yeah, that's what was supposed to happen in the first place. You punks. Jeez, dude. Eating the crap out of me while well, I can't fight back. Rude. Can't I talk to him. I don't like how you can't talk to these guys anymore. Because it completely takes away the entire quest. Unless you get captured. Which I get, but it's like, eh. Angler's my favorite. Looks cool. Yeah. Angler is pretty cool. I don't know if I'll... Is there something... Probably end up getting it for Caldera. It's gonna be really helpful there. No mana build versus full mana. The no mana build was definitely better. By far. <laughs> by, by far. Definitely way more fun. The no mana build was more hard than anything else. Zorn's Demon Shield looks great. Or is a great shout out. Yeah, I might... That's a good one, too. See, that's the thing. There's a lot of good shield options, but, like, there's not much distinction between any of them. I think the Gold Lich Shield was a pretty good one, because it does lightning damage. But Zorn's Demon looks really good, and the Caldera one. There's, like, I probably will... What I'll probably do is I'll probably end up grabbing multiple, storing them in my chest, and then just kind of swapping whenever I need whatever. Because that's what I did with my mace build. I just kind of did that. Used eight or nine different maces. Okay, we have to deal with bow and arrow characters here. Now, what do I do to deal with them? Probably just bring them down this hill, I think. Or the stairs. Okay, that's what we'll do. We ever do Battle Royale with raid mods? 16 players? Ooh. Uh... We may try and set something up, yeah. I mean, people have asked me multiple times to set raid mod up. We'll, we'll see what happens, you know? We might do a community thing where we get some people together for it. Oh, I have the tower shield, buddy. Come on! You should not be allowed to block. I block. You do not. Thank you. Oh, shoot. He's got arrows. I can do that. There goes my stamina, instantly. Go, Rospa. Oh, I don't want to fight you and your Kazite buddy. That's... That's a little rude. What? What? Come here, sir. Dude, stop. No, we're not fighting you and the bandit. Not gonna do that. Here we go. Shield v. Shield. Now he's pained. Oh, nice. Why am I taking so much d damage in Vendable? <laughs> I died to poison. <laughs> Freaking great, dude. He died to poison. Of 
course. Oh, what? Blasted that dude. Raid PvP bot. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool, Supreme. Put both those together. That'd be that'd be really fun, I think. You do some interesting things with it. The drums and chimes. I only fought Rospa and was still learning the drums. They killed all the archers above Rospa. Hilarious. Yeah. Drums are amazing. They have that. Uh, they just hit, hit stuff, and you can actually kill a lot of things through walls with it and all kinds of stuff. It's borderline overpowered, I would say. Now, should I use this shield, guys? I don't know how good this thing is. The tower shield has 18 damage, 56 impact. It's a lot of impact. This has more impact, way more damage. Way more damage. I'm going to use this bad boy. This is good. That's darn good. Are you not going to grab a shit? No, I went back for a Ricky. <laughs> yeah, the player Claymore wouldn't be bad if I wasn't heavy, though. A little heavy for it. I'll probably grab it now. How much room do I have? Oh, I can carry it now. Yeah. I can definitely carry it now. At the time, probably not. Oh my word, guys, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six water skins. How do I do it? How do I do it? Healing, damage, and uh, debuffs of totems is OP. Yeah, I actually used reverberation last time. Blech. Nope, don't take it. It does a lot of impact whenever you use the reverberation skill, but it's just not worth it because then you you lose all your stacks of damage from the totem. It's just way better to... And most of the time, you're not going to use it against smaller enemies, because this is not going to last long enough. It's a good uh, skill in theory, but the other one's way better. Nurturing Echo. Oh, hey! Found the rest of the dungeon. I'm not entirely sure how or why they were in that room. Oh, I need the key to activate that. So Once again, we're just going to block. We're just gonna keep blocking. Just gonna block. This thing's so slow. Attack it, a bandit. Oh man, it's rough. I am so annoyed at this point. Just freaking die. Oh my word, dude. I'm stuck on a rock. Yeah. Now, how you feel? You feel dumb? Oh my word, that shield's good. That shield is good, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Excellent. Where was the alchemy kit, though? I didn't even see one. That shield charge? Yeah, that's some that's some nice damage right there. That's way more than it was doing. Need it multiple times with the passive. I think it restores mana, stamina, health, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Nurturing Echo. Yeah, that one's really good. Reverberation, on the other hand, is just... Eh. You think you were gonna get away, bud? Hey! I never looted Croc. Croc has some nice health potions. Nice. Way to go, Croc. All right, how much money do I have? Ten? That is not a lot. Not a lot of money. Sierra's always just so hard to get money. Nothing drops that well. In the room with all the beds. Okay, I'm, I think I'm going back to town anyway, so I'll just do it there. Fol Foltano. Oh, I know which room you're talking about, Foltano. Yeah, you're right. Farm cubes. Do I have firefly powder, though? Yeah, I don't have Firefly Powder, so... I guess they do dry... Yeah, the cubes sell... The cubes do sell well. They sell really well. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Nuclear damage with that shield charge? Heck yeah. I'm liking how much it's doing. The This shield's way better than I thought it was. 
way better. See how much it does to a lowly hyena. Almost killed him outright. Holy cow. Okay, so for now, this is the shield we're running with, because this thing's fantastic. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you dying. Alright, I gotta find me... We gotta get some skills. I mean, we're doing good with what we got, but we gotta get some skills. Uh, I still don't think we're gonna be able to get Gong Strike yet. We could get infused, though. Be good. Good. Um, are there any other supply cat? Let me farm out some supply catches real quick. If we can get Mafino's backpack, it's gonna save me so much walking right now. The stamina from this overweight thing's killing me. And back, she's still bullying hyenas. Go to Enmerker already. <laughs> Rodolfo, is it's just too easy, you know? I like bullying the little stuff. Okay, we'll go up the hill. Down. And maybe we'll we'll go to... I wanted to get the full tree before I leave. That's why I haven't left yet. Maybe we'll go into the Lightmender's Cave. We'll see. Oh, crap. I did a whoopsie. Alright, forget it. If you're not gonna fight me, just don't aggro. That's what I think. That's what I think. Drag 20 people left. Or dang 20 people. Probably do. <laughs> nah. I'll get rid of it here in a minute. If I'm not running from hyenas... Frickin' hyenas, bro. Frickin' hyenas. They're so dumb, though, because they don't de-aggro ever. They just always chase you. You can chase me all you want, guys. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not fighting two people at once. It's uh, apparently the failure of this build. Gets me killed instantly. Gong Strike's gonna fix that, though. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. The steam sale here yet? For Outward, I don't think so. Not that I know of. Okay, I don't even think they can come over here. Aha, you fools. You absolute idiots. Thought you could outsmart the great Sheenster? No. Can't be done. Can't be done. Nicholas. Alright, we need to head behind here, and there is a supply cache. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, there we go. Poison Rags plus Gong Strike is pretty good. I'm thinking we're gonna get a quite a... Here's the question, though. Should I take Fire Infuse or Frost Infuse? That's my real question, because I know Fire is generally better in the early game, but Ice may be better in the, the late game. And since I've never used Gong Strike before, I'm wondering, like, which is will be better. Frost? Okay. And by saying Frost, why not both? Uh, because you can only take one from the skill tree. Um, it's a split break... It's not a breakthrough, but it's a split decision. If you take Frost, you can't take Fire. If you take Fire, it cuts off Frost. So you have to pick one or the other. I'm agreeing with you guys. I think Frost would be... Would be really good overall. Uh, because Ice is really good in, in Caldera. The problem is that Fire falls off in Caldera so... So badly. It's still good in Caldera. And wow, two different moms. But it just falls off much uh, higher than Frost does. Does the Frost imbue inflict slow? Because if it does, that'd actually be great. That's what I'm thinking, Eugene. I think it does. Frost infusion goes well with uh, Gong Strike. Okay, so everybody's saying Frost. All right. I took Fire Infuse last time I took Spellblade anyway, so that's, that's fine. We'll take Frost and see uh, how good it is. Um... The ply cache here, and then we go right. Okay. 
Yes. All right. We know what we're doing. We've kind of been taking it. What have, what have we been? The three hours so far? We're still in chairs and knees? Ah, jeez. We've been taking the long way around. But again, if I... I really want to get Gong Strike. Because that's what makes this build... This build. What makes it unique. I could go to Berg and get the runes. But then it's just going to be a rune mage for a while. Gosh freaking darn it. Why you do this to me, game? Entice me with your love and then just backstab me. Why do you hurt me so? Lighting is the worst. <laughs> That's a very good point. Um, the other thing was... If I took... The re another reason I wanted to take the runic... Uh, runic prefix was when I summoned the ethereal sword... It already had the imbue on it. That's what I just remembered. That's why I was going to take that. It was already on there. Yeah, lots of bots today, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. On the hill by the lake, there's another one. Cone, what's going on? A boom status, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you're just joining, Cone. Um, we're gonna be using Gong Strike, Shield Infuse. Dude, they're killing me right now with this. And Mason Fu- or uh, Shield Infusion. A whole bunch of blast abilities. Probably Gep's Blade, too. Lincho, what's going on? How many times do you have to report these spam bot messages before you two actually does anything? Oh, they never do anything. They don't do anything. Um, I just have to delete them. That's all I can do. I need to get a moderator in here. King might do it here soon. I haven't set it up yet. He could deal with it. RNG is very bad. Yeah, Supreme is pretty bad right now. It's not great. Not being nice to me. Alright, so I think I can... Whoa, they gave me a lot of mana. We have to deal... What does this do? Poison? I don't even think he can poison these guys, but... Worth a shot, right? Yeah. That's okay, Lincho, though. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it, no worries. Yeah. Zero Firefly, zero Power Coil. Feels bad? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel great. Okay. Here's where we gotta pull off some... Whoa! Fat damage. Alright, but we gotta pull this off, because again, multiple enemies is the bane of a shield build. You cannot fight multiple enemies with a shield build. Okay. If I can separate them... Maybe. I technically don't have to separate them, but I'd prefer to. You know what I mean? Like, I could fight them both, but I'm gonna take damage. This way, I hopefully don't damage. Alright, we slowly got this one over here. Look at the impact. Oh, I got hit. Dang it. See, that's why I was saying there's no chance I was going to get that off without getting hit. Alright. This sword is slapping these guys. How's he blocking? Oh, crap. Stamina again. Always the stamina. Get out of here, bro. We did it. We got him. Sword art does extreme poison. You should use fire. I guess that's a good point. Do I have fire rags? Hmm. No, but I believe I can make some. No, I can't. Because I don't have, uh... Anything. <laughs> I don't have bandages. Or, uh, linen cloth, I mean. Alright. No box cubes. There's linen cloth. I could throw lantern. No cube. Are we for real right now? Are we for real right now? What, what just happened? I have never gone through here and not gotten one. 
Never. Not one time. Not one time. Hmm. I had a bunch of oil. I sold it because I ran out. But I, I do have linen cloth now. So we'll make some uh, fire rags. Okay. I have a theory. Now, the theory is that if I sleep, I'll do better. That's the theory. It wasn't a very big theory, but it's... Um... 3, 4, 5... Oh, 90% chance of ambush. Let's do 25. I feel more confident with 25. RNG gods require tributes. I guess. Jeez, man. It's been bad today. And bad. Five minutes lexicon sells. Well, that is true. And I don't need it because I already have it legacied. Can you get ambushed by those guys? Yes, everyone in the cave can ambush you. And funnily enough, um, they can all ambush you in the same spot. It's really funny. I've done it before. If you just sleep in one spot with a, and don't guard, they can just continuously come to you and you can clear out the entire cave without moving. It's really funny. Oh, we have Bullion. Okay, I need that. All right, and we're gonna buff. The reason I used the poison was for the decay, but I guess you're right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Definitely gonna need one more thing of mana. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. What? Did you say something? It's actually doing a small amount of damage. You seen that? It did that one time, not this time. Oh my word, the impact. Freaking great. Get on the ground. Wanna chill with that one attack, bro? What are we doing? Get out of here. What? What? Are you kidding me with that attack? I literally had him dead. And I still got hit by it. That's convenient. <laughs> Ambush farm the cubes, I guess, yeah. Well, after you kill those guys, though... Oh, I guess there's two more. That's fair. Okay. We need to do two things. Number one, we need to move this to our bag. And we need to move this to our pocket. Equip a lantern. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're, we're getting there. Item is the shield. Okay, we got this. Let's go. Let's go do this. Okay, that was a little early there, buddy. Okay, we're just gonna follow me. I don't feel good about that. Aha! Punk. Ooh, that was a quick switch. Alright, we're dealing okay damage here. Ah, I forgot he does that. I don't like it. Come on, dude. You gonna spam all day or what? You gonna dodge too? That's fantastic. You do you, buddy. Oh my word. This he does too much. There's too much AoE. There's too much AoE. You can't get in there for a hit. Alright, I need more lanterns. This is gonna be a suicide mission. Oh don't feel good about this. Okay. Hide behind the pillars. We can take a health potion. Whip another lantern. Nope. Drop our bag here. That's a bad place for that. We're fine. He has a lot of health regen, hence why I'm trying to fire him. Okay. There's that. It's so hard to impact him when he got has all this AoE. Alright, there's the pain. 
literally backs up every single time I go to attack him. What a butt face. What a butt face. I can't hit him. I don't know what to do. I cannot even attack him. He backs up every single time. And then he does that. There, finally, dude. What a really difficult mini boss. I'm gonna freaking die. Are you so this is unbelievable. I've never had this much issue with him. And he's gonna heal halfway up. Wow. Can I craft a lantern? Probably not. This guy sucks. He absolutely sucks. And I can't use another lantern. So. Look, he's healing. Look how fast he's freaking healing. I'm dead. Come on! What a stupid freaking fight, dude. There's literally nothing I can do. I literally can't do it. And he's gonna health regen all the way back. Forget this, dude. This has angered me beyond belief. What a dumb freaking enemy. I don't want to get sniped by that guy either. We're going to just stand here. I guess we're just stand here. I don't know how many times I, I hit him with fire. He won't stay burned. I don't know how many times I go in for an attack. He still gets able to uh, immediately kill me. Do I need a lightning varnish? Or not a varnish, a boon? I don't freaking know. Like, ranged attacks are the only thing that deal damage. Without you getting hit. Yeah, traps, but... I don't have any, I don't think. I mean, I have two, but he takes, like, no physical damage. Doesn't matter, he's gonna be fully healed by the time I attack him. Uh, I mean, yeah, I could trap him, but... He's literally gonna be fully healed. I'll show you his health bar. Yeah, halfway. He has a he has the second highest health regen in the game, I think. If I remember. No way, bro. I'm getting hosed. Getting no items dropped. Everything is beating the crap out of me. It's cool. It's feel it feels good, guys. To be fair, I have no skills, so I shouldn't actually be able to beat that guy, but. Well, this was a fun venture where I earned no money and almost died. Yay! <laughs> Throw an oil bomb? I probably could. Uh, I probably could, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't burn, so. Look at this. It's freaking dumb. Yeah, we can't do this. We gotta go get some lanterns or something. You could spam lantern, but uh, I didn't have as, that many of them. You can't melee him. I don't know how many times I tried to melee him. He literally would back up or he would hit me with AoE. And... Maybe with a faster sword, you could get in one hit, but you'd be doing no damage because you can't use... Uh... Well, I mean, horror is the only thing doing damage. Still get the book and sell it if you don't use it. I mean, I'm going to come back. I use sigil for him. Yeah, sigil would be great. Especially fireballs. Fire sigil. I don't, you can't melee him. Unless you can do a lot of it. Even my impact build, I couldn't kill him with melee either. Well, that was irritating. Maybe we kill the bandits and I get lanterns there? What the heck are you doing? You want some of this revenge? I'm angry. I'm ready to to stomp. Oh, look at that damage. Now we're dealing damage, guys. Where was this when I was fighting that dude? Huh? What was it? That's the question. <laughs> Where was it at? Because it wasn't here. It was gone. You can craft lanterns. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to test because I was in my inventory. What is lantern? It's oil and iron, isn't it? 
No, I can't craft that either, so. Convenient. This was a massive waste of time, because I didn't make any money either. They didn't give me any boxes. Feels really nice. Really like that. Let's see. Search panels, and then we got moon and stars. That's a little bit of money. Fine with that. Two scraps, one oil, one cloth. Yeah, I don't have any scraps. I might be able to get some at this rich iron vein up here. Pressure plates for that guy, decay. I bet it does, wreck. That's true. Probably does, wreck. That's like the... That's the scaling point for, you know, in no skills. That's right where... That's where it caps. You're not going to be able to kill that guy with no skills. Or, with, or without pressure plate traps or something else, you know. I could have put down tripwire traps, but again, like I said, he takes no physical damage, so it would have been pointless. We'll come back, I think. Star Splits game, one of us will help. <laughs> get me an OP build in here to kill him. Don't worry, we'll come back and wreck him when I get the freaking runic trap. He's going down. Where'd I go? Where am I at? Huh? What? Where am I? Is that me? my head <laughs> that looks so dumb wait 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 you know <laughs> here we go here we go it's gonna get even better you <laughs> know <laughs> it's funny okay can i get that backpack out okay here we go here we go yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. What's going on? My little home. Dude, how close you can get so close to your character. There's no way I'd ever be able to play like this. What the heck? Freaking I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play like this. There's no way. I'm gonna die instantly. I can't see a thing. Zero field of field of vision. What the heck, bro? Oh my word, this is painful. Don't ever do this. Oh, I feel like I'm on top of the enemy's face. What the heck? Brutal. Oh yeah? Take this. All I can see is you. What in the world, guys? Wow, yeah, I didn't take Sigil or Cohen, so I couldn't use that one. Every freaking time. Stop blocking my attacks. I don't like it. Rude and inconsiderate of my time. Let me repay you with some of that. Yeah, okay. So, like, that's blowing my mind, and I can't play like that. I cannot do it. Go 90? Let's go 90. Whoa. We can see everything. I actually never play on 90. It's kind of funny. Look at this. You gonna fight the Wendigo? Yeah, I'll definitely fight the Wendigo. Although, I should reveal soul first. This feels too zoomed out for me. I don't know why. It's a little too zoomed out. Aha. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. I can't play like that. I like 80. It's the perfect medium for me. I like it. Play at 90 because I'm used to uh, 108. Ah. I don't know. That was weird for me. Flamethrower that has that long cast time, yeah. That's why that I couldn't use it against that guy, is because it's the cast time's too long. And when he has the AoE attack that he can rush you with, especially enemies that have projectiles, because they'll just shoot it at you while you're using flamethrower. And you go, okay. That was fun. Okay, what was I gonna put flamethrower on? It was right here. 
Hey, stupid. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at, moron? Right here. Dude, you can see me. All right, we're going to drop this. Yeah, how do you feel now? You feel dumb. I did not hit him. How is that even possible? What just happened? I'm amazed. I amazed myself. Fine, we'll do it the old-fashioned way, huh? Come at me, bro. I will just beat you to death. Okay. Is he poisoned? Yeah, he's poisoned now. That was going to be too much impact, I think. Stopped him! Ha ha! Get out of my face, punk. Bro, I need to go to Harman and buy the freaking... The freaking fitness. Is it fitness? Or uh, efficiency, I think. Efficiency, yeah. Yeah, I'll be back for that in a minute. There's a lot of dead guys in here. Good luck with the Wendigo. Yeah. I uh, read that a little late, but yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. That grants me nothing. Some of these chests have been horrid. You know why people have a hard time making money in the early game? It's because they try to make money in Cheers and Ease. Don't make money here. Horrible. It's, a, it's an all-around bad experience. Yeah. Ah. Can make it. Can do it. What can I fit in my pocket? There we go. Okay. When am I going to be able to use spark? I can't use spark because I have no mana regen. Good. Good for me. The loot is so bad. Seriously. Yeah. The, the loot that I'm getting right now. I've actually. I've done. How many live streams? This is the worst one. By far. Worst one. For tight spaces to fight in, total control of the mob unless something goes wrong. Honestly, you're not you're not uh far off. That's it's pretty nice to have This spark costs three. Or five, right? Whenever I have five mana, it doesn't let me use it. Very odd. Sometimes a tighter space isn't that bad. Just because you know where the enemy's gonna be. Sometimes the open Areas are pretty, pretty rough. If you're lucky you can make at least three to four k in Cherisonese. I am not lucky. Let's just say that. Let's just all admit right here that I have had the worst luck of all time. It's been pretty bad. I've had fun, right? I've had fun, and I've not had fun. Not against that mantis shrimp, but I've had fun killing stuff. I just have not been rewarded. Uh for my ventures. That's that's the truth. That is the truth. I haven't even got a power coil. I have one. I can't get the other one. Where are the supply caches that I missed? There's one or two I missed. There's one by the exit to Hollow Bar. Actually, there's two. Go check those. Bruh. The pain of literally so much weight is just hurting my soul. Fine. I'll decraft it. Can't do it. I can't sell the good stuff because it weighs too much. This is why I run the Finos. Like supply chest on the hill by the lake. Um, I think I did that one. Didn't I? Oh, hey. Another one to go. <clears throat> Hello. Yeah. Well, it's time for another one to go, ladies and gentlemen. I have more Predator. I don't have any fire this time. Let's use a... Lightning Varnish. That could be fun. 
Mm, I don't have any reason to, but it's kind of fun. Let's get it. Come here, my friend. Use your ability on me. Oh, he did not. Okay, now he's gonna do it. Oof. Big damage numbers. And I'm out of stamina immediately. Can't even touch me. I'm just so much better than you, you Wendigo. They are dropping nothing, though. That's the sad thing. That was fun. Murdered him. Felt good. Enjoy the rest of the stream. We'll be catching up on a vid later. <laughs> on vid later. Awesome, Craig. Appreciate you sticking around. Thanks for watching. Some gabberries. No, I need to do is take my tea. Yeah. Take my tea. Predator. Felt like you're an or predator. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Will do. Too over encumbered and still able to jog like a fat chain smoker. <laughs> she hasn't really been over encumbered yet, has he? Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll work harder for you guys. How about that? I'll try to carry more. I shall do my best. I shall do my best. Please give me the power coil. Please, 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 please. Curse you, you stupid chest. Curse you! The RNG gods are not on my side. Not on my side. They do not please... Uh, my gameplay does not please them. Don't know what I've done. But it was a mistake. Is that a second supply chest? On the left there? No! Why do you... Why must you do this to me? Why must you treat me in such a manner? I have loved you. Ridiculous. Okay. Playing this game for the first time. I don't get what you mean by crap loot. What are the items you're looking for? Oh. Well, um, so if you're playing for the first time, like I said earlier, don't. If you're trying to make money, it's this is not the region. Uh, you can make decent money here, but it's just not the better region for it. Um, craftable items usually sell the best. So things like horror weapons, like what I crafted here, this sells really well. I can make some bank off of this, but I'm currently using it, so, you know, I kind of want to use it. Um... Stuff like gold lich weapons are really good because they sell for a lot. Or just find good items to sell well. Unfortunately, Cherry Sneeze doesn't have very many of those high selling items. Uh, like armor sets sell well. A lot of the stuff that I've been getting that does sell well, I've had to decraft because it's too heavy. Uh, welcome to the channel, by the way. Thank you for subscribing. But really, the best way to make money is to craft horror weapons or to craft a gold lich weapons. And I, I didn't get any of the loot for the gold lich weapons. Power coils and boxes so you can get a good backpack. Yeah, and power coils are another one. You want to get power coils. I, unfortunately, have not gotten the second one that I need. And I think I've looted all the supply caches because I looted that one. one of, yeah, I got them all, I think. This happened to me last time, though. The very last playthrough, I couldn't get the last power coil I needed. Which, it doesn't matter. We're going to be killing a lot of golems, so... I always come back to Chersonese. I literally just want Gong Strike. That's all I want. I want to play with that Gong Strike. I want to have fun with it. That word is telling me no. I don't like being told no. Don't like it. More difficult opponents on the following maps. I advise you walk around here first. Yeah, I mean, definitely stick around here and explore first. Yeah, don't go immediately farm somewhere else. But, like, if you're trying to seriously make money, it's this is not the region. That's what I meant by I'm not getting any items. The, the, in fact, the ornate chests here are actually the worst ornate chests in the game, if I remember correctly. The loot that they drop is, they can be good, but it's just not usually that great. One by the eastern entrance in Montcalm. Or the bridge. There is? 
Oh. It, wait, wait, Eastern entrance. Okay. Right here? I think... Oh, I, I already got that one if it's over there. Because I went over that way earlier. I need to start marking them. So I know where they're at. I know where most of them are. There's, like, one or two that I always forget, though. It's fine. We, we don't really need Mofinos. We just need to sell our stuff. It's all good. Or Great Axe might be the second best two-handed Great Axe, in my opinion. Pretty good. I'm not a fan of Great Axes, so I couldn't tell you, but... World Edge, I think... World Edge doesn't poison, though, does it? It just deals a lot of decay damage. He's barking me. I don't appreciate that. Aha! You fool. Now my pocket is full. Excellent. How much weight is it costing me? Negative 11 stamina? I need that bad. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to put these away. Yeah, I forgot to put them away the last time I was at the uh, Sierra Zone. Go do that. We'll at least be able to get Infuse. Which will be good. Because then we can have something that we can, you know, be buffing with. Fire. Yeah, I still think Frost Infuse would be better. Especially for Gong Strike. World is just too good. Yeah. We don't need Mephino's. She chats 2020. <laughs> 2022. Yeah, after I've said it's like one of the best backpacks. We don't need it. Oh, we need it. Oh, we need it. Come here, you. Sell me some stuff. Greetings, friend. Oh, let me sell you some stuff. Alrighty, so there's two weapons that we have sold. We've got the emerald, which I didn't even know I had. Um, we're gonna keep the Palladium for weapons, and we're gonna keep the Occult Remains for weapons later as well. Good find. We can finally craft some healing potions. That's really what my problem's been. I haven't been crafting potions. Sell the bombs, because they're bombs. Because <laughs> they're bombs. Who needs them? I don't. Okay. Now we give the shield to her, because we don't need the poison trog shield anymore. I really don't know which shield I want to end up with. I mean, the Fabulous Palladium is probably one of the better ones for Greetings, friend. elemental Lend vulnerability. You've earned this. 70 silver there. I think it's going to cost... Is it 1600 total? Hey there. Now we're overweight. 1,500. Here we go. So we're going to get two skills, and then I'll have 400 left, which means I need 200 silver, I think. Plague bombs are like the main way I beat the Crimson Avatar. I mean, plague bombs are good. Yeah. The bigger ones are good. It's just that they're not cost eff uh, effective, you know? I've never fought him with plague bombs, though. That's interesting. Okay, so we're going to take this. We don't actually want this, per se, but it is helpful. Uh, actually, good for stamina, too. So we're going to buy this. Everybody wanted me to take the Infused Frost, so we'll buy Infused Frost as well. There's the beautiful Gong Strike that I want so much. Take that. I need 200, actually 150 more silver. That's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Mm. You think? No, I got it. We clear out Montcalm Fort. That's what we do. If we clear out Montcalm Fort, we're definitely going to get enough money for that. And that's one of the places I haven't cleared out yet. So, we'll go do that. Easy peasy. You want to try a run with Mana Wall Armor Set with Primal Rituals? It's insane, not taking damage most of the time. Uh, that's been a... A few people have sent me some pictures and videos of them trying that out. That's... Kind of crazy. I don't know why that that's so strong. It's... It seems odd to give an armor set so much protection and barrier, but... 
And I'm fine with it. I haven't tried it personally. I need. I probably should. I wonder what the highest protection barrier you can get in the game. I looked it up at one point, but I don't remember. I think you can get both the 30. <laughs> Alright. Excuse me. Um, I need my alchemy kit for the health potions. There you are, you beautiful son of a gun. Where are you? There you go. Mana walls, the legacy barrier armor. Yes, yeah. Barrier armor is not that good, but the legacy version is very good. It's Gravel Beetle and Blood Mushroom, yeah. With water? Gosh darn it. I know that too. Why did I mess that up? Alright, then we can make two greater life potions with the Greasy Fern and the Life Potion. Now, we have a decent amount of potions. We're looking okay. Let's go put our... We'll put this back up so we can have it in our chest if we ever need it. Did I actually just start a playthrough? Legacy Chest, Barrier Armor, and Dreamer Halberd. Oh, doing it with Dreamer? See, that's the way I would do it if I was to do it. Because I think Dreamer is the best ethereal weapon in the entire game. I really do. I think it is. It's nuts. It is absolutely nuts. One of my favorite weapons by far was my Dreamer Halberd. I loved that run I did of it. It was so stinking powerful. It just felt like I could take on the world. Okay. There we are. We can come back here after we sleep from Montcalm, and then we will get the rest of the money we need for Gong Strike. Excellent. Excellent. What, New Game Plus and Outward? We were talking about that last night. Yeah, New Game Plus. I uh, We were talking about how it could have been an interesting idea where you had... Um, if you had New Game Plus, they could give you an extra... Every time you added New Game Plus, you'd give the player an extra breakthrough point. But they would double enemy health. So all enemy health would be doubled, but you get one breakthrough point every time you went to New Game Plus. So you could eventually have all the skill trees... But enemies would have like 4,000 health for a bandit or something. That'd be so much fun. It would completely ch Like, the thing about it is like the normal game would still be the regular difficulty. But the new game plus would be really weird, didn't you? And do other faction quests. Yeah, so then you would be able to do... Uh, you'd be able to do a faction quest. You could do all four faction quests on one character. But you'd have to new game plus it. I, I, that idea was really cool. That was a pretty neat idea. I can understand why they didn't do that, obviously, but that's just a neat idea. Love how you carry around a fishing harpoon. I know. I like to carry it around pretending like I'm going to fish. I've, I've never once fished, but... I carry it around like I'm going to. I didn't see the pearl bird, or the cutthroat pearl bird. It's weird. More passive, more difficulty seems fair. Yeah, I mean, more enemy health kind of seems right. I was playing with uh, that video I posted the other day of me and Six played in co-op for the bosses, and the Elite Burning Man is just a complete trash fire of a boss. Like, they ruined him because he can't be staggered. If you watch in the, in the video when I fight him, I actually used Brace, and I 50% staggered him. Immediately. 50%. I immediately went to go hit him again, and he already had regained so much that I couldn't do anything. So, like, some of those bosses just have too... Increasing stagger is not balanced. That's not how... That's not how you balance it. It's more like a... Just a bunch of health. Because stagger... You would need to increase it a little bit. Definitely for certain enemies. But the way they did the Burning Man is way too much stagger, I think. It's just too much resist. You can't even do anything. 
Ever made a build that's combining skill cooldown with mana skills? No, I haven't. Uh, mostly because I, I don't use cooldown. Well, I use cooldown a lot, but I don't use the speedster skill tree that much. I know someone made a build where they used uh, mana push inside the sigils. Um, every two seconds, I think it was. Every one second. Because they had max cooldown. That was crazy. That was a crazy build. I, I could believe that one. That was nuts. With only have eight hotbar slots, it feels like getting all passive in exchange for enemies having 50 times health doesn't feel all that powerful. Um, yes and no. I mean, some of the passives wouldn't benefit you, yeah. Some of the passives wouldn't benefit you. But some of them would. Like, the Holy Mission has... Negative stamina regen. That obviously benefits every single build. Uh, cooldown from Zorobar benefits every single build. The Heroic Mission is extra damage in general. That benefits all the builds. That. And what's the last one? Berg offers extra... I think they all benefit every build. I mean, the Berg offers extra health. Yeah, with the only eight hot bars, you're you're going to be lacking in some of the skills, but... Like, say you took all the skill tree. Imagine having every skill tree. Uh, Primal Ritualist makes you invincible. So you're... You can't take damage, basically. Cabal Hermit gives you extra resistance, you know. That gives you a lot more... Damage there. So I think, yeah, you're right. It really wouldn't be that crazy, but the passes would still be pretty good. I like how they instantly attack as fast as they can, and they still die in one hit. Well, I guess two hits, but... My point has been made. What are we doing, Hyena? Come out here. You choose a different faction? I was talking about the skill trees, because you mentioned getting one more breakthrough. Oh, you were talking about skill trees. Ah. Yeah, not all the skill trees would be beneficial. That's true. Alright, seven attacks. That's cool. Oh, get one hit, you noob. Of course. So they only attack when you do, bro. It's so annoying. Come on. Get the heck out of here, bro. Uh, let's see. Jerky? The only enemy that can kill me easily here is the Ice Witch. Other than that, I can block all the attacks. See, what I was missing before was my... My bed buff. I wasn't... I didn't have that buff, so that was screwing me over. Nobody. Hmm. Right in the face. Not gonna feel good. Not gonna feel good. You know, all the faction passes, that's a lot of extra everything, honestly. Yeah, right. Profile, I wish this game had more variety for a necromancy build. I agree. I think the necromancy was not a main focus whatsoever. Would have been really cool to have a necromancy build. Really cool. I mean, you have the ghost, but that's just not. There is a way to make a necromancy build, but it's so difficult and it's so weak that it's not going to be, you know, your typical, I'm a powerful necromancer. Getting Peacemaker's Elixir at the end of each faction. Yeah, that'd be insane. You extra 20 health every time. Dang. I think you, that you could make it pretty fair. Obviously, it wouldn't be outright, but you could make it pretty fair. This guy's being a butt face. Dodging. Blocking all my attacks. Ooh, that ain't gonna feel good. That ain't gonna feel good. Wow, that's some freaking loot right there, dude. I like it. Forgot the enemy, but you know the tentacle skills the guy does in Abrasar. The, yeah, the tendrils, dude. That'd be awesome. Tendrils. The plague doctor has that as well, yeah. Oh, I was about to get stuck. I was about to be mad. Okay, I'm gonna drop my bag because 
I'm gonna go kill all the rest of the people here. And they don't drop any good loot, I don't think, so. I think for the loot I got, I have enough to buy the skill. Nick's shield, like Crimson and Zorn's Demon Shield, got no special uh, enchant. Yeah, I think uh, Zorn's Demon Shields definitely was a missed opportunity. Because it looks so cool. But it doesn't have... And it says on the description that it had an enchant before, you know. Necromancy mod has a skill like that. Yeah, I'd like to try that Necromancy mod, honestly. Every freaking time. How do you feel now? You really want to bow me again? Stupid humans. This is why people die a lot at the beginning of the game. Because bandits hey, have a massive window to attack you. Every single time you attack, they can get a hit in. Their infinite stamina? Crazy. It's crazy. Borderline unfair, man. Borderline unfair. But not if you just tank it. Just tank it. Summon an army sounds too game-breaking. Dude, can you imagine summon an army of skeletons? Actually, no, they have a... Uh, they have that in the game because there's a new mini-boss unique enemy that's in the Necropolis that is a undead warrior. He's a skeleton, and he has three summoned minions. All they have to do is add that to a character skill. That would be amazing. There's only three max skeletons, and they're pretty weak. I think they die in three, four hits, but if they gang up on you, they do a lot of damage. So if you were to do that with Necromancy, you'd have, like, minions that are very weak to AoE, but anything else they would... They'd be pretty strong against. I think they have a lot of physical protection, but no elemental. Interesting. Apparently you can avoid life drain from Exalted by having 100% status resist when you gain perk and load to save. Yeah, but unfortunately you have to do that every single time you ever... You ever enter a new region or any... It's... It sounds good in theory, and some people like to do I think it's just too much work. That reminds me, I was supposed to make a build with that to test that out. As I've never taken that because I don't like the the life drain. Let's see though, I guess. I'm so excited to get this stupid gong ability. It's gonna be awesome. Is it every 30 seconds or every 15? I can't remember. I know elemental discharge is apparently 10. I thought it was 15, but the wiki said it was 10. I don't know. Either way. Uh, what do we want to get second? So we wanted to get Merc. Merc would probably be the more important because of the running. Less stamina cost. Fortunately, we're going to have to get all the skill trees before we go to Harman. <laughs> we just have to. That's the problem with the Harman. Something like ESO Skeleton, or basically Disposable Homing Bomb. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Greetings, friend. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Having a good time selling me stuff? What can I- Alright. I am the hero, after all. It's finally time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. Bargong Shrike. Now I just have to keep my mana regen going. Amber, my friend. Gong Strike. 30 second cooldown. Oh, jeez. This one only has 10. 30 second cooldown. Wow. Thank goodness that's not our only ability. Haha. <laughs> Okay. Where's my frost and fuse?
Du, 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 du. Here we go. And should I stop by? I'll do Vendival later. I don't even know if we'll do any faction quests today. We might just kind of run around, kill stuff, get better gear. Maybe. I need to go to the desert next, so probably what I'll do is Wind Temple run, I guess. It's an RPG, you aren't the hero. You're just a dude. Yeah. Good way to describe it. Actually, a uh, new way I describe it is... I think that... This is... It's obviously an RPG, right? But it's actually more survival-based than any other RPG that you would you would compare it to. Like, it's compared to the Souls genre of games. But it's not a Souls game because there's... It's based on survival. Like, all of your buffs and your extra damage come from foods and crafting. Whereas... You... You're not mainly focused on combat. You're focused on other things as well. Okay, so I actually need to craft mana potions too, it looks like. Which is not hard. Um, but I need to make sure I do it. Ah. Well, I can use it on a rag. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's go, baby! What? That was awesome. What the heck? That was awesome. I literally never used that before. That's crazy. That's crazy. Exactly, Ricky. What is this? Just blasted those dudes. Now, to be fair, they're weak to decay. Um, and I blasted them with decay. But come on. Now it does use the the imbue. Yes. Okay. Does it do it with the major one? That is my question. Hmm. I have to test that, I guess. Sick animation, though? Oh, yeah, it's great. It's great. Does it use the imbue when you do it? It did that time. Does it always use the imbue? Does anyone know? It'll do both poison and bleed equals four EOTs. You're talking about the crumbling anger, Rodolfo? Yeah, that thing's nuts. You really like it. I don't use it as much. I don't use it as much. Probably? Okay. I need to test it. I need to get enough mana. Um, I currently have a total of 55 mana. We've got... We've got at least 40 more we're going to get from the rune tree. And we've got 20... 20 extra we're going to get from another mana point. In the end, we'll be fine, but for right now, we need to be kind of getting some. Sanguine is a slow weapon. All brutal weapons are slow. Yeah. I'm intrigued now. I'm really wondering how good this is. I bet you I could freaking waste some ghosts now. Waste them. Is it better to gong strike before or at, or like during? I guess I'd say later or earlier on in the battle. That's what I want to know. Hey, thank you for uh, subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome. You're going shield, runes, boons. Uh, shield, rune, and uh, merc. Mercenary. Mercenary is actually a highly underrated skill, I think. Um, skill tree. It massively decreases your, your sprint cost by 40%. It's a lot. Gives you 10% extra movement speed, and that shield infusion is going to be literally just, I mean, ungodly. It's going to be nuts. Check how long the animation is uh, for the rag or the boon. Let's see this. See if it uh, uses it up. Okay, yes, it does use it up. So we're going to need to craft varnishes like out the wazoo. Here's my question. Here's my question. Oh, I didn't loot that guy. Does the ethereal sword, whenever you buff it up with runic prefix, if you use it with the lightning on there, does it use the lightning? 
Like, does that go away? Mass destruction gene? Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Now, this is actually fine if we use a bunch of rags. Like, we can really stock... 30 seconds isn't that long. That's what I'm wondering. Because that was my original plan, was I was going to take the runic prefix so that I always had lightning on my weapon. But now I'm not certain if it will stick. Because if it only uses once, it's not worth the hassle of, of doing that. What's the armor you're aiming for? I'll be going for runic armor. Runic armor. I have it all enchanted. It's in legacy chests. I just need to get it. You're using it for elemental discharge, the imbue doesn't disappear. Yeah, it'd be crazy with elemental discharge. Can you imagine you could just spam that thing over and over if you had cooldown? With the ethereal sword, you just always have it. That'd be pretty darn good. Yeah, nine rations. That's going to save me some stamina, too, because one of the biggest problems I'm having right now is that I have to fight in combat so long. This is going to decrease my combat time a lot. Thorborn's Academy will give you some cooldown, right? Yes, uh, 10 cooldown and 5% speed as well, which speed is going to be a big part of this build. Trust me, when I get done with this build, I'm going to be very fast. Very fast. I think 50% extra... Movement speed is what I'm going to end up with. We'll see. If it's slow already, rather build a bit tanky with Crumbling Anger, Zagus Saw, then join Blue Chamber for Infused Blood. Yeah, okay, get you all them DOTs going. Easy pouch space, too. Yeah, it's like five pouch space, I think. Yeah, no Pearl Bird mask. I've got nothing. I guess Pearl Bird gives you more speed, too. It's going to be without that. I'll have that. recommend maced infusion for gong strike yeah the problem with that is i really want to use the ethereal sword with this build and you know that that is it's not a mace so <laughs> we'll see what happens we'll see we'll see what happens i i have an idea for elemental discharge later on i'm wondering if it'll be good i have an idea to make it really really strong but that's definitely not this build. Build went a completely different direction. I like the direction it's headed in, though. We got one skill tree, and I feel like pretty, pretty confident with what we got right now. So the varnish deals more damage, then, yeah. Can't hear black plate boots or Orkolkum. I know Orkolkum stuff is pretty good. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Does this use weapon durability? All right, that's pretty nice. That's pretty darn nice. Speedster for cooldown? Yeah. Speedster would be pretty nice for the cooldown here, but... Again, Merc and, and uh, Rune are just going to be... Uh, Rune actually probably doesn't fit that best, that, that well with this build. Yeah, I could probably go with something else, but again, I really want to use that sword, so... Flows pretty well. Gotta be careful with that initial cast, though. That got me blown up. This charge does indeed durability. Okay, does this one, though? Does it tell me? This one doesn't tell me, so I don't know if it does durability. I imagine it does. Decreases durability? Okay. Hmm. Think about it, Calyx is like the embodiment of Spellblade class. Yeah, she is. Uh, that and Mercenary, because she got the gun. Okay. Let's see what we can do in here. Uh, Mana, I guess.
Take this guy out first. Eh, not the greatest against this guy. I think I need to attack a few times and then... Hey, finally a particle. I need to attack a few times and then use it. Okay, multiple enemies. How did I still get hit? He didn't even take damage. What's up with that? Why did he take no damage? It's odd. Was he out of the blast radius, maybe? Freaking ghosts suck, dude. Gary would take these guys out easy. You can't attack without getting hit with a slow weapon. Why well, I hate slow weapons. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Hey! Living Wood Axe! That's awesome. Hex Mage work with Spellblade? I mean, Hex Mage works with everything, I would say. A lightning discharge with regular runic or decay with great runic. Both are amazing. Yeah, I would agree with that. I feel like your build needs mace and mace infusion sheen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it kind of feels that way. We'll see what happens here eventually. We'll see what happens with the build. You never know. And a potion? I'll take that. The thing is, is... Mace Infusion isn't good in every case, though. Because not all enemies are going to attack you with an elemental attack. Especially golems. There's a decent mage armor. As long as I keep my mana regen up, I have enough to continually cast Gong Shride, it seems. So. Will this build end up using Internalized Lexicon or just pre buffing before fights? I'm not sure, Cyrenix. Uh, I don't know. I, I originally wanted to take Runic Prefix and switch off Shield because I was like, this is going to be the better way to do it, right? Because technically, that would actually save me mana. Every time I would cast Sword. I would get a new... You know what? That'd be kind of genius idea. So here's what I'm thinking. You ready? The, uh... I'd have to swap a lot. I'd have to swap a lot. But in theory, you could you could use the one-handed sword. You could activate Gong Strike. It would blow up a lightning blast. You could then switch to Lexicon, activate your runes again, get the great sword... No, because then you can't use the shield. But you could have the... Yeah, yeah, that's... You could use it with Elemental Discharge. Again, Elemental Discharge you could do it with, not with the shield, though. Okay. I was thinking you could switch and then do it again, but you can't because of that. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of the sword and resummon it. Does anyone know a way to do that? What are we doing here in the wall? Internalized Lexicon would be really convenient, though. And it would make a good... It would give me a build that actually uses it pretty well. Was I going to go Shell Horror Temple already? Nah, because I have loot. Yeah, we'll drop some stuff off in town, too. How cool would a runic shield be? Something like it keeps the lexicon out but puts a shield on. Or what if you had an enchantment for a shield that activated it as a lexicon? That would be cool. How about that one? You could enchant one or two shields to become lexicons. That'd be awesome. And give you more uh, enchants for shields, because they have like one, I think, total. That'd be a cool mod we need to get into the game. You just want to get rid of the sword to have another weapon to equip anything light will do. 
I think I was gonna grab Gep's blade. Marry you. Yeah, me first. <laughs> so that does use durability. Dead. Got a lot of things at our disposal already. That's what I'm liking. Dog Strike's pretty darn good so far. Pretty darn good so far. I don't like how it gets rid of the imbue, though. Hmm. Considering it has 30 second cooldown. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome doing gaming. Yeah, Living with Axe is pretty dope, to be honest. Yeah, this thing's a decently rare drop in this area. It's a cool weapon, too. 1.2 attack speed, negative 10 mana cost. Only the problem with it is its impact and damage are low. Other than that, it's a really good weapon. Fast and uh, negative mana cost. Andy, you'd lose the imbues on the swords with internalized lexicon. Yeah, that's the main problem. Because then I would have to actually buff them. I would have to buff them. Would that be bad, though? Like, would it be bad to have to buff them? As long as I keep stuff up to buff it. I don't know. I think we can probably try regular runes and then see what happens, you know? See if we really need that extra. Rabonius mod the astral weapons work as lexicons. That's the closest thing that I know of right now. That's actually awesome because astral weapons are pretty difficult to get. They're very end game. But that'd be that'd be really cool. You? That's a knight. I like that. I like that change. This worries me. Alright, we had a few things to sell. Um, we got a particle, of which, of course, we don't sell, knowing the luck that we've had with this run. I don't need that. Makes me money. I don't need those either. I mean, I am pretty good on abuse, so. Go buy us a couple runes. What a fun. No emerald for the backpack? No, we didn't end up getting one. Um, can I buy one? Maybe. Maybe I'll buy one. I didn't end up... I sold the one I had a long time ago. Fortunately. Is there a way to have the Soul's Lantern buff without wearing it? No, unfortunately not. How can I help you? Gain access to more advanced runic combos. Which includes... Uh, the Lightning Ball, I think. Yeah, and the Runic Detonation. And then this would do... Removes the need to have an Equip Lexicon. More powerful effects. Hmm, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Main thing I think about when deciding to get internalized lexicon, are you going to use the buff runic protection? Because you might lose out on a lot of tankiness. I think I should use it. I think I should. That's the thing. How can I help you? You can help me by offering me a book. Okay, we need to figure out the hot bar, guys. We need to figure out the hot bar. So one and two need to be red and purple. That's the sword. Okay. Um Gong Strike, I liked having this these were fine, I think. These were fine. This I'm actually gonna switch to this. Now we need more linen cloth. Because if we could just stock up on an absolute ton of one varnish or a rag or something, that would be good. At least for now. Um, obviously, we won't need to stock up that much later, but... Okay. Um, I need to buy the better backpack. Do I have enough money for that? 
How much is it? 100? How can I help you? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a risky move, and we're gonna sell the horror sword, because I have the ethereal sword now. Okay. Move to pocket. Yeah, we're gonna sell the horror sword, because I have I to. You? To buy this. Extra 75 capacity is helpful at the moment. Thank you. Take all of that. How can I help you? And, dude, chill out, lady. Calm yourself. This way is seven. Shields are pretty hefty. They are pretty hefty. Okay. Got a couple teas, so now I'm feeling pretty good about it. We're gonna say it eats a lot of hot bar. It's four skills. Yeah, I think I'm going to um what I'm gonna do is only use two at a time on the hot bar, and I'll have the rest in my inventory. So Honestly though, I wouldn't be able to use Runic Trap as much as that. No, Runic Trap is gonna be a setup. So if we want to set up before a fight, that's what we'll do with Runic Trap. Um, is it almost daytime or nighttime? I can't tell. If Gong Strike's true damage isn't affected by the strength of Imbue, then yeah, making a ton of rags as fodder would be a good way to go back. I think so. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna buy an inn, actually. To get a better buff. Uh stamina buff. And also since we're gonna be sleeping through the night, I don't wanna be sleeping in a tent. Also, can we talk about how cool this uh, backpack is? Get the lantern in front of you. It's pretty neat. Need to reactivate the trap for double damage. Yeah, again, that's only if I take Runic Prefix, though. Not sure. We'll have to see what happens. How are you? How are you? Need a place to listen close. She didn't want to tell me. It's kind of rude. Get a leaf bedroll thing. Plant tent. Be a good idea. The buff doesn't offer stamina regen, which is what I want, though. Oh, wait. Do I need to repair my shield? Yep. Go figure. Right there. Here we go. It's a double red rune, which he has. Oh, true. I could already activate it. Yeah. That's true. You guys are right. Benji, what's going on? The game is pretty small, at least compared to Skyrim and that, but has so much replay value. Kind of blows my mind. That's true. The game is big in terms of content. It's small in terms of world. The world itself isn't actually that large. But there's a lot to do in that world. You know what I mean? It probably is large if you, like, open up every cave and all that, but... Okay, uh, water buffs, blah, blah, blah. As per usual, I need to always have my mana buff up. Which I'm assuming I'm going to find some of those on the way. Okay. Now, I was going to hotbar those. What am I missing that I could not hotbar? This is 31 ethereal damage, 12 impact. Yeah, impact's a little. Last 200 seconds. Okay. Interesting. Do I need a frozen map area? Oh, 100% agree. We need a frozen map area. Be awesome. Never played with Rune in my 300 hour playthrough. Really? They're so cool though. Only lukewarm on the backpack. Happy for the capacity, but the lantern hanging in front is distracting. That's fair. I mean, it is kind of distracting, but it's cool. I like it. I think it's a neat. Okay, let me see here. Let's see, I have one poison rag, two fire varnishes. We are low on rags. And yeah, we'll be fine. Can I get my mana regen? I did, yeah. Let's see what we got here, huh? No stamina buff, like an idiot. Nice. That is a bandit, of course. Woo! Okay. Uh, 
Okay. All right. I like that so far. That felt good. You gotta test it against some harder enemies, though. And there's a water buff. Where's my food at? I'm running low on the gabberries. Need to grab some on the way. For sure. We need a jungle area? Oh, dude. Jungle area would be awesome. Can you imagine? It'd be very similar to the swamp. In terms of visibility. But then you'd have... Just so many trees everywhere. You're barely able to see anything. You just get jumped out of nowhere. That'd be cool. Uh, Burry, in old version, there was a bug that lets you use one hand runic sword as lexicon. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I know the two handed sword lets you, but. I did not know that. Cool. Oh. That's pretty cool. Alright, we're just literally just walking up the hill here. We gotta walk all the way up to... Wind Temple. They're right around the corner here. Golems, I feel like, will be fun. Uh, it's been a while since I played with the Mana Sword. Still have leather armor. Not feeling too good about that. Not feeling too good about that. Maybe we'll stop... I'll stop by Friendly Immaculate pick up the Master Trader set. That'll help me with speed a little bit. Hey, look! Uh, Iron Knuckles. I'm gonna grab those and be like, why am I overweight later? Have you gotten any of our legacy chests yet? No, actually. Um, I was could have gotten the Cheris and Ease one, probably, but opted to not. The, I definitely need a hot bar. Something. I, I have an idea. What if I hot bar these? I still need a place for shield infused, though. That's the problem. See, I don't know if the switching is going to be beneficial, guys. You know what I mean? The switching might ruin this this entire experience. Just because it kind of takes up too much of the hotbar. Going in the inventory to sw like switch every time is going to be way, way bad. What are we thinking? Are we agreeing with me or are we disagreeing? Go for internalized Lexicon? I, I don't know. I kind of feel like it would actually be a decent... It'd be a decent choice for this build. I usually would say no, but... I think it is, Rodolfo. I think so. I would like the extra stuff, but here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I think I planned this out wrong. So I think if Elemental Discharge was our main focus, then... Runic, uh, runic prefix would have been better. But with Gong Strike, I think that internalize is actually fine. Be able to use runes on demand. Yeah. Then I could use the runic trap whenever I feel like. It'd free up at least a one slot of my hot bar. I could add the extra runes. Probably what we're gonna end up having to do. Seems more logical in this case. Why well, just not upgrade runes and don't use lexicon? Um, so that's what we're talking about, Sprez, is that I might do that. Um, to... Why just not upgrade runes and don't use lexicon? Oh, uh, that's what we're talking about. I might do that. The reason I usually don't is because, like, the upgrade for runes is so darn powerful. It's freaking good. It's really darn good. But I think in this case, like uh, Rodolfo was saying, it's just not its not going to be worth it. With Discharge, especially with Lightmender Lexicon offhand for extra lightning, Runic Prefix would be the way to go for sure. Yeah. I think I need to make a build uh, on the side for Runic or Elemental Discharge with runes. Because I had that plan a while ago. I never made it. I think that would, like, test it out. That would give me the answers I need. Um, I need equipment, I think. Yes. So we went from, we got less pouch capacity. Or actually, yeah, two less pouch capacity. 
Oh, more patch capacity. Interesting. We have more patch capacity. And more regs. Now, again, I think that... Probably the better way to go about this would have been to take Cabal and use a mace instead and not use runes at all. I think I think if you wanted to make Gong Strike like OP, you would not use runes at all. But I wanna I wanna mix in full boom potential, you know? Full explodey potential. Can you fight the friendly immaculate? Only if you join the holy mission, Ricky. Only if you join there. The lightning shot from Mary Lantern discharge a bit redundant. Fair. But at the same time, mm, yeah, you're kind of making a point. That's an interesting point. How would you make that? Would Elemental Discharge do more damage? Or does it do less? That is an interesting idea. Hmm. Uh, the Friendly Immaculate, if you join the Holy Mission, he turns hostile, and he will drop the same loot that a normal Immaculate drops, I believe. Is there a Sar Shield? Yes, there is a Char Sar Shield. It is the best shield in the game for resisting impact and damage. Uh, you can just stand there and block forever with that thing. Pretty nuts. And it has a little, uh, like a gem on the front of it. It lights up the area. Pretty cool. Using internalized lexicon? I'm not sure, Daniels. <laughs> That's what we were just talking about. Uh, we're probably going to end up taking it. Probably going to end up taking it. The way it's going. Because look at the problem here. I just used that. I have 130 seconds. Oh, I don't know. Let's see how this fight here goes. Got no impact. We got to remember that. That is a nice impact. I uh, definitely blocked, but thank you for not working, game. To pain's not helping me anymore, too. So puncture can go away. Puncture is pretty useless. Here's where we run backwards. Yeah, that's unfortunate because puncture was pretty good. Can't jump off of there. Buff with this. How's this going to be against bosses, though? That's my question. It's not bad damage. I don't think so. Okay, I mean, we won the fight. We took one hit. Uh, what do we think? Does that look decent? It's going to be better when I get my armor, but it doesn't look bad. I felt the damage was a little lacking. I think if we popped Runic Trap early on for backup, that would have been fine. Pretty good. I like the damage. Runic Lightning is also more spammable than Discharge. That's true. Yeah, I completely forgot about Runic uh, Lightning. It's a really good ability. Gong Strike, to be honest, looks like uh, will drop off in late game. Kind of. That's why we have a Shield Infuse, because Shield Infuse does not drop off. Per se. We'll see. Mm, let's see here. Do I want to jump? I think I'll just jump. Well, that hurt a little bit more than I thought it was going to. 16 bandages, so we got those. I really need more linen cloth. Gotta wait on that. I don't know. Man, this feels weird. This is why I never took Gong Strike. It felt weird to me. You know what is better to use internalized Lexicon? Use the bonuses you have for more hotkeys. I, I think we're gonna end up doing it, just cause. We're gonna have to end up doing it just cause. Where's the freaking shell whore at? 
Hey! What are you doing back here? Come this way. Oh, you know what? I have a brilliant idea. That I just thought of. How do I activate Runic Lantern? Is it blue? Not blue-purple. Not red or green. It's uh, green-blue, I think. Right? Alright, this guy's gonna chill here, I guess. What are you doing, huh? I don't like what you're doing right now. I'm not a fan. Green-blue? Okay. That's what I thought it was. Here we go. Of course that hit me. Why would that not hit me? I need to activate that so I can freaking see something. Because I unfortunately don't have my lantern on me. Okay. Green. Blue. Gosh freaking darn it. Killing me with this mana stuff, dude. Killing me. It's fine. We'll jump down here. Where's my backpack? Here it is. Oh, hello. I forgot I had you, you beautiful giant pot of mana. Okay, blue, green, right? Blue. Green, blue. I'm an idiot. Why don't I just do that? There we go. Oh, that's way better. Look, they fixed the whole brightness thing. It's now like a... It's not an orb anymore. It's a... I don't know what you call it. It's got like a fire effect on it. That's neat. I like it. Nifty. Mana pipes for the lane line? Yeah, I need at least one more for sure. Okay, where's the big boy at? Big boy. Hey, you. This way. Can't run too fast. Already de aggros. He's already being stupid, so this is really going well so far. Hey! Dummy! Get the frick out of here! What an idiot. Okay, there's step one. Step two is to activate this lever. You're telling me you haven't memorized this place's layout with how much you've come out here? <laughs> I mean, I pretty much have, actually. I just, sometimes they don't spawn, like, they're weird. Sometimes they'll run um, to, they'll run forward, and sometimes they won't. They'll just stay back in their cave. It's really weird. Oh yeah, watch this. Yoink. You can't catch me because I'm super speedy. I have the Master Trader garb on. This is amazing. Greatest of garbs. That three profit, yeah. Light isn't a partial hindrance for once. Looks really nice. I like it. It looks really good now. Are we for real right now? Did he just dip? This is why I hate these guys. They just actually stupid. They actually just dumb. Their AI makes no sense. Sometimes they'll walk forwards. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes they will. Sometimes they won't. Mind boggling. Come here. Get away from my door. It looks really good now, actually. I might use this in every build I make now. Looks phenomenal, dude. All right, one more shell horror down. We'll just keep slowly picking them off while the little dudes be stupid. What other choice do we have? Place is a uh, symmetric or small map. Yeah, kind of. All right, can we get any of the little dudes in here? Aha! Uh -huh, two of them. Okay, that is a progress. A progress. No, we got three, I think. You guys, uh, like, notice I just keep jumping off here like an idiot. Not a good idea, but I keep doing it anyway. Okay, we have one more little dude, I think. Yeah, one little dude, one big dude. Which technically, I could fight him now, but he's so annoying. See, he just backs up. It's like... 
What's the point? What is the point? Alright, we're gonna go get the other guy. That guy's obviously not coming over here right now. We did kill the little ones. That's extremely important. Every ranged enemy are kind of stupid. Yeah, sort of, yeah. A lot of time where I'll just run around in Master Garb as my main armor. For real. It's so good. And it looks... It looks classy as well. It looks really classy. Hey, buddy. Hey, you. Come here. Someone told me that you can just jump off the cliff. Let's try it. It hurt. It hurt a lot. Hey! We did it! Kind of cool. I mean, I knew you could fall off of there, but I'd never done it that way. Nifty. Light does look nice. I agree. It looks fantastic now. It used to blind your entire screen, but dude, this looks good. No, I'm tainted. I failed. Okay, now the sad part is I have to actually kill that guy. How to kill him. How long does Runic Lantern last? Quite a while. Oh, I need my lantern. Or my lexicon equipped. Green. Blue. Alright, that resets it to 300. Okay. Now, mana cost is pretty bad right now. I don't know if you're noticing that, but uh, that's only because it's going to get better later. It's going to get better later with my armor, for sure. I can smell the brigands back back here. How much mana are you going to go for in this build? Uh, 30 total from the ley line. The rest will come from faction. Oh my word. Get wrecked, dude. Yeah, I saw it coming. I ate it because I wanted to kill you. That's how much I don't like you. Holy cow, stamina is gone. It's not even existent. Vanished from thin air. Let me, let me hobble over here. Let me hobble over. Don't worry, I'm going to get water. <laughs> In what other game do you have to walk to get water so that you can fight? This is cracking me up. Can't fight you right now. I need to get a drink. Thirsty. And I also need to eat a tartine, which I don't have, so I will not use it right now. Five minutes? Oh, jeez. Used to want to be able to cancel the cast of light due to the blinding light. Yeah, I used to, too. It was so bad. Looks really... It actually looks kind of calming now. Oh, got him. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. The Cabal Wind Temple has been cleared. A lot of little dudes. A lot of little dudes. Starting to make sense why I've been dying so easily. Oh, because the armor is not... Uh, Master Trader is not very resistant. Oh, Leyline Figment. Nice. Yeah, Master Trader is awesome, but... Oh, my word, dude. How fast do you get corrupted? What? This is no good. I feel like I wasn't even in there that long. Oh, because I took hits. It uh, corrupts you more. Okay. How fast does it take me to get overweight? Yep, I was guessing right there. That was going to be my guess. Okay. How many fangs we get, dude? Unbelievable. Alright, we need a cult remains. That's what we need. Uh, we're 87. We can move the harpoon. And we can drop the freaking harpoon. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I haven't used it once. 16 weight. Let's move two of those to pocket. Two of those. And we'll move these... I guess these gauntlets to pocket. I don't know. Now we've got a little bit of room. We're going to still be heavy, but feel a little bit better about it. 
Hit up the hive, you get a ton of occult remains. I think that's where I'm gonna hit. What the heck is... Huh? When have you ever been scavenging across the lands, battling monsters, and you've said to yourself, I really wish I had two pairs of elite plate boots right now. When have you ever been doing that? Boots are so freaking heavy? Yeah, I know. Uh, look at this now. There are 14 each. Luckily, they decraft into palladium. Of which I needed. Boom. Uh, I need a total of four of them. So I need one more palladium, and I need... three occult remains. Luckily, I don't have to go to the hive. What I need to do is I need to go to the... Probably back to Berg, because Levant doesn't have iron weapons, really. I noticed that last time I went. Let's go to the Hive. We'll kill a couple Hive guys. It's fine. The, the one in Levant's better, because there's always a... Guaranteed that they're going to be Hive there. This one, you have to actually go through the thing. Eh. Kind of far, though. Isn't it? No, it's fine. It's not that long of a walk. Don't want to be annoying, but why not just uh, stack uh, potions, rag, and combat stuff in your pockets? I will eventually. That's what I will do. Well, the problem is, is I won't have this pocket space forever, obviously. This is just from the leather armor. And, um... Uh, actually, just from Master Trader. Apparently. Yeah, just from this. So, I'll be doing that here soon, but for right now, I've just been kind of... Distributing weight as, as I need to. What arena's drops have we gotten so far? Um, uh, we've got... The one I have here is Leyline Figment. I can't remember what's in my chest. I got Flowering Corruption. The... I did not get the Pearlbird or the Gep's Generosity. I got, uh, Vendival's Hospitality. I got that. And I got another one that I'd never gotten before. I don't remember which one. So I think we have four total? Four total? Which uh, faction do you all suggest going for the first time? Uh, Kool-Aid Man, I mean, I think most people are going to suggest the first one you've ever done. Because that's their favorite. But I suggest Berg or the Blue Chamber. I think it's the easiest. Doesn't have the best rewards compared to others. But I think it's the easiest out of all four of them. It gets you introduced to the story in a pretty good way, I think, as well. The Desert Region is by far harder. The bandits over there are much more difficult than bandits you're going to find in these regions. The Sorbor's the hardest. It's not that bad, but you just have to fight a lot more difficult enemies. Um, Holy Mission is the best, technically, but... Then you have to go through the swamp a lot, and a lot of new players don't enjoy the swamp much. What are you training as this time? What's up, Lazy? Uh, This is the... Gong Strike build that I was trying to trying to mess with. Uh, max Explosion Damage. With a shield. I think I'm going to end up with Internalized Lexicon for the runes. Uh, but we're definitely going Mercenary. Rune Mage. And I already took uh, Kazai Spellblade. I want to get as many explosions off as I can. Okay, do we see any Hive guys? I do not. Meaning we need to enter the door and exit. Let's throw on our magical regeneration here. Get a buff going. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, here's what I think we're going to do. We're not even going to use this uh, runic sword. We're actually going to use Gep's Blade instead for the explosions. And we're going to use runic trap on my hotbar instead. That's the better play here. That's what we do. Okay. I need to go get Gep's Blade sometime, though. Not the best rewards, but they're alright. They're not too timed, and they're pretty easy. Yeah, those ones are less... Uh, they're more forgiving than, say, Holy Mission. Holy Mission can actually really destroy you if you mess it up. Nope. This is the wrong hive. I went to the wrong one. Shouldn't matter, though. They should still spawn. 
Are you using maces? Are you considering the explosive enchants? Uh, for like the virgin ones, the AOEs, those are good. I'm not going to use mace probably. So I probably won't use that, but. Ah, uh, hive. See, they always spawn. It's really funny. Okay. Step number one. What is the trap? It's. Green, purple? No, 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 no. It's, uh. Red, green. I think. I think it's red, green, right? Yes. All right. Um, so we have that down. Not enough mana. Go freaking figure, dude. Go freaking figure. Even with 15 mana, this costs 15 mana. I can't have it. You have to have 16 mana? You have to have one extra mana? That's weird. Okay. Either way. So that's done. Let's drink some water. Um, stamina, I don't have, so, from Runic Prefix is way better. My barrier build uses Prefix and Runic Blade comes with Infused Light. Yeah, but I just, for a shield build, it's like, eh. Forgot I had that shield in there. Hey, ladies, let's party. Yeah. I don't want to slow them down yet. Slow him down when the guy put the trap a little far away. I'll admit, that's on me. See how much damage this bad boy does. This would be really cool to be able to activate the trap whenever I want, though. Hide behind a skeleton. Okay, I only hit one of them. Amazing. All right. Get them separated. They're they're staying on top of each other right now. I don't like it at all. Dodge. Thank you. Okay, healing himself. That's that's bogus. I don't like that. Are you kidding me? I got it in, like, one second. I was only in there for that one time. Okay. That's fine. Alright. Now I need these occult remains. And I guess I'll take the Kray Bay seed. And, uh, poison myself. To get rid of the hive infestation. Let's make sure we have an antidote first. Okay, we do. I was about to kill myself. With no antidote. Uh, that's bad. Okay, we can go to Levant. But... We need to go back to Berg first to get the weapons. We can actually probably craft the weapons there. It'll save me some pocket space. We'll get everything we need now, though. Except for one occult remains, I think. Which we'll get later. Nate, did you get Reveal Soul yet for free mana? Yes, I did. Uh, I probably should have activated it there. Because I think those skeleton guys count as uh, undead. I do have it, though. Thank goodness I have it. Need to see my current build team, but you never come to my streams anymore. <laughs> well, I... I just haven't had time, man. I feel bad. I'm always making a video or working on Discord or something. 5% chance to become infested, by the way, and that 5% means 100% in my book. I always get it. I feel like I, I've avoided it multiple times, but I instantly got it that time. I forget mist skill. Oh, Burry, you're a genius. Need to get mist. It's gonna increase my ethereal damage by a lot. What if we do this? What if we hold um So we talked about taking eternalized lexicon. What if we take eternalized lexicon so we don't need one? Then we always have our shield equipped. Then we use uh, Gep's Blade. We enchant a virgin weapon with ethereal damage. And then we could use a one. We could use both of those. For whenever Gep's Blade breaks. Because Gep's Blade breaks like constantly. Or no. I need one with uh, lightning. I need lightning AoE. So we'll do like a lightning blast maybe. 
One of the other. One ethereal, one lightning. Scale leather hat and boots for more shield damage and better corruption resist. I don't think it... Scale leather doesn't do corruption resist, I don't think, does it? Does decay resist? I didn't think it did corruption, though. I don't remember which armor pieces have that to be 100%. Like, I know... Uh, let's see... Uh, Candle Plate has it, Tenebris has it. All I can think of, though. Hello. Three bodies. I shall explode you. Virgin weapons with the AoE enchant. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Halvor. Like, the virgin weapon with a lightning enchant would be awesome for an AoE. 5% is just that infinite attempt of infliction. <laughs> it's the same as the cold. You always catch a cold. Uh, Joshua, what's your favorite build? Um, It's hard to say. My favorite build overall that I've played is probably going to be my Ghost of Enmerker build. It's on my channel, actually. It uses Dreamer Halberd. That one was just infinite stamina. Run forever, and... It turns the game into Dark Souls, because you're only dodging instead of blocking. Like, you're never blocking. You just dodge all the time. That was a really fun build. Uh, Disc of Death was fun, too, but they used the same armor set, so... My current build, uh, most things in Caldera have a hard time doing damage to me. Yeah, that's kind of crazy that Caldera can't do damage to you. Considering that's, you know, the, the hard zone. Quotation marks, because it's not hard, depending on the build you have, but... It is generally more difficult, of course. Okie dokie, Smokey. I need to get iron weapons, craft them, and get the heck out of here. Literally just trying to buy skills right now. Hey there. There's the runic armor I'm going for. Mine's enchanted, of course, though. Ethereal bonus and a lightning bonus. Very nice. Oh, we want the iron sword, great axe. No, no, no. We want the spear, the halberd. I guess they all weigh the same. Ah, don't get the great hammer. Sells more. And... Da, 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 da. I guess we'll sell this here. Actually, yeah, we'll sell that there to keep some money. Okay. So now that we did that, I should have plenty of fangs. Do I have enough linen cloth for this? That's really the honest question, because uh, I might not. Ah, make the, uh, the Predator Pickaxe, the Fanged Pickaxe of, of Legend. Okay. Now we turn this into four weapons. Four remains, palladium, I can make three of these, I think. Yes, so we need one more cult remains, and we'll get another chitin as well. There we go. Uh, move this to pocket, and move the other one to pocket as well. That puts me three overweight, which I can sell these knuckles here. Hey there. Do I have rations? Look at these ghost eyes, dude. How many did I get? It's crazy. Aha! We did it. Rations are... Dude, why can't I never find anything in my inventory? I have six of them, okay. I do need to buy the curing uh, corruption potions, though. I did all on no reason in Merker, and none of them could do any damage. Except for the Immaculate Dreamer. Ah, I How think that I cuts through defense, maybe. I think it does a lot. Okay, pay 90. That's kind of crazy, though. Jeez. Can't even do damage to you? That's nuts. Yeah, obviously holy for the defense. Don't forget mist. Oh, yes, guys. Thank you. How much money do I have? Need three more silver. How can I help you? 
Mm-hmm. These I never use, so there we go. All right, we'll get mist and then cure my potion or my disease as well. Where is this at? Aha, sanctifier potion. There we are. Head up the stairs. And let's put on our runic lantern because it looks awesome. Green, blue? Yeah, okay. It takes me some time to remember these combinations. Look at that bad boy. Hey, uh, Liger, did you know that they... The recent patch notes, so they, they changed Runic Lantern? They made it look less blinding. Look how good it looks now. What am I doing with you? I don't need you, punk. Went Exalted with Holy Mission. Oh, you took Exalted too? Could you use your uh, ether particle to make purifying potions? Yeah, um, what can the only I reason I didn't you? is because I've been kind of unlucky with the particles, and I wanted to save it. Listen, I haven't been getting any particles whatsoever. Mist has been learned. Thank you for learning me. You learned me something, dude. It's nice of you. Yeah, I've been using it sometimes with my current build. Dude, it's awesome. I like the new chain. What? Can I get out the door, please? Thank you. Thank you. Ridiculous. Just trying to have a good time here. Game says no. Hmm. We need to do some potion crafting. Once we get to our matin, I think that it will be goal number one. Hey, Shane and Chad. What's up, Chad? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. We're going to burn the crap out of our stamina. Nah, we're gonna you? buy we're gonna buy the potions because I need them. Holy cow! I bought the whole I bought the works. Give me that delicious tea. Probonia would be angry with me right now because I didn't make pungent paste instead. <laughs> Never make pungent paste. Never do it. All right, so now, good to go. And we can probably get mercenary when we get there, which is what we want. What's up, Sheen? Is this build doing good? What's up, Shrek? Uh, so far, it is... Passable. Passable. Um, I've never been the biggest fan of shields damage. Which is what we're running into right now. But it's, so far, it's pretty good. I can't complain. What's wrong with budget paste? Nothing. It's actually really good. I just never make it. I think the I have the recipe too. I have it right. Pungent paste. I never have fish. That's why. I never go fishing, so I can never make it. Do you want to die? The answer is yes. Oh, I don't have a weapon. And then, of course, I don't have enough magic to cast it. Unless it works this time. Aha, it worked. What? Freaking snipers. Ridiculous. Okay, let's damage everybody at the same time. Oh, get wrecked. Now the problem is hitting them. That was awesome, dude. Look how slow they are, too. That was crazy. Yeah, Frost was definitely the right one to pick, because that slowdown is super helpful. It's a lot better than you would think. Even though it's not doing damage over time, it's still pretty phenomenal. Pretty good. Okay, Jerky... Mana region, of course, as per usual. Some more consumption build, but uh, I think after playing a full mana build and a no mana build, I'm, I'm kind of good in both those departments. Got this. Faction quest, probably going to take Sorobor. I think that's what we decided on for the cooldown. The cooldown. And mana infuse later. And mana infuse is going to be awesome. Oh, eat soul? That's true. Uh, I didn't have enough mana. 
any way to do it. I'll do it. I'll do it in a bit when I get another body. It's not hard to find a body. Only thing I need to watch out for is physical damage, but I have a plan to help with that. I need Kazite Pistol to weaken them. Ah, Kazite Pistol. That's a brilliant idea, actually. The Invincible Build. Or Cage Pistol. You get Cage Pistol, it does weaken and sapped. Although it does sapped first and weaken later, so that's probably a bad idea, actually. I actually don't like the Cage Pistol because of that. Still good, but... Do you have Cage? Ah. Yeah, it's the two hits. Yeah, I don't like the two hit thing. That kind of sucks. Alright, we're gonna make it to Levant, ladies and gentlemen. Use Ornate Bone Shield for Ethereal. Ornate Bone Shield would be a good idea, actually. Since it provides that buff. I didn't even think of that. Oh, what are we fighting over here? Oh, we got a deer and a dog, ladies and gentlemen. The deer absolutely demolishing you, the dog. Dog doesn't even have a chance. He's trying to get up. Look at him. He's trying. He's trying to fight. Oh, he gets one hit and gets knocked back. Gets knocked down again. What an absolute failure. This guy woke up and chose violence. He said, I'm knocking you down. You're not even going to fight me. Inflicts pain. Doesn't matter. Keeping him on the ground. What a bully. If ever there was a bully, this was it. He's an absolute maniac. You want this guy on your football team. That's all I'm saying. Alright, can I, can I loot him? Are you gonna, like, attack me? No? Okay. Good understanding that we have there. I like that. I approve. What the heck, bro? He just refused to attack me. Awesome. Will-O-Wisp shield from Gaul Ghost Temple? Yeah, it's never a bad idea either. Uh, it's just not really that good of a shield compared to the others still. Even though it's cool. And it'd actually kind of fit with my build. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Anything you have to die to get is not going to be used that often by people. You know what I mean? Like, that is just not... I don't know why they made it that way. I get it in terms of a cool quest, but for a weapon that you're trying to just go after, it's not very... Not very good. So, the thing for this is I need a poison weapon to take these guys out easier. Let's use the... Yeah, we'll use this here. Fly downhill real quick. Hey, look, a body. Yeah, I told you, bodies aren't hard to find. Yeah, there's a lot of dead people in Outward. A lot of dead people. They don't make it very far. I don't know why I always do it so far from the body and then walk up like a genius. There we go. Hey, bugs, what's up? No, I don't want to fight you. I'm not in a mood right now. I don't want to get Mika fever. Had a fever. Doesn't feel good. I'm out. Yummy soul. Heck yeah. Really need to start using this skill a lot. It's very good. It's very good. Um, it's not really as necessary whenever you stock up on a bunch of mana potions. Because you can easily make those. Like, they're really, really easy to make. But, especially in the early game, when you don't have access to other properties of restoring your mana it's top notch dude top notch for sure what are the best ways to getting your mana back I haven't played a proper mage since i played start playing de i have been doing mostly physical 100 astro potions jeez bro stocking up aren't you um i need to get the warm boon I guess we'll put this on. Can't use it on my shield, but I can stab people to death. That's what's important. Funny to watch when I was testing this build before I took Exalted. Uh, four fire beetles hit me with fireballs at the same time. Took no damage. Jeez. Yeah, that armor set's kind of crazy. What they've done to it. So much defense. Let's do this. It's poke and poke time. Alright, he's dead. Easy peasy. He's dead. I'm gonna wait for this guy. Because he's bugging me right now. <laughs> he's bugging me. 
Three hits and we run away. Boom. It's that easy, ladies and gentlemen. It's that easy. They don't stand a chance if you poke them from 30 feet. That's why I'm saying, uh, whenever I did my top five spears, dude, this spear is definitely in the top five. It's just that good. Easy to get very early and can definitely be used until endgame. Definitely. Although Shriek is... The thing about Shriek is it's technically better. But the, um, the usability is slightly less since it poisons you and stuff, so... While it's better, it's... It's not. <laughs> you know? You must go for barrier or mixture of barrier and resistance. I think what he did was a little bit of barrier and resistance, if I remember correctly. At least when I mess up and die, I can still play. That's true. <laughs> Hello, Hive. What is that? What are these made of? Wondered. Because, like, beehives... They, they make them. So these hive people have to make these. How come no one went out here and just stopped them from making them? They're like, hey, they're building a beehive, and no one just went and killed them. Army's really, really preoccupied, I guess. Want to do a build with Shriek? It's a really good weapon. Very strong. Can we get some music, please? Like, dude. There's no music. I feel like this happened quite a few times today. Shield, helmet, and boots are enchanted with more barrier. Oh, so you got the, like, maxed out barrier stuff. Immune to fire. Maybe the hive insects that fly around them build them? Could be. Makes some sense. Boom. Palladium's crap. Is there an armor set you can do that makes you immune to self-buildup? Self-buildup? Uh... You sort of, you have to have 100% uh, decay resist. For, it's in order to not take damage. And if you don't want it to build up, you have to have 100% status resist. Or not even necessarily 100%, you just have to have status resist. So Slayer armor could be used. Technically. But the reason you want to just be immune to decay is because it inflicts plague. And so if you get near the enemy, then you get plague. Nerve gas. Yo. Watch this. Hey, big guy. Come here, you. I have a big pokey stick, and I want to stab you with it. Lock. He's poisoned. Now we run away! Jacoby! Welcome to the Fearless Companion. Thank you for becoming a member, friend. That's awesome. Hmm, where's my rock that I can climb up? Aha! Whoa! Buddy, you take a chill pill. I'm going to die to poison here quickly. Alright, Stark out. Can't see. Fine. We go to the gym, have a nice stream. Catch you later, Suprez. Or Supreme. Thanks for joining in. Okay, he's back for more. He did not die to poison. He is dying to poison, but like he hasn't died, you know what I mean? We'll do some circle business. Alright, that's costing me stamina. Why am I doing this? Can you get through here? Aha! You can't. You fool. How dare you. Whoa! I was looking at chat, bro. Chill out. Oof. Big oof. Get out of my face. Almost too easy. Almost too easy. Horror weapons make the game just so freaking easy. Slayer set with weavers uh, grants 70% status resist. Oh, yeah. Dang. Yeah, the weaver's backpack is uh, a lot better than... Uh, and most people don't use it, because for the most part, you don't need it. But And if you get Miasmic Tolerance from the Prime Riches skill tree, as long as you have a sleep buff on, you get 15% extra. 
Is there an enchant for extra 10? Dude, you can get quite a bit then. What do you have for me? Can I carry that? I sure can. Shield enchant? Oh, I thought there was only one shield enchant. Does that go on all shields, Rodolfo? I thought there was only the one that did uh, extra barrier and protection. Oh, I guess those are two enchants then. Yeah. A shield enchant won't help with a two-handed weapon build. That is also true. Yeah. All right. So, what did we get? Number one, we need to make sure there's not a rock mantis here, because sometimes they ambush me and I don't like it. Okay. We have one horror weapon, two horror weapon, three horror weapon. We can craft a third one. Using the chitin, the occult remains, and the palladium. Now, if we get the iron spear, we could technically craft another horror weapon. Yes, because I have enough. Of everything. So we get an iron spear, which if we get enough money, we could pay Pigeon Eye. He has an iron spear. So this should give me all of mercenary? I'm not 100% on that. I get most of mercenary, I think. Horror pickaxe win. Exactly, Halvor. When do we get that horror pickaxe? Get 80% and then 95 with that thing. Oh, so 95 is the max? Jeez, that's a lot of status resist. Did make a gold pickaxe? Yeah, it's nice. It does way more. Oh, it's only one more, though. Here's to be a way if you want to upgrade City Hall with Embassy and then upgrade Chapel. Oh, yeah, doesn't Chapel have a status resist effect? Pop hex potions every minute. Yeah, that too. Uh, it weighs one more, however. It goes from five to six pounds. Just because, you know, gold weighs more. Yeah, it's not something you would know until you craft it, really. Because who looks at weights when they're checking a whip? <laughs> no one really looks at that. At least on the wiki. The durability is nice, especially in Caldera. When you're mining all those samples, the durability is great. It's great. 25% for your last sanctity buff. Ah, and 15% from the embassy. True. Build idea. Defiled for corrupt ghosts. Mace infused. Shield infused. Free fire imbues on mace and shield. That's true. Interesting. Yeah, the defile will give you a lot of decay damage too. After finishing blue chamber for my first playthrough, which faction do you all suggest for the second? Uh, I would either do Holy Mission or Heroic. Holy Mission, probably. Can I? This worries me. Mm, not selling to you. You're a bum. You don't have hardly any money. Only sell to people who are rich. Make the rich richer. Can I help? This worries me. Cause that's the kind of person that I am. I'm. I'm rude. Yeah, I'm a bad guy. Okay. I have to pay 200? I don't think I have that much. There's 160. Let's sell the ghost eyes, because I don't need pressure plate traps for anything else, because I can use the runic trap. All right, what is all that? I sold... Oh, yes, I bought the gold. Okay. Okay, and then we need to do... Sell the other horror weapons. Got anything for me? Oh, boy. 800, that's enough, I think. Ooh, eight. All right, we've got a little bit more. This guy should have money for later. That's good, though. 138. I actually need most of this in silver, but. Yes, this worries me. Yes, this worries me. Worries me too, buddy. 
worries me too. Aha! Okay. Let us go uh, get Pigeon Eye. Give him some money. Help the guy out. Don't sell your horror sword. You're still holding the spear. Sword? Well, that's a two handed sword. I don't want to use a two handed sword. I'm going to sell both. Hello. You're a dead body. Well, bonded over here. Not that I was over here. Hey, what's up, buddy? What you doing in jail? You do something bad. Excellent. Spamming people's souls in order to get mana. Feels appropriate. Feels appropriate. Honestly, love how good the horror weapons are, but hate the way they look. Yeah, they, they're they they're supposed to look grotesque, though. I mean, they do look pretty ugly. They're really good, though. You aren't using the horror one-hand sword anymore? Oh, uh, no, I sold that when I went, uh, before I even got to the, the Cabal Hermit. Not Cabal Hermit. Uh, Cabal Wind Temple. You look like you've been around. Thanks a bunch. I'm... Spam! Right. Ah, hold on. It's mostly weapons and Ooh. stuff like that. Left we did it. Shipment. Feel free to help yourself. Hardest part of Outward is spamming the uh, the space bar. Ooh. It's all vaping, yeah. Get them fumes, bruh. Alright, so these, these, that, this, that, that. And I shall buy... What can I do for you? This. While I am here. Because why not? Never a bad thing. Yoink. They look out of place. They do. I, I like the horror spear, though. I think it's the best looking one. By far. How can I? Oh, shoot. I need to craft that, don't I? So I just got a horror spear. That's why I was doing that. I can craft the trident and then the spear. So, there's three more horror weapons. How can this is troubling? Is it is it really troubling, or are you just lying to me again? Uh, four frost bombs. It's pretty good. What do I need though? I guess I'll buy a power coil. Okay. Listen, oh boy. Two thousand. Two thousand silver. Actually, do you have a new Sirocco with a blacksmith? I... the weaponsmith? I think so. You're talking about the one that gives you the, the cold weapons? I think I gave you one one time, didn't I? So I should have one, yeah. I think I have one. What can I do for Okay. You? So this is gonna help with the repairing. Uh, should I buy this first, though? Not sure. Uh, I think I have one, though. Horror weapons just remind me of Soul Calibur every time. That's funny. Printing consumes 40% less stamina. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why we're getting this. Block an elemental attack when you next block an elemental explosion will burst from you. Amazing ability. And we won't buy those because I'm not going to use guns and they'll clutter up my thing. So, All right, decrease stamina and movement penalties. So that will decrease a lot of the stamina penalties from the runic armor. Good. Someone said buy warm boon. That is right. I need to grab that. If I every merchant in Levant hits you with the varying levels of oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, this worries me. Oh boy. Four that Bruh, that's some economy right there. You just inflated the price of that like insanely. Does anyone want to buy a uh, a horror great axe for four and a half grand? No, nobody. All right, that's cool. I mean, I wasn't gonna buy it back. It was not gonna happen. That is, it's so freaking expensive though. Jeez, yes. this worries me. Does it worry you? What worries yes, you? Is. Please explain. 
A warm boon? Curious. Yes, yeah. What a steal. I was just looking for that exact one. <laughs> I was just looking for that item that's really overpriced. Yeah, yeah, I was just looking for that. Okay, so we have some extra money. And what we can do with this money is what I like to call... Explosions. Oh, okay. this is we can do explosions. How much is that? 432. I'll keep the ice. And I'll keep the occult remains for now because we may actually get another ore chitin. There we go. We got 15 of those and we have 15 of the nerve gas. That's, that's feeling good. Feeling good. Is it daytime or nighttime? I always forget. I think it's daytime now. So we'll go down to the electric lab. Earn the last bit of money we need, head back at the rune tree, boom. Build done, then we can go play the game. I usually don't try and get my build immediately, but with the way this is, we have to. Nine nerve gas, not 15. Yeah, well, uh... Chances are we'll find some things to use once we get there. Sleep? Sleep is for the weak, Agnes. I probably should, though. Uh, I don't like sleeping during daytime. So we'll just chug some, some bug tea instead. Chug this bug tea. You know? Alright, let's get some water going. And honestly, we may run out of mana, which is my attack. I didn't buy any oceans. Oh, I gotta fall off of this. What do we think? Nope, I survived. I'm a genius. Genius. Also didn't buy any stamina food. This is what I like to call poor planning. Watch this running. Negative 40! Look at that. It's way better. It's barely moving. Ah, you love to see it. Makes me happy. Couldn't climb that. He's so top tier player, he has to handicap himself with 50% burnt stamina to make it fair. Yeah. What is this sparkle in the sand? Yeah, I, I try to make the game harder, guys. It just, it's those, I don't know what to tell you. Too easy, you know? Then I die instantly. That was easy. It was easy to die. You have soup, stamina. <laughs> Beetlejuice. I feel like a uh, if you called it that, that would be pretty. That would have been pretty fair, yeah. All right, so we need to go to the slide as well to get my armor. Need my armor. All right, let's see. I love this little tree, by the way. It's just one tree in a desert, full of no trees. Simplicity at its finest. That is a handicap to hobo run. True. Oh, yeah, I still haven't set a time for it. What's a hobo run? Uh, it's, me and Liger have an idea to where we're going to use, like, the worst items in the game. So, like, wooden or golden clubs and pull arms. And then use tattered armor enchanted to have five protection. So, it's pretty crappy. It's going to be funny, though. Okay. Why did I buy a power coil if I was going to come here? Make any sense. Yoink. Okay. Step one is to put down a rune, which is green red, I think. Or is it the other way around? Red green. Dude, these rune combinations are screwing me up. If you're not constantly using them, it's so easy to forget what they are. Alright, and then we're going to put a... Trap? Boom. Let's do this. Actually, let me cast my sword real quick. Dude, 
Excuse me, sir. Senor. I need you to come try to kill me. Thank you. Come this way. I have a surprise. It's your birthday. Hee 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 hee. Oh my word. Look at the damage. Hmm. You don't like that, do you? And that is how we take out a beast golem. Because beast golems suck. We do not fight beast golems the normal way. Look at this stamina. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. You did the final new Sirocco quest. Just been... Z yeah, boring. You know. Okay. Now we set down another trap. And we will open this door. Without my stamina buff, too. Did less damage than I thought, to be honest. Okay. Here's the hard part, because these guys don't mess around. Yeah, sorry, buddy. That, that did nothing. Are you kidding me? I tried everything. Still got me. Okay, now we're at disadvantage, because now I don't have my... Come on! Okay, I need to infuse something. Oh, I got shield infused. What am I not... Why did I not equip that? Oh, there's the trap there! Aha! Hit me with your stupid fireball now! Or don't. Are you kidding? Oh, I hate myself. Dude, this shield does so much damage. Alright, so I missed. That's That was great. Oof. Yeah, take this, buddy. Does that explode, or does that... Blockable? I don't know. Alright, so now we can actually get fire charges. These uh, can be put in the... Fresh plates. What's the dog doing? <laughs> he's dying. That's what he's doing. Ooh, ghost eyes. Perfect for traps as well. So, the important thing about this build is you have to actually use its abilities. You have dropped Vendival's Hospitality. As well as arrows that... Eh. Major eh on that. What do I care? Alright, our infuse is back. Let's cast this. Shield. Boom. Easy. We got three shield abilities at one time. That looks awesome. That looks awesome. Ooh, hello. I can use you. I don't know why I did that again, but hey, it's fine. Thank you for the mana. Who wants to fight? I'll fight anybody. For real. Like, anybody. Oh, you want some of this, huh? Can I block this guy? I think I can. Well, you can't block it if he doesn't attack you. How you like the ethereal sword, you butt face? Remember when you killed me earlier? Yeah. Try something now. Ah, ah, ah. Zorn Demon Shield has better damage. I th I should probably grab Zorn's Demon Shield, honestly. It sounds like a good idea. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hey, thank you for the subscribe. Welcome to the channel. Ooh, get melted. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. All right. More occult remains, more ghost eyes. This is going perfectly, ladies and gentlemen. It could not get any better. Don't even need stamina. Perfect. Everything is perfect. Really? We're going to spawn it over there where I'm not? Why? Okay. 
Gonna cast another soul real quick for absolutely no reason. Hey, buddy. Those demon shields second highest damage. But Sar shield probably has higher, I'm guessing. Imbues were not lasting the length they should. Are they for me, though? I can't even tell. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's do this. Oh, it's only a melee attack that it blocks? Lame. Lame. That's... It's not even possible that you just hit me. Holy crap, dude. What the heck? Does he do a thousand damage? Not feel good. Not a fan. Oh, sword ran out. Perfect. Can I do this? Not what I wanted to do. This guy is not working. There we go. I did no damage. <laughs> Funny. Why did my sword last like three seconds? That's what I wanted to know. Alright, yeah, I think Gep's Blade is going to be really good for this. The, uh... This sword's just, eh. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you stuck? Well, I'll take the free kill. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? We now have the Coil Lantern. Booyah. Light is way different. Sar is best because of durability for your build. Mm, yeah, but I have to switch off of it occasionally, and that's why I hadn't grabbed it. Maybe I should grab it, though. I don't have any other reason to get a different Sar weapon. Okay. This. This is what Carnage looks like. Yes, feel the rage. Dodge! Dodge! Thank you. Meow. Yeah, get stuck. Get stuck. Does so much damage to these guys. Makes golems a piece of cake. Can I loot you? This happened last time. He's unlootable. This happened last time I came here. You can't loot this guy. What the heck? I don't know why it's doing that. Is this Palladium? Hmm. Weird. Key feature for Sheen's builds always having a broken weapon shield. <laughs> That's so true, though. Like, every one of my builds, I'm just like, dude, why is my stuff broken? A major part of my gameplay. Major part of my gameplay. Oh! Look at this. Boy, how nice of the game to give me uh, access to the top floor. Oh, hey. Palladium. Nice. Pull this bad boy here. Okay, so, so far a build is fun. We get to use a lot of different things. We really need to get our armor going and see how good it is then. Aha. Which one is it? This one? This one. Get sorry, you do not want to fight a boss with a broken shield. That's fair. That's fair. Although Zorn's does look cooler. Maybe I'll... I, what I, the plan was, I was going to grab a whole bunch of shields and switch when I need to. So, I'll grab... I'll definitely grab Sar, probably. Okay, what did I use against these? I used the... Yeah, the... Mist... What are they even called? Mist charges? 
ethereal charges. Angler and Demon have more damage, but they lose durability very quickly. Ah. Makes sense, actually. Hot weather defense. Right here. And now we can start putting down pressure plates. I think th we'll do four per just because yeah, we have them. All right. Got a fire charge. A potion thing. Gas trap. A ghost eye, which is the best one by far. And another one of these. Now, let's get our ethereal sword out here. Cast. What do we want to use against this guy? Probably just cold. There we go. Angler. Oh, I already read one. Yeah. Ever since skills were made to consume durability, I hardly ever use weapons other than Sar. Yeah, Sar are really good. I started using Sar a lot lately just because of that. Sar Fists, Sar Great Mace. One of my favorite builds uses a Sar Polearm, actually. Bring it on, buddy. That's what I thought. <laughs> I didn't even touch him. I didn't even have to touch him. Did I get a rapier earlier? No, I didn't get one because of that guy. I should probably go back down there and grab the other one. Because there is a second one I could grab. Nah, it's not that big a deal. Okay. Pressure plate. Another pressure plate. 40s, bad boys. Miss Boon? Oh, good idea. That buffs my trap damage too, doesn't it? That indeed would be a fantastic idea. No. I just used the coal remains on accident. Gosh darn it. I hate when it does that. Can I take it out? Aha. Okay, so I don't get the trap back, but I get the item back. Oh, wait. You do get the uh, trap back. Okay. Just not if it's used. Got it. Alrighty. Missed boon it is. Hello, friend. Would you like to come to my, uh... My explosive arena over here. Full of deadly abilities and other things. Ooh, buddy, that's that's not good for your health. You should get out of that. Ooh. Check that out. Did you see that? I, I blew him up into a bomb. The second bomb blew him into the third bomb, which he laid down in and just sat and took damage. Sometimes I do things and they're just great. Uh, I didn't even mean to do it. That's the honest truth. I'm not even gonna pretend that was planned. I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm not even going to pretend. Uh, so where can I put this? Oh, here we go. He's walking into a wall currently. What a genius. High intellectual guy right there. High intellectual guy. That was dope. I think so, Rodolfo. That was pretty cool. I don't think this one's going to work because I think it's going to bounce him the wrong way. Golem got screwed hard. Yeah, he, 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 didn't, he didn't make it. It wasn't good for him. That's all I'm going to say. It was not good for him. Did I use my fire charge? I don't think so. I think I am going to go internalize lexicon just for the ease of use. 
Hello. Ow. Sometimes when you attack with a running attack with the sword, it's so slow it won't let you attack again. Woo! Wow. Once again, saved a uh, trap. I don't know how I keep doing it. I don't know. And then we can grab the Whirlig Spear, of course. Which we'll grab later, because right now we need to go turn the thing off. Golems were programmed perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Alright. Enter back through here. And I think what I'm going to do is... Yeah, I'm going to go kill the other golem. Might as well. He drops the rapier. That gives me more money. Who's going to turn down more money? Are you going to turn down more money? I'm not going to. I, for one, love money. Gold, silver, it's all the same to me. But before we do that, I do have to use the restroom. So, we're once again take a couple minute break, and I will use the restroom. I will catch you guys in just a second here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Let's see here. Here we go. Okay. What were we doing? Killing the golem? No surprise there. Uh, Deandra, hey, have you guys done the Breath of Darkness secret mission? I just released a video on my channel of doing that quest, actually. Just released the video. Alright, this is the wrong door. Breath of Darkness quest. That was a fun one. Kind of long, though. Alright, so now we can go... I think I actually need to kill a few of these guys, though. Yep. Okay, good thing I put that down. Wait, I need to wait for a fire blast. Yeah, well, that was not a good fire blast. Leave! Hello. Oh my word, the ethereal damage is crazy! This time I want to check if a game is good or bad. I check gameplay videos and such. Yeah, it's usually a better way to do it nowadays. Oftentimes reviews are... Or even pre... Like, pre-released footage and stuff is not the most accurate. I just punched him. Did anyone just see that? I literally just punched him. That was the greatest moment of my entire life. 
That was awesome. You ever punched a golem with your bare fist? Well, I have. <laughs> golem in the garden can still kill my barrier build. So I killed him before. Adulted. Ah, good idea. Yeah, he has just a high amount of damage. There's no way. Be able to completely tank him. You, my friend, get a special prize of mist, Misty Death. Get a Misty Death. I see some mushroom bars, though, because our health is looking a little, um... It's looking a little on the burnt side. And considering I've had these dry mushroom bars since I started the game... I should probably eat those. Does more damage than under arena bosses? Yeah, he does. He does. It is kind of dumb. I'll agree with that. Aha. Okay, we use two of those. We will infuse... Do I have enough on this weapon? I do. Just so we have some type of extra damage here. Hi, buddy. You can come forward anytime you want to. Easy, bro. The splood build or the boom build is working perfectly. Working perfectly. We blow up everything we see. <laughs> Breath of Darkness, most valuable drop of the samples. But at that point, you were already done building. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that until I did it. Was honestly kind of disappointed. Now, it is cool that he respawns every seven days. So if you fully beat the game on one character, it means you could literally just farm out a ton of samples on that character. Easily by killing stuff instead of farming them. But like... You really want to do that? I think most people just... Aren't even going to do that quest. It might even be faster to just farm out samples and not do that quest. I don't know. It was a really cool quest. It just feels like the reward or the... The final incursion after it was really low compared to what... The challenge of the quest was. I also want to do a playthrough with the funniest weapon in the game. Say about the glass gray sword or uh, something like that. The gla grass gray sword is awesome. It's dupe stuff now. That's fair, yeah. I do that when I'm recording a video sometimes. Or like a guide or something. Sometimes you need to. The weapon is the Cali Gray Staff, if you ever used it. When oh, it's massive. Oh, did you guys see they buffed the Cali Gray Mace? Uh, the ancient Caligray Mace was a legacy chest version of the Caligray Mace. And it used to get worse when you legacy chested it. It now gets better. A lot more impact and damage. Which was, should have been changed a long time ago. I don't know why that wasn't changed with Defensive Edition. But at least it is now, I guess. Yeah, it was the only... Uh, the, I think the wiki still says it, too. It was the only weapon in the entire game that got worse when you legacy chested it. Who designed this? Or a leg spear. Now. Do I have room for this? I have two occult, two palladium. Six of these. I think I have room. Let's go do it. We're gonna kill the shell whore. On console? Oh, you do stuff on console? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still. Sometimes a good idea. I think the Compass Guardian, 84 damage busted. Desert Archer Captain deals 85 damage per shot. He is insane. On that uh, n max mana build I did, he literally could one-hit me every single time. I got... I think I died twice to an archer. Because he just snipe you across the map. Crazy. That's why I tell people the desert or the heroic faction isn't the, the easiest. Because those desert bandits don't mess around. 
Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I don't want to use that too much. I think that's all I need, right? Water, probably. Enter the ladder. Enter the ladder of doom. Hang around, but I wanted to drop in and say hello. Get you a view count for the few minutes all I can. Awesome, DJ Marl. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Means a lot, my friend. Okay. You gong strike while sneaking. The answer is yes. Oh, I forgot this has no impact. Although it should have had some, considering he was 50, but whatever. Alright, game's not working, because I'm literally blocking and it's not holding the block button. I love when it's this happens. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. I love it. <laughs> literally holding down the block button and he just goes, nope. Nope. It still blocks, though. It just won't let me. It was it was goofed. I was in a weird position. It wouldn't let me do anything. Um, so we need to be healed. That's that's the problem here. This runic sword, I love it to death, but it's like does absolutely nothing to some enemies. Do a dodge roll and it should fix it. Okay. Here's the problem. My backpack's in there. That's the main problem. Need to get it. How do I get said backpack? What if we go Brutal Knuckles? Or Gollum Rapier? Or Wolf Great Hammer? Here we go. This is the build. This is the build. This is how we defeat the Shell Whore. What's up, Smokey Man? Aim for Bone Shield and blocking issue can be solved if you roll. Uh, I probably will get the bone shield eventually, yeah. I don't think it was a block glitch. I just think I it was in a weird uh, position, so I couldn't actually do anything. You do something else, bud. Nope. See what I'm saying? This freaking twin and mace, bro. I love it to death. But occasionally, the hitbox woo, gets you. Alright. Now you're in for it, buddy. I can't use a single skill on my hotbar, but don't worry. You get five attacks. That's that's fair. Uh-huh. Just gonna keep attacking five times? I do not have the stamina for this, bro. This is bull. I hate that that happens. I hate that. That's why I didn't like the thing on the two-handed mace. If you literally break... If you knock the enemy back, sometimes they still hit you. It makes zero sense. It makes no sense. That happened to me so many times with my candle plate build. Uh, I think it's five in the last part, isn't it? Maybe it is four. I don't know. There's an attack. If you do this, right, you knock him back. Occasionally, he can swing his arm. It's his, his left arm. He can swing it at you. This is going great, just in case you guys are wondering. Going good. Do I try the Golem Rapier next? Which has more... This is faster. I'm just going to try every weapon in the book. Let's try this now. What? Okay. We'll try a new weapon. Alright? <laughs> Life? I do need health. I need to get the uh, the backpack. Watch me get one shot as soon as I enter this cave. Oof. Okay, so I can still block. Three. Okay, I can get him over here. Boom. 
Ta! Ho 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 ho! That was close. Barely did it. Barely did it. What's up, Dakota? Welcome to the stream. Alright. Now we can heal. And then equip all of our equipment that we were supposed to be using this entire time. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. That looks a little bit better. What do we think? I agree with myself, so. This golem right here does look cool. I kind of want to make a build out of it. Massive. Oh, you know what? The Whirlig Spear wouldn't be bad in here. Yeah, the lightning damage. About to go, uh, smoke this dude. You know, I keep doing things, and I really need more mana. I think that's the biggest problem we're running into right now. I really need more mana. Okay. Dude is about to get poked to death. With a stick. Runic protection? Yeah, it would have been a good idea, too. You guys are mentioning a lot of good things, all right? I want to uh, butt my head against the wall, though. But butt against the wall. Just make this as hard as possible. Hmm. Ideal situation there. What's up, bro? Yeah, you don't like lightning damage, do you? Of course, you get nine freaking attack. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Kill you. Stab, 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 stab. Angered me beyond belief. You buffoon. You giant monkey. Creature. Dang, whatever you are. Ape? Gorilla? I don't know. Wolf plate? Eh. Okay. I don't think I've ever used anything but the wolf chest plate. The wolf chest plate's really good. Do I have enough fangs to do this? I have a total of six, so no. Actually, I will use one, because that's... I need to make at least one of these. That's a good food. You become a rage gamer? <laughs> I know, right? Why require so much mana when a few mana potions serve the same purpose? Uh, well, I need at least one more to... Even things out. I only took two mana to begin with. I never... I always take three. So... Just to get things back to where they should be. And then just the pocket, I guess. I mean, we got the pocket, too. Now we run! Through the desert. That's so bright, dude. Oh, jeez. Can't even look at it. Tips of the... <laughs> Tips of the nails got you? Yeah, he's just thinking poking me long fingernails well that was a lapse in judgment minor but still a lapse in judgment you notice the blacksmith of the law is using a sar great mace with one hand i did how cool is that you got to be freaking strong to do that isn't it the tortuga isn't his name or something like that what a chad what an absolute beast What an absolute beast. What was I raging about earlier? Oh, Hytra, you should have been here for earlier when I was fighting the the unique enemy in the Lightmender's old cave. Dude, I was I was so mad. I got him down to almost no health, and then he fully regened while I could do nothing. I was very angry. You get Ghost Drum for Aether Bomb? Probably. Um, especially since it inflicts the Ethereal Hex, which will grant me more Ethereal damage. Oh, probably. Can you see that you hold it in one hand? Yeah, that's true, but the blacksmith isn't sheathing it. The blacksmith is using it. Look at this stamina. You gotta love mercenary. You, you got to. Pretty great. One of the NPCs has Merton's Fire Poker. I had seen that one. It's the one by the giant uh, cooking pot that they have over there. I had I had seen that one. Which is really cool, I think. You shoot the drum with bow? No, unfortunately not. I mean, you can, but it does nothing. It doesn't activate them. It does not activate them. 
All right, what do we got to sell? We got two Golem Rapiers. We have the Warleg Spear. One more horror weapon we can craft if there is a iron weapon. Which I don't know that there is. We'll have to find out together. The boons affect damage from Ghost Drum. I want can to I say you? yes. This worries me. Because it should. I can't remember if they made sure that it did though. I think it does, yeah. Uh, I think most, like, traps do, so the ghost drums do it as well. What? Oh, boy. Hey, you don't have any gold, do you? Hmm. Bummer. What a bummer. 50... Yeah, 56? Uh... One more tease. Oh, actually, you know what? Do I want the luxury tent? Yeah, I do. Yeah, luxury tent's gonna be really nice. What's the purpose of the cave to the left of Levant? The one close to the stream of water? I've never found... Found never... T I've never found that takes me over there. Uh, there's a cave this over there, me. and it has nothing in it. It's pointless. It has one chest. It's... It makes no sense. It's just called River's End. It just has nothing. All right, Sheen, gotta go. Got a bus to catch. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Catch you later, Faltano. Catch you later. Yes. This worries me. 191. So we're kind of lacking in the... Money slash gold department. You know what? The Alchemist might have some. I, I don't remember if I checked the Alchemist. Blacksmith has a little bit of gold, too, I think. Yeah, I checked one time because I was wondering what was in that cave. We found nothing. Yeah, I've checked a few t times after that, too, to see if something ever is in there. It's this, nothing. Oh, boy. Just nothing. Uh, when did I get Tourmaline? This, oh, boy. Yeah, no iron weapons from this guy, unfortunately. How oh, okay. This is troubling. This guy doesn't have gold either. Which is slightly sad. Sell that. I think this as well. That and... Okay, now we can check the alchemist and... I think we're done in Levant. Yeah. Okay. This is troubling. Aha, he has money. A little bit of money. There we go. 50 gold bars. After buying two skill trees, I ended up with that much. Wow. Alright, I already used the Iron Spear. So, yeah. We just gotta get that out of here. Which, I have two options. I go get the Rune Tree. Oh, no, I need to go to the slide to get my armor. That's what I was uh, trying to do. But I should really repair. And probably sleep, too. Kung Fu, what are you gathering gold for? I've been selling them. Um, gold weighs less. And since I don't have a house yet, I've been carrying them around. Something on your mind? Want us uh, to look yeah. after you? Pay attention. And so I've been carrying gold around because it weighs less, and uh, yeah, I don't have the house, so I can't like store any of my stuff. And I need gold for later. You know what? Yeah, I'll do. Need gold for later for the what's it called? Uh. New Sirocco quest line if I decide to do it. Hey, Pigeon Eye? Yeah, I paid Pigeon Eye a while ago, Lizzie. Yeah, I, that was before you got here. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool, Kung Fu. It weighs a lot less, so I think... Here, I can show you, actually. Um, 141 silver weighs 1.5. 50 gold weighs 5. 
So if you had, this would be, which is 100 times 50. So 5,000 silver. That would weigh so much, it would probably fill up your entire backpack. But it only weighs 5 pounds instead. Yeah, it's kind of cool. That's why merchants have less gold, but they all... Um, but they still sell it. Pretty useful. Okay, we need to go to the slide, and... Then we can exit Abrasar, probably go back to Berg, buy a few things, and... I need to get my legacy chest items, though. I can't remember what I put inside the holy mission. Or not the holy mission, but the light of spire. Fire of light. That's what it's called. Spire of light. Got there eventually. <laughs> it took a while, but uh, we got there. Okay, we need cactus fruit. And still never bought mana regen. Have a problem. Yeah, when do I get Geb's Blade, Liger? Do you, when do you think I should do that? I don't want to do it right now. I'm going to slide one guy and the slide has a spear or halberd. Oh, true. I could use that. I want a solid weapon that I can use all the time. Rondel Dagger with that enchant's pretty uh, godlike. Yeah, that's really good. I said Smoky Man, the Iron Sar weapons. It's an enchant called. What is that enchant called? I don't know, but it makes your weapon um, not unbreakable and then like 50? A lot more damage. <laughs> That's what it is. Really good. I've used it a couple times. Unsuspected strength is what it is, I believe. Stamina's not even moving right now. That's a lot of arrows. Now, as I am not a bowman, I don't need them. Go right now to the blade and <laughs> go get it now. Well, when I get back to Berg, I could head straight down there. Would not be that hard to do. Let me mine this. I don't. I kind of want to see if I get more tourmaline. Nah, I didn't. This has been mostly just to walk around, collect things. <laughs> been a major journey. We head to the slide. I need to watch out for some of the enemies in there. I mean, I don't have a lot of defense. Grab Warleg Spear. Solid for now. I already sold it, GDA Mara. DJ Mara. I did the Electric Lab. I did do that. It is good. Um. And I've been, I've been, I have a weapon. I've been using the Ethereal Sword. I just, I'd like to have a secondary weapon. So if I run out, I can switch to it and be safe, you know? Unsuspected strength adds 150% existing damage, yeah. So the heavier it is, or the... I think the polearm would be pretty good. The problem is the iron polearm doesn't look that good. Cham, it's only on iron weapons. Yeah, only iron. Only iron. I've actually done a few playthroughs of Caldera, and I haven't gotten Gep's Blade every time. It's kind of funny. Not that hard to get. We go. See how hard this is. Okay, we're cutting through damage. I, I like that. How? He got hit by a bomb and just decided to hit through it? Okay. Hey, get out of here, bro. Yeah, I think the extra damage from my armor set is going to be a little bit nicer. A little bit nicer. Can you imagine 150% on a SAR weapon? Dude. Some of those... I think the... What did the mace do? Like 72 damage or something? That's massive physical damage. You'd be really smacking some people around then. Let's do fire, I guess. 
We will loot the chest here as well. Avant, or the desert has so many easy chests to get to. Get the horror axe. Recipe, that's funny. Rock Mantis is unique, respawns, but has special colors. Uh, because he's just based on the... The plants around him. It's not really like a... It's supposed to be a unique enemy. But yeah, I get what you're saying. Hmm, use a poison varnish. What do we got there? That guy? Now, why would you block at that time? This makes absolute sense. Why would you, like... Sometimes, dude. I feel like I just get attacked in the middle of everything that I'm doing. I should be an unbelievable... What are you doing? I'm just gonna back you up. Of course, the very second that I unblock. What the freak, bro? Come on, stupid bandits. Literally only attack when I'm not blocking. That's the whole problem I have with shields. They only attack when you unblock. So freaking annoying. Died to a bandit. First death. That's sad. Abysmal. Holy crap, I'm down here. What? Insect gunk into the pitch black of the cavern with no way to tell where you are. If this put me on the other side of the slide, I'm going to be so angry. Feels like the larvae you were laying in have been feeding on you. Oh, that's good. They sapped my strength. Even better. Oh, goody. I really wanted to be down here. <laughs> really wanted to be down here. Okay, let's figure out how the heck to get out of here, I guess. You think a 7-gun build, 6-hot bar with blood bullet and fire reload? Eh, be okay. Be okay. Like every other gun build, really. I'm just not... I like... I've done one before where you just constantly switch. Did I really just die to freaking... A bandits, dude? Come on! Desert bandits are annoying as crap. Luckily, I grabbed the key first. Last time I died, I didn't grab the key, and I had to walk all the way around. That sucked. Now, is there a way to cure the hunch? Well, I know there is a way, but is there anything that it tells me it cures the hunch? Aha! The hunch disease. That was pretty easy. Hmm. Yeah. Need to fix our stamina, obviously. Yeah, the, the shield build, it really does feel like attacking more than one enemy at a time just doesn't ever work. It's all good, though. Get Marble Shield and Sweep Kick? True, that'd be a good idea. I mean, I have Sweep Kick right now. Let's get my Ethereal Sword back out. Are you a waste of Varnish, dude. That sucks. See how many of these I can make. One. Amazing. Alright. Uh, ethereal. Let's see. Any kind of mana region? Thought I had a star mushroom. Ah, here it is. Alright. Oh, wait. Did I forget to use the lightning varnish? Lightning rag me? Panacea would probably... Work. Yeah, Panacea cures everything. Thought about using Shield Infuse with this build. Uh, I have it on, actually. It's the slot E that I have it on. Unfortunately, there's not that many enemies that are doing elemental damage at the current time. So I haven't been able to use it much, but... Where are we going to spawn? Right here? Aha! Okay, do we want to light up our... Here's what we'll do. We'll put on the Runic Lantern, I think. Which is green... Blue. Okay, thank goodness I got it right. Alright, let's go, I guess, try and defeat this guy. Can I put down the Runic Trap first? That would be a good idea. 
one is it? It's red, green. No. Red, purple. No, it's red, green. It's weird that the purple's not in the purple trap. Anyone else find that odd? I need to pull this, don't I? Here we go. Hey, buddy! Ah! Alright, come here. Blow, get blown up in my trap. I need you to die by that. Take massive damage. That was not massive. I don't know if I can block this guy's attack. With, uh, shield and use. He's very aggressive. Also, how come the mana sword swings so slow? Feels like it's a... Uh, literally... Dude, I, I can't... This mana sword is terrible. I, I do not like it anymore. It's doing nothing. It's not damaging anyone. Like, what is the deal? It does not have impact. Number one. I think Gep's Blade is just going to be way better. It doesn't have impact. Which is like half the battle. I used to love this thing. Why is it just... I mean, obviously it's not meant to kill a Shell Horror. It does ethereal damage. I don't know. It's not feeling very good, though. Uh, let's see. I guess I could probably pop it again. Nah, I don't have any magic. I don't know. I really need to get that runic armor and test it first. You can cheese him and you block him with the gate and then hit him through it. Ah, that's true, I guess. Okay, do I have health in here? No health. Restore burn health? It does. Not very much of it. Dying is never a good idea. Don't recommend. Alright, here we go. 20 bandages. We can start using these. Actually, you know what? I am wearing leather armor still. I mean, that makes sense why I got... Taking so much damage. It's just really hard to use the runic sword when you have finally gotten used to impact in the game. Obviously, it's really good against golems. Oh, that's a wall. That's what I thought about the sword, but with prefix, it kills show horrors fast. Yeah, I mean, you had the lightning damage. I guess that's... Aha! Runic armor. Enchanted with... Chaos and creativity for our extra 10 movement speed and decay damage for whenever I need decay damage. Now we look good. Unfortunately, that was the only armor piece that I didn't really necessarily need. Okay. Well, you know what? We could try out the... Put, put this to good use here. Now, do I have a varnish? Because if I have a varnish, I will be fine. Yeah, I'm eating through these fast. So, knows the answer to that question. Don't have a varnish. Oh, wait. I have cold infuse. Duh. Ha! Alright, let's see what we can do now. Probably nothing. Oh, he gets full health. See, that's, that's great. Didn't know that. I can't block. Did I literally cannot block after attacking with this sword, specifically. I can only do one attack, or else I cannot block his next attack. See? Every time. Every single time, he's able to hit me, because this doesn't block fast enough, because this sword is so slow. Now it's working. It's blocking instantly. But when I'm in combat, it won't block until after he hits me. What? I'm so confused. It's done it every single time. Is the shell horror cheesing me? Huh. I 
see. Okay. Guess we just stand here. Alright. One attack at a time, ladies and gentlemen. Shell horrors are not meant to be killed with a mana sword. And I'm doing damage, but it ain't great. Yeah, you keep attacking, buddy. You do you. You do you. Just keep hitting me. Dude, this, I, whatever's going on right now is not working. So we need to fix this because this build right now is currently horrible. The lack of impact is a, I like, I thought the shield would make up for the lack of impact, but it doesn't. It really doesn't. Kicking my butt right now. Okay. Um, we need to find a way to do, yeah, I think the AOE from Gep's Blade would be way better. Get those explosions in here. That weapon does a lot of impact. Try to buff more damage. Well, I, I mean, I could, I guess, but... I can't buff the cool boon. I already activated that one. I should buff this for this guy, though. I need uh, discipline and rage, probably. Why don't I have those already? This is one of the reasons I wanted to try this build, actually, because I really wanted to try the Ethereal Sword again after I learned more about Impact, and uh, so far, not a fan. Let's try this Saber here. Can I pick it up? Thank you. The explosion part of the build's awesome, but I keep fighting enemies that don't do elemental damage, so I can't block their attacks. I like every enemy I've been fighting for the while doesn't do elemental blast. Funny. Yeah, you missed. How do you feel? Like a dummy? Yeah, look at that. Boom. Easy. This man of sword is kicking my butt, dude. Did I even take rune mage at that point? What else does explosion damage? Any protection? Yeah, but it doesn't... It, yeah, but that's one protection. It's like, it will matter, but it won't matter, you know? Because I'm not doing damage. The damage is what I worry about. The protection, I know I'm weak to. You know? I need to be putting out more damage. Is there... An, I don't, I'm trying to figure out an ability that would do uh, explosion damage. This. I guess I can't exit through there. Wild Hunter doesn't have explosiveness. I mean, technically, Primal Riches wouldn't be bad, but I already took that tree. Hex? I guess Hex has explosive too, doesn't it? Yeah. I kind of use Hex a lot lately, though. Cabal Hermit does Wind Sigil, Lightning. Does do the Wind Sigil too. I used that in my last build. <laughs> it's like I'll use all the same stuff. Hmm. Well, the funny thing, Liger, is that I, I used to love it. I used to love it. Now, for whatever reason, I think I think like you did, uh, you really got to upgrade it to Runic Prefix. Maybe that's my issue. But I don't really want Runic Prefix. I think maybe if we grab Internalized Lexicon, so I can spam Runic Trap when I need to, we'll be fine. Because that's honestly one of the biggest things right now is I mean, Runic Trap is supposed to be like my backup and I can't use it currently. It's completely unusable because it's not in my hotbar. I mean, I could hotbar it and use a sword instead. Maybe we do that. Let's hotbar. Let's see, it's red-green, right? Or is it green-red? Dude, I... These confuse the crap out of me. Well, the fire rag was to infuse faster. 
You make a good point. It doesn't need to be there anymore. Alright, there should be an exit over here somewhere. Uh, the mana cost reduction will help out later on, too. I have quite a bit of armor that's going to help with that. Crap is red-green. See, I know that. Why do I keep forgetting? So I just need to change this out. I can always cast uh, the sword if I need to, anyway. Alright, well, the slide kicked my butt. I was feeling really good. I've been clearing out caves, but... The slide had me. Taught me some lessons. Defeated me. How do I get... I thought there was a secondary exit, and I thought it was right there. Why is it hot? Oh, because I have this armor on now. So my weather defense is now negative two. <laughs> That's great, dude. Feeling really good about that. What is it now? 31? It's cold out! What? It's not supposed to be hot out. It's nighttime. Um, dude. What's going on? Passed it a while ago? Ah. Did you already test the lantern to see if they fixed the glare? Yes, I did. Here, let me show you. It's green, blue. Yeah, it's big time fixed. It looks way better. Looks way better. You can actually, like, stare at it now and it doesn't bother you. Alright, so... We're done with the desert for now. I know we gotta come back there later for the quest, but... Done with that now. One of the three, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's much better, King. I like it. I like it. Okay. Now, the thing is, I do need my... I think we're definitely taking Internalized Lexicon. I don't see how I'm not going to. What are you doing? Are you climbing a wall upside down? How is that even possible? Very impressed with your skills. Aha. Here we go. What are you doing? Oh my word. When have you ever seen a uh, Alpha Coral Horn run away? Like, they always try to kill you. That's goofy. Why not use Maze? See, the thing about Maze is it doesn't help me. Because I have Shield Infuse. Shield Infuse lets me absorb the elemental attack the same way Mace Infuse does. And it's actually, in my case, what I want to be using instead. The problem is I'm not fighting any enemies that would let me block elemental damage. I'm only fighting humans and shell horrors. They don't... I can't block them anyway. Hence why Shield Infuse has been worthless for me right now. It's one of my best skills, but I can't even use it. So that's why I don't want to use Mace. Couple armor with Spirit of Bird. Mana wall. Yeah. You can block the horrors? Doesn't it still hit you, though? Because they attack three times? Yeah, I think you can block horrors because they do decay damage. Yeah. The ones you can't block is Immaculates, I think. I think. I have no idea. I have no mana for that. Probably not. Okay, how many rations do I have? If I have four, I can go straight to the desert. Or not the desert. Monsoon. Go kill them bandits back there. You guys have any loot? No. Okay, I need to go buy a couple rations. And then we'll go to the swamp. And get my armor. I can't remember what I put in there either. Mace works also like block. Yeah, but like... If I already have shield and fuse, I don't really need it, you know? I 
I gotta buy this extra three to get back into Berg. Because I'm not gonna go anywhere after I get there, probably. How can I help you? Three. Now I have six, which is what I needed. Mm-hmm. 50 gold. I like. I like. Two horror chitin. Do I need to... I could actually make two more horror weapons. That's hilarious. Why not, I say. <laughs> Makes more sense to me. Oh, did I? Yeah, no, I just want to make sure I can get back and I don't have to, you know. Do other things. Go kill hey, bandits. Yeah. Um, let's do spear and halberd. Don't think I have linen cloth, which, weirdly enough, i just been running out of linen cloth left and right. Some runs I have a bunch, some runs I don't. This is one of the ones I don't. Okay. Where is it? Pickaxe, there's a thing, here it is. Aha! One. My one lenny clock. Yeah, I don't think anyone even sells it, do they? Want to buy something? No, doesn't look like it. How can I help you? Aha! One linen cloth. Fantastic. You have saved me, lady. Why did she have How only one? That's weird. Go play also. See you guys. Catch you later, Smokey Man. <laughs> the legacy chests work if you only open the first one in Sierra Zone. Yeah, uh, but the way it works is you have to take an item to every legacy chest to use that specific legacy chest. So you could just... Which, what you can do is just use the one in Sierra Zone to, like, duplicate anything or upgrade stuff you want. But it doesn't open the other three, if that's what you're asking. Alright, um... Confirm, I guess. 58 gold. By the leaf. How can I help you? Yeah, but then I have to carry it around. I don't want to buy it right now. I'll buy it back when I come back through. Alright, I need decay potions and probably mana potions. Though. How can I help you? Yeah, I don't want to buy it right now because I'll buy it later. A varnish. Aha. Buy all of those. Those look fantastic. Never go. Well, I know, but. Want to buy something? It's in my inventory. It's in my way, you know what I mean? I should probably cook, though. We don't need uh, nine of those. We need seven. Here we go. So let's make a, a, uh, a dinner platter. Dinner platter of tartines. A great many of them. All right, we'll throw them on this thing. I always wonder what these were here for. Kind of interesting looking. Oh, nope. Can't do it. I want to line it up perfectly. Right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, I can't even see my fire now. That's lame. <laughs> Plain light water for powder. Yeah. The sugar, you mean? Oh, I need my cooking pot. Duh, that's why I bought it. I do doing? Yeah, berries. What? Dude, I bought a bunch of bread. I bought like five bread. What is happening right now? Did I not buy what I wanted? Want to buy I did buy what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> buy it all now. I grabbed the wrong amount. 
Got a ding dong. Here we go. Alright, now we're good. You know, I usually have a good backpack at this point in the game. Kind of a different play for me. Hm. Not sugar. Leyline water itself. Ah, interesting. Three energizing potions? Those are good. Might get DE just so I can stock a uh, pile of Leyline water skins. <laughs> Might as well, Bully Borg. Might as well. Thought that I had to uh, make, actually. Right, what's our stamina cost at now? So we have 8 stamina. But we have negative 40 for the running. Negative 5 mana cost. Alright. Ooh, you know what? How much mana do I have? 6. That's not enough to do anything. Well, let's eat this. Beautiful turnip stew. I'm weak to lightning damage, because I'm an idiot. And I didn't buy the potion, and I don't care. I'm just gonna do it. It's fine. We take the consequences, ladies and gentlemen. Take them. If I die, I die. That's the rules. It's the rules of the game. <laughs> Let's try to buy a Stingley when I see him. Ah, I see. That kind of makes sense. Alrighty, let's go to the Hollow Marsh and try and attempt to get this armor piece. We'll see what happens. Likely, I will die. Knowing my luck and the current state of things. You know what's funny? Let me tell you something that's funny. I didn't buy my rune skills. Why? I think I like pain. <laughs> I forgot to buy the root skills, guys. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with me? Oh well, we will have to suffice with the shield abilities, which I don't know. These blade dancers shouldn't be too big a deal with this. So they get the jump on me. Luckily, they did not. To go all the way to Monsoon to get bread, marshmallow, and jam. Honestly, it's not a bad idea considering how good it is. <laughs> yeah, big whiff on my part, Rodolfo. Don't worry, Sheen. Marshmallows are here to cheer you up. Fair enough. I like it. I don't know if I want to go all the way over there, though. Okay, I need to open this up first, right? Yes. All right, we got to get all set up here. So, take our water. Like, literally everything that I took is gone, which is sad. Ooh, we have a pressure plate trap. And I have a nerve gas still. Interesting. Yeah. go. All righty, let's buff with a... I don't have anything, so let's do this. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Forgot about that. Okay, we're good. Have a plan. Just harvest marshmallow too? That's true. Any risk of negatives? Or this cave, or what? There we go. Saber putting in work. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Get out of here. Finally, I was able to use Runic Trap like it was meant to be used. The power. It's unbelievable. Whoa, three health potions? Crazy. Just died to a random bandit. Time to start no death run attempt 5. Welcome to my world. Hey, Tartine! I died to, um... What was it? A shell horror? 
No, a bandit. I died to a bandit as well, so don't feel uh, lost in your situation. It happens to the best of us. And the worst of us. Depending on how you look at it. A lot of inventory... Like, I have to go in my inventory constantly with this build. You know? Kind of meh about that one, but... What do you have for me? Arrows? What's the skeleton doing with arrows? That's what I want to know. Marshmallow, no one can eat those and nothing bad happens? Yeah. No, indigestion only happens if you eat, like, uh, overcooked food or food waste. Not overcooked food, but food waste is what it is. Okay, I feel like fighting right here. So I'm gonna fight right here. I like this little leather hat that I got on. It looks kind of stylish. I don't think I can block an elemental attack here. Okay, so we switch back to Runic Trap. This is how I wanted to use it. This is exactly what was supposed to happen the first time. Yeah, you didn't know I had a shield, did you, bud? I can block that. And, of course, he still hits me. Gotcha. Where's my light? I can't see a thing. There you are. Look at the speed. Oh, my word. So much movement speed. I think I have 20%. You replace keybinds three and five with other runes. Oof. Three, I definitely could. Oh, look at that jade acolyte stuff. Cool. Five, I'd have to keep to switch to the lexicon. Uh, but I will be able to switch that off whenever I buy the runes if I get internalized lexicon. But I think I'm gonna do. Rabonia learned something from me when I was streaming Outward a few days ago. Makes me think not everyone knows this. What's that? Did I grab internalized Lexicon yet? <laughs> Nate, I unfortunately... I forgot to. I went to Berg and everything and I forgot to grab it. I don't know what I was thinking. I will, though. Plague DOT and I use Fungal Cleanser to cure it. Oh, that cures that? That's cool. I always just use Panacea. But that's because I always have fans of you when I'm in Caldera. That's good to know for, like, other regions and stuff. Be really useful. Okay, here is the cool thing. This guy should be able to be shield infused. Come here, you. Or don't. Yes, this way. Come to my humble abode of death. Oh, wait. I cannot block right now. I cannot block right now. I am currently pressing the block button and cannot block. Fixed it. So that is still in the game. That is definitely still in the game. Oh, uh, did I not grab the Lich's idol? No, it's in my my backpack. This guy's being annoying. He will not do anything. And then the one second I try to get past him, he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it stand in the doorway. That's what I'm gonna do. Look at him. What a dummy. Get the heck out the way, bro. Alright. Would you get over here? Green blue. He's just standing in the doorway. There we go. Locked it. Yes. The power of shielded fuse. 
It's brilliant. I've finally been able to use it after all this time. Okay. It's coming together, ladies and gentlemen. It's coming together. Just got to get a few more things and the build will be built. Although I have this bug, you have to leave the area and enter again. I don't know why it does it, though. Also, for some reason, it feels like dodging is actually faster than blocking, even with the shield, which is not supposed to be the case. For whatever reason. So weird. Um, now that that's open, I can leave and go to the, the spire. And outrun every enemy because I'm so darn fast. What are you doing here, buddy? You really going to shoot me? There's a blade dancer right behind you. You're not going to shoot him? Fine. Fine. Not worried about it at all. Not at all. Is a marshmallow. Can't grab it because I'm heavy. As per usual. I don't know what backpack I want to go with this build. Honestly, the Light Meters Lexica would be pretty... Not Lexica, no. Backpack would be good, but... I don't have a free dodge. I didn't take Rogue Engineer, so... I can't really use that. Ah, my pocket is not full. Do I have mana region? I do. Although this runic armor, I do, I just love the look of it. It's so cool. The enchant that I put on it gives me extra decay damage, which honestly isn't helping me in all, at all. But if I happen to get like a decay infuse or I don't know, anything else, certain situations, maybe it gets a light mender, it'll be helpful. Maybe against the Alright, I have to survive at least, yeah, quite a few enemies that are really difficult to deal with, so it should be fun. Here we go. Luckily, we have a tool up our sleeve. Makes sense. Yeah, you can attack through being hit and 50% blocked. Yeah, makes sense. Healing is a problem with me right now. I don't know why. I'm not sleeping enough. I think that's what it is. What are we doing? We're going to sit down there? All right, one more bomb and then we should be good to activate our uh, sword, I think. Goodbye. Okay. Time for the shield. Okay, I should be able to block that AoE, right? Or is that a non-blockable? It is not blockable. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I'm just getting absolutely thrashed. I don't have any elemental defense, I don't think. Take another health potion. That's what we have in 44. Actually, they're in my pocket, so. Oh, you know what it is? I have, uh, I'm weak to lightning right now. Huh. Weak to lightning. It's not good. Here we go. Well, that didn't work. At all. This is going great so far. Does this do decent damage? Maybe. Why are you doing that? Ooh, there we go. There we go. That's a decent attack we can hit. Finally. Alright, that's good. He's dead. That is important. We're making progress. That's what matters, right? You gotta make progress. Okay, please have enough for spark. Yes, alright. Alright. 
Booyah. What is happening? Why will no one fight me? I'm not buffed at all. This is helping to fight a lot. Rid of that real quick. There we go. Where'd you go? You hiding still? Come on, let's do something. There we go. Why is this saber so good? Why is this saber so good? I love it to death. Alright. Um, we got big guys coming up, but I really need a buff before them. Yeah, oh, that dude? Why was there a third guy? Did he come down from there? They don't usually do that. What's the play here, guys? I need my mana regen. Of which I still don't have. I think, honestly, if we cast... We should get... Yeah, we'll cast the uh, Runic Sword this time. Plan on killing the Lightmender? Eh, not right now. No, not right now. My abilities are... Uh, not up to par for that. I have very little damage, unfortunately. Okay, now I can buff with Mist. And I'll do cold damage. Don't have enough mana. See, I don't have enough mana to cast Runic Protection. I can shield infuse this guy. That's an AoE, but last time it wasn't. Dodge, please. Thank you. All right. That's the opening I needed. That should be a block. It's not an AoE. It's counting as an AoE sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. I blocked this early at the same character, and it worked. Okay. See? What the freak? Should have never taken damage from that. Hey, you're in for it now, buddy. You messed with the Wrath of Sheen. Dead. Yeah, why did the first one deal damage to me? That makes no sense. You know what it is? I think sometimes it hits, like, the corner of the shield instead of the center. And it... Yeah, maybe the angles. That's what I was thinking, too, Crimson. Really weird. Although, I will say, Runic Sword's really good for this dungeon. Crushing him. Runic Sword would probably do enough damage, but no stagger. Lightning Resist gear would be a bit painful. It plays to hit buttons always? Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, there's that. Let's get some more mana going. Okay. Ta-da. We got a lot to deal with still, though, so... Let's not get our hopes up. Let's not get our hopes up. I'm overweight, but it's not anything helpful. That's the funny thing. Because if it was something helpful, I could have, like, rags, uh, imbues. Most of it is junk. Although this I will use soon. That's going to be really helpful. Probably need to stop making 20 tartines at a time. I think that's the play. Probably not beneficial to me. Top 10 products. What's up, man? How's it going? Playing two-handed sword. Health bar goes burr. It's true. I like the two-handed sword. One of the few uh, weapon types I haven't done a build with yet. Shield being one of them. 
Oh, I don't need to go up to his seat, do I? Yeah, definitely the angle. Hey, what's up, Rico? Which faction will you enter? Uh, definitely Sorbor. Or the Mana Inf... Or, uh, is it called Mana Infuse? I think Mana Infuse. Sounds like a good play. How do I take these guys out? Is this gonna hit me? Okay, this blocks it. Is there a way for me to take them out without... The Lightning guy is so hard to deal with. Ah. Gotta give me Lex Gun. Or, uh, internalized Lex Gun. I gotta get that. Let's see if I can take him out. I'm. This may be a suicide run, but we'll see. Okay, that blocks it sometimes. I don't think it does always, though. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that damage. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Alright, now we got this guy to deal with. Nice. Get our stamina back. Okay, this was a clean fight. I like this. <laughs> we go together, yeah. Is Lexicon in there? Uh, no, this is actually a runic tablet. A runic tablet. You need it for one part of the monsoon faction quest. I don't think it's really needed for anything else, though. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, the shield being broken is killing me. <laughs> Considering it's a major part of my build, when it breaks, it's just game over. All impacts down the drain. I have a plan, though. We're going to sleep and get rid of that. We're fine. The quest item? Yeah, it, it's a quest item. It has to do with the holy mission quest. But you don't need the quest to get it, is the thing. All right. Is it her own kingdom? Oh, you're right. It is her own kingdom. Yeah, because they need it to uh, appease the Sorobor and Caravaners. So they'll take the marshmallows over there. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Time for the fun part. Gotta kill these guys first. No! Gotta stop attacking three times. I only attack once. That's all I get. Only one time, or twice. I cannot attack three times. Keep doing it, and it gets me killed every single time. Alright, new plan. Pull this lever, we go up here, and we heal. Just hope the guy doesn't come after us. Oh, no, I'm dead. Really? He aggroed me before I'm even in the room. I, I had this thought in my head. I said, you know what? It might happen. Maybe don't do it yet. Maybe check. Maybe check. But no. No, I couldn't check. I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered to check and save my life. No, I, I couldn't bother with that. Oh, I hate this dungeon. Okay, let's do this. I was literally about to sleep and before I fought the big guy. I wanted to kill the little guys first, but no. Couldn't do that. Alright, let's do this. Uh, red. Purple. Mist. Literally about to check, too. I go, I should check. And then I'm like, ah, it's fine. Was it fine? Did it look fine? No. Because it wasn't. What is, what's my blocking doing? I'm literally blocking attacks. Why is it not blocking? I don't... I, I don't know. I don't know. The shield feels good in certain situations, and then other situations, it feels like it doesn't work at all. 
I definitely was up and blocking after that attack, and I still got hit three times. What? Something I'm missing here. Maybe I need a better shield. Definitely one that's not broken. Obviously, that is a major hindrance to me right now. Okay. We're here for the content, and I got a giggle out of it. Nah, it's kind of funny. I think that the shield being broken, like, makes it lose some of its blocking ability? I didn't think that's how it worked, but I guess it is. I guess I'm gonna have to sleep, because uh, I cannot block anything. Yeah, whoever said SAR shield was a good idea, I think I'm gonna have to grab it. You just can't, uh, you can't block enough with any other shield because of the durability issue. That's a little much, don't you think? We're gonna have to risk it. Let's go! Go for SAR. I, yeah, honestly, I really need SAR. Zorn, Zorns would be a good idea, too. Yeah. Problem is I need decay resist for that cave, and I don't have any decay resist right now. I have none. I get away with these potions, but... Completed the game with Runic Blades. Biggest weakness is the zero impact. So if you're planning to use it, you'll need to find a good impact shield. Well, the thing is, I have one. Um, but like... Like I was saying earlier... When it breaks, it loses everything. It's one of the best impacts I've ever had. But it, when it breaks, it's done. You might as well just give up. Might as well give up. It's killed me twice already. Okay. Now, I am weak to lightning. That's part of it. But I'm just saying the, the biggest deal is that. Uh... Aha. Here we go. Drink this. Take a bandage, because we're probably going to get hit, knowing the the way things have been going lately. <laughs> okay. Enter door. They're standing here. I forgot about that. Alright. Can I hit them both with this? There we go. One down. That's what we got this ability for. Okay, my runic blade is gone. There we go. Alright. A little bit of revenge there. So is this guy going to be standing on my head when I get up there? How's that work? Oh, he's right there. Interesting. Interesting. I'd like to kill him. I should buff up before I go up there, though. Probably a good idea. Mm. Do I want to... Oh, you know what? I might just use this. Although, that's going to be a good idea to have for later. Let's go with the Ethereal Sword. Darn it. Do I have potions? I do. Okay. That's some cold damage. That's ethereal damage. And physical damage from my shield. Okay. What do I have here? Good. Nope, put on shield. Yep, there we go. Alright, you're not gonna come stomp on my face this time? Whoa, 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 whoa. 20 feet away, what's the deal with that? Oh my word, look at the damage. A little far away, but... Did the job. Easy. Easy. See, if I was prepared, <laughs> that fight would have been fine. Yeah, what's up, Dendra? Yeah, still uh, still cooking. I got about uh, 40 minutes-ish left. Till I get off. 
I'm gonna use traps and runic protection. I'm going to, Rika. The problem is, is currently I have this, which increases my mana cost by plus 40. And I have very little mana in total. Because I didn't even buy the runic anything yet. So that's gonna help a lot later. I screwed myself and forgot to take it, basically. <laughs> that's what happened. Wrecked him that time. Yeah, Lily Panda, what's going on? Much better damage. I like that. I like that. I prefer it to the previous uh, encounter. What do we got in here? Any varnishes or rags or things? No, of course not. Once again, not getting any mana region. Do I have any food for I really just need to go make a bunch of potions, I guess. My timer on the blade. 50 seconds. Alright. Well, we have to equip this. Cast this. Ah, here we go. Because this is gonna be this is gonna be rough, I think. I saved a decay varnish for this. Luckily. Okay. Not what I meant to do. Here we go. Now I think we're good. Probably should not put this here, but whatever. Tank that. Well, that's shredding. Alright. That's the biggest dish you had to deal with there. That did not work. Okay. Let's go. Had the right varnish on at the right time. That's what I tried to do before and it didn't work. Okay, so the build's good. It's just I have to use things correctly. <laughs> you can block normal attacks with the shield infuse if they deal elemental damage. Yeah, but it's hard to know which do elemental damage, I think. So here's the boots that I have. They are the runic boots. Um, one of the reasons that I grabbed the runic set was because it all has barrier, which is pretty nice. So, the enchantment I got on it is negative 5% cooldown reduction and plus 7% movement speed. So, it's going to increase my movement speed even more. The one problem with it, which you will notice immediately, is the stamina cost, which is plus 9. The chest plate is already plus 11, so it's plus 20% uh, stamina cost. Luckily, with our tent buff, we'll be fine. Well, when I'm not overweight. So here we go. Now we're, now we're looking pretty good. Look at this. Looking snazzy. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot my own thumbnail, guys. The horror shield deals poison damage. That's the whole point of this build. Is because this chest plate buffs up poison damage. I forgot. Oh, you know what? The Pillar Greyhammer is there. What's up, Dalton? Welcome to the stream. Pillar Greyhammer. Ta-da. Fashion show? Heck yeah. Okay, we can delete the boots. Alright, so the th important thing to note is humans... Or no, all golem types will be easy with this build because the, the runic blade is fantastic for them. Now, anything else is the problem. I need to look up the recipe for the horror shield. I don't remember what it is. It's probably an iron shield, chitin. Is it the same as a regular recipe? Probably different, actually. Or next, um... Well, we have, we have an option. Now, I'm kind of scared to say this. But uh, technically, my other armor piece is in the Vigil Pylon in Enmerger Forest. If we get the rest of our rune skills, I think it's possible we can take it down. I think it's possible. This might be stretching it, but it might be possible. We'll see. 
Ethereal damage is really good for the Harmatin quest line. I did the whole thing with Dreamer, however. Yeah, Dreamer's nuts. But the thing about Dreamer is it does physical, too. So it makes up for some of that, you know, leeway. And it has really nice impact and attack speed. This sword does not have a 1.1 or 2 attack speed. It has a 1. It's not great. And the impact is nothing. So. But it slices through enemies, that's for sure. I mean, cuts through them. Let's do what he says. All right. Bang, uh, used to be all ethereal? Really? I didn't know that. Go back to Endmerker. Bang shield, horror, chitin. Pull remains, play and scrap. Okay, so it's a regular one. Destroy stuff. Thank you. Appreciate that. I need to make that then. Where can I get a... I don't think there's any other shell horrors in Endmerker Forest other than the... Cabal Wind Temple. No, I don't have time for you. I'm sorry. Nope. I do not have time to mess with you today. Fine. I just want to warn you that you wanted this. How much durability does the horror shield have? I think shield is round shield, predator bones, linen. Okay. Standard. Yeah. Do I need two predator bones? No, it's just one. What's the durability on this? 175 versus 260? Okay, did everything in this area respawn? I don't think so. No, it should have by now. I could hit that up when I go down to... Yeah, Vigil Pylon first, obviously, but... Would I have 100% slapped two bones in there if I hadn't looked? I probably would have, yeah. I probably would have, too. Destroy stuff. Or shield is 250 durability. So the same... Is it the same or less? 10 less? That's not that big. We'll just need to repair more often. That shield's going to be really nice because I have that 10% uh, decay bonus. Reese is in Berg. I think she is a shell horror in disguise. Fair enough, lazy. I think the Dreamer Halberd thing was pre Soroborians, though. Oh, really? Probably. Resurrect Sean, what's going on? Thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. Welcome. Glad to see you in the, uh, the live stream. What's up, man? Hope you're doing all right. I have died twice. It's one of the days where I think towards the end of the stream, I slowly get worse. You know? Occasionally that happens. It was one of these days. With a build like this, you got to be really careful. Just, I've gotten a little bit more reckless as we've gone on. A little bit more reckless. But it's all good. It's all good. What's up, Ricky? Welcome back. Enchanted a lexicon and gave me 40% physical damage boost. So one handed weapon and other hand is nuts. Yes, that enchant. I looked at it. I wanted well, to use it. Something. Didn't fit for my build. It's awesome. Love that one. 70, 750. Who has 750? Probably Blacksmith. Get out the freaking way, bro. I'm trying to do stuff here. How can I help you? Oh, jeez. Someone has gold. Somebody had a bunch of it. Let's go buy the rune skills first so I know I have enough. Good idea. So go on to see. What's up, Six? Yeah, I mean, I'm... I got another 30 minutes in me. Maybe more, depending on where we end up. Haha. <laughs> see what happens. How's your shield getting along? Yeah. They're breaking pretty fast, so I think Sar shield will have to be a buy. And definitely horror shield is what I'm gonna go get next, because that's what I was supposed to get in the first place. I forgot. I completely forgot about that. I think I already have a Colt Remains, don't I? A Colt and Palladium. So I just need the Chitin. Okay, so I'm going to do what I've said to never take. And I'm going to take Internalized Lexicon, I think. Increase your maximum mana by 40, which is amazing. Already great for this build. Gain access to more advanced runic combos. Why Horror Shield? Ah, uh, because it does poison or decay damage. Extreme poison. 
Um, and my chest plate gives me a 10% bump in decay damage. I forgot about it. Having to go a full lever for free money? Yeah, you know it destroys stuff. I got the runic boots and runic chest for my legacy so far. We'll buy this. Alright, I need to get that. Which means I need another 300? 400. It's like 320-ish. Yeah, I got, uh, let me show them off real quick. This, I have the runic armor, which is awesome. If you enchant it, it has chaos and creativity, which is a 10% bump in damage to decay with a plus 10 movement speed bonus. Runic boots are always awesome because the two, you know, two barrier. And then we have a negative five cooldown reduction and plus 7% movement speed. We didn't really max out any particularly, any particular one stat, but we got quite a few of a multiple different stats, which is cool. Rune Sage actually go well with Spellblade. Uh, kinda. It's working. Yes and no. Um, if you go for the way I'm doing it, you can make it work, I think. Do I have enough gold? I don't know. I don't know. How many do I need? Six? Four? Oh, that's way too much. I need to take... There we go. Yeah, there it is. I'm trying to figure out what the math in my head. Two plus four is... Ah... The number. Doesn't really capitalize anything with Spellblade set, but Rune Magic are super versatile. If you want to play around with them. Yeah, like, you have a lot of options, you know? If I... Spellblade is just cool. And since I wanted to use all the explosive abilities, that's just kind of where it ended up. How can I help you? All right. I might regret this later on, ladies and gentlemen. I might. But. For the sake of the story... We'll be taking Eternalized Lexicon. I feel like it should buff something else, too. Like, something small. I don't know. If it added, like, five cooldown, maybe? I don't know. Let's make it stuff up at this point. So I no longer need that Lexicon. Yay! Spellblade plus Rune is fantastic, especially with Runic Prefix. With Runic Prefix, definitely. Definitely. Fortunately, I had to take that, but... Moving on. Alright, and I'm still overweight, meaning I am carrying crap is what it's me. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? Well, first this off, me. you can make me better. It's currently rashing it up. Mm-hmm. Five weight for that. Unbelievable. I don't need any of this. I just need to sell what I don't need. There we go. It's the boxes. I was trying to figure out what was weighing me down. Here we go. 67.3. That's fine. I just need the chitin for the horror shield. I'm not doing the rest of it because there's no point. Don't need money what right can now. I do for you? Yes, I know I probably should while I'm over there, but it's I don't want to do it again. Not right now. I mean, getting bored with outwards, I keep looking for some magic melee builds, but none really fit what I want. It can be hard to find magic melee builds. How can I help you? Um, I'm trying to think of a good magic melee build you could do. I mean, there's a lot, honestly. A uh, Chakram Mace build is okay. It's pretty decent. Can't think of anything on top of my head. Blasphemous always need money. <laughs> hey, that's true. Let's give a Finos. I might be able to now. So I could stop running around in heavy overweightness. Yeah, six. Six power coils. What? That's crazy. Look at how fast I am now. Woo! Okay. Oh, no. You know, I was going to do the, the Vigil Pylon. I forgot. I was going to do the Vigil Pylon. 
I need to do that first. Because it's on the way, I think. We'll see. Bubblehead is cool. You can grab the Ivory Staff and Moonswipe plus Warrior Monk. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. The Ivory Staff is overlooked, but it's a phenomenal staff. Stamina consumption is definitely brutal. Oof, that's a lot. Anyone chasing me? Well, I got fight music going on. We calm down outward? Jeez. Gonna run the Legacy Cleaver build, Seguin Blade. Yeah, it's awesome. It is awesome. I think Outward 2 will be a good idea. Outward 2 would be a phenomenal idea, because they could take everything they've learned from this game, and all the mistakes that they made, and all the great things they've done, and modify it to make a fantastic game. Will we get it? I don't know. I don't know. Still up for debate. Haven't been told. To build max cooldown every staff. A max cooldown build would be interesting. I feel like I should do it eventually, you know? Should kind of do it eventually. Uh, no. They... People have been asking the developers if they're making an outward 2. And they won't say yes, but they won't say no. They're just basically not telling us. So, we don't really know. We don't really know. Well, I appreciate the want for an hour or two. There's a part of me that thinks attempting to catch the lightning in a bottle twice is a bad idea. That's, I mean, there's always that, you know. That's always a possibility. Oh, wait. I don't need this lexicon anymore. Here we go. Booyah. What do I need? Purple? That's what I'm talking about. Let me get some of this imbue up in here. Now I've got more mana too. Oh, you're in for it, buddy. Oh, you're going down. Let's do this, beastie. Some of this. I brought the pain today. Yes, look at the damage. The damage numbers are on. Ah, oh, it's crazy. I'm gonna say on fire, but it's not really fire damage, so it doesn't make any sense. The damage is insane. It's perfect. I still didn't buy anything for mana regen. Why do I hate myself? Why? Why do I do it? Lay Wilt to mana cost, though. Yeah, I really need to find some uh, dreamers for it to get rid of it. Our two must have a jungle. Haha. <laughs> hey, jungle and snow. I'll take jungle and snow, honestly. Max cooldown would be most fun with Frost Sigil. Dude, Frost Sigil, honestly, because the biggest problem with it is its cooldowns are so high. Proper snow map would be nice. Can't just be ignored with pots. Exactly. Exactly, guys. We're on the right track here. Figuring stuff out. The leader. Why is that in the ground? Ooh, perfect timing. Are you kidding me? You guys suck so bad I can't even get damage from you? No! Of course, then I get hit. Okay, that's perfect. That makes sense. What a powerhouse, dude. This actually might be a lot easier considering I'm fighting ghosts and they're so weak to Ethereal. It's gonna be kind of fun. Idea for a map, what about the kind of ocean city? A bit like Venice. That's what... What's it called? Uh, Orochi? Orochi is? Uh, the Kazite hometown? It's just a bunch of boats put together. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh! Almost a one hit? Buddy, that does not feel good for you.
Buddy. Get the heck out of here. I'm smacking him in the face. I have to take a hit, though. That's what I don't like about ghosts, is you have to take one hit, because they attack so fast. Is impact resistance as well as adding impact to one attacks with the rage status. Oh, it just gives you rage? That's not really anything extra. I already have it. What heals that I have on me? I've been trying to keep things for that. I think I finally ran out of meat, though. I did. What a fool. Want some extra extreme temperature areas and hostile environments? Want to have to prepare and collect specialized gear before being able to enter each biome? Yeah, I can agree. One of the biggest complaints I have with um, the... What is it? I can't remember what it's called, but it's the snowy armor set. Is It's useless because most of the time it's not snowing. You can just avoid it. But it'd be really awesome to have to wear or have to survive extreme temperatures or something. I think we go through this one. That's that's slightly cheating, but I'll fight fine. See, it's impossible. It's to time that. It's so dumb. Okay. This is a fun little thing we're doing. They instantly attack every single time. It's so quick. I cannot not take damage. I cannot. It is driving me nuts. And I have no health regen whatsoever. I really thought about this before I came in here. I really did. Put a lot of uh, time and energy into this. Let's go do a hard dungeon. Uh, let me not prepare. Okay, good idea. Good idea. I have Runic Heal now? I do? Do I? I don't think I do. Oh, the special ability gives Runic Heal? No, I forgot about that. I thought he had to take Runic Prefix for some reason. Okay. Oh yeah, that's good. That's, that's fine. That's cool. Okay. Let me... I'll take a mana pot here soon. Okay, which one did I need to go through? I think it was that. This one? I enter through there. I go through here. Then I go back through here. Yes. Okay. That one's weird. How much longer we got? We got 51 seconds. I think I could defeat a ghost in that time. See, they won't attack me when I block. It's so annoying. Alright. Here's the hard part. I have no fire resistance. At all. I've got to be able to... Nail I guess I could put this on. I guess I could put this on. Uh, The most that I have is lightning damage. Let's wait for this to run out. Yep. Yep. Do this. And this. The like current temperature restrictions are fine. No, they're good, yeah. It'd be fun to play around with a little bit more, but yeah, I think they're good. Alright. Lightning varnish, fire resist. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be weak to cold. Let's use this instead waste of varnish, but whatever. Alright, three. Alright, guys. Here's the problem. Move the pocket. Don't have any healing. I gotta take a bandage to survive the, the fire that's about to burn down upon me. This should be fun. Hopefully I don't die. Luckily, they're standing right next to each other.
Not good. Amazing. All right, that's what we needed to kill. Circle. No way that hit me. Fine, we're good. My cold buff ran out. What the heck? How did my cold buff run out? What? Easy. Let's go. Even without the cold buff, we didn't need it. We didn't need it. Still got it. Easy peasy. That's what I'm talking about, Halvor. Easy peasy. Oh, dang it. It's this one. <laughs> okay. Um, before I kind of knew what I was doing, this I enchanted the Light Metas Lexicon with Mana Regen. So I guess I could switch off of it to get that regen every once in a while. Plus three movement speed, point one regen. I thought it was kind of fun at the time. I didn't really have a fourth thing. And now I'm not really using it, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll work through it. Ooh, elite plate armor. That is palladium, I believe. Two pieces. So this was a massively easy dungeon. That was kind of fun. I was hating on the ethereal sword earlier. I really was. I shouldn't have done that. I uh, I was. I should have hated on myself the way I was playing. That's what I should have hated on. So I was playing like crap, but now with that setup right there, that's that's some good damage. And with the shield being able to keep the enemy knocked back, that's fantastic. Grab the legacy chest. I missed it. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll show you what it is, Halvor. It's my. Uh, I enchanted a. Let's see, a Lightmender's lexicon with inheritance of the past. I forgot that I put my helmet in the Sierzo storage one, so I got to get that later. But basically, this will let me. Move this to bag. It gives me mana regen. The enchantment. Do I need Gep's Blade for maximum boon, though? Yeah, I do need Gep's Blade. I think before I go to... I'm gonna go get the Horror Shield and probably be done for today after that. Then on Thursday, the first thing I'll do is get Gep's Blade. Go kill... Uh, No, no, no. I need to get Gep's Blade on Thursday. First. And then I'll head to Sierzo, talk to Ido, sneak in and talk to Balira for the preservation backpack. And then I will get my last legacy item and then go do the faction quest. Uh, we didn't do any of the faction quests today. That's kind of funny. All right, buddy. Let's do this. The extra mana from Rune Mage, let me tell you. Fantastic. Love it. Absolutely love it. Worked out really well for this build. What was that? Frame raid drop. X Cabal Rogue. Um. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, that's a really good one. Because, honestly, rogue with anything is fine. Because if you're remaining rogue, you're doing a lot of damage dagger skills. You're already good. Cabal Hermit, that's actually a, a, basically an OP build. Hex Mage is always good with everything. Rogue is always good with everything for the free dodge. But, usually, it's not recommended for everything, even though it can be good with it. And then Cabal Hermit's the best tree in the game. So you can pair anything you want with it. So yeah, those three are... That's actually a really good build. I think you need to start faction quests to do Vendival peacefully. Oh, true, don't I? See, that's why I never do the preservation backpack part. That's that's the one reason why I never get it. Okay, we won't do it then. We'll just go kill Belira. I wasted time earlier not doing that then. We'll go kill Belira. And then get our legacy. Because I'm not going to Harmat and then coming back. That's dumb. I can't do that. Yeah, but I'm joining Sorbor, so then I'd have to magically get the right town, you know? It's fine. I'll buy an Alchemist backpack instead. It does nearly the same thing. Feels like if you're doing anything with Elemental, you're almost forced into Cabal Hex. 
By default, yeah, sort of. Because they're the best. In terms of that, yeah. The only way you wouldn't is if you're taking Philosopher or Fire Damage, and then... Or Fire Damage, and that kind of makes up for that. Most of the time, yeah, you're going to be taking... Gubball Hermit for Elemental Damage. Cabal Hermit is a... It's got that Wind Infuse, and it's got the Shamanic Resonance. It's really hard to get away from Shamanic Resonance. Hey, Sheen, what shield is that? Joel, this is the Crimson Shield. Uh, the Crimson Shield. You get it from killing Rospa in the Vendable Fortress. And actually, check this out, guys. Check this out. I didn't know this. Have you ever read this? This is talking about the, the Trey Montaigne Clan. The description reads, Blood Red Shield used by the leaders of Northern Tribes. The Northern Tribes in Outward is the Tremontane. It's the city of the north, where the, um... I believe the ice... Mountainy ice region is, I think. Yeah, it's... Bold color makes it stand out in the snowy landscape. Yeah, that's from Tremontane. How cool is that? I think it might be the only item from Trey Montaigne. Thanks, dude. Yeah, no problem, Joel. It's from Vendival. It's a pretty decent shield. You got a lot of impact. Not the best, of course, because you got stuff like shield and or uh, SAR and all that stuff, but it's a good starter. You can kill him. All right. So when you kill one shell horror and immaculate, and we're good to go. The ball gives everything, to be honest. Yeah. Is both damage and defense. Yep. 100% agree. The second most versatile is obviously Hex Mage, unless you're not using elemental damage at all. Actually, no. I will say the second most versatile is actually Totems. Because no matter what you do, if you take Totems, they help you. Because you don't even have to use them. You get more defense. He's dead. And then third would be Hex, because you can only use it if it's uh, elemental damage. So this did not respawn. That's sad. That's sad, because the... I thought for sure that I respawned the area. I went to Levant, slept a day, that's six days, then went to Monsoon. What? How did that not skip days? Oh, it did. The Immaculate didn't for some reason. What the heck? Why was the Immaculate dead? That makes absolutely no sense. The Immaculate should not have been dead. Somebody, like, messing with me right now? Is that what's happening? Is this a prank? Nine dots on my server? Are they, they screwing with my, my game? I don't know. Palladium and a coat remains. Booyah! Now we have the horror shield, which, in honestly, in my opinion, is one of the coolest shields in the game. Look at this thing. It's the backside of a shell horror. Come on, you can't not like this. You cannot not like this. It's awesome. Absolutely love Crimson Arbor and Kelvin's. Oh, Crimson Arbor is fantastic, and Kelvin's Great X just is a beast. Mini Scourge Beasts kill the Immaculate? I don't think they can, though. I really don't think they can. Maybe, though. Time to get dirty. What is in my pocket? Oh, that. Here we go. We use shield bash. Ooh, look at that. Extra damage. And now I can walk away. He's extreme poisoned. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I wanted. Oh, wait. I have my thing out. Uh, what is it? Uh, green, blue. There we go. Oh, what's the matter? Did your buddy die? Oh, he didn't die. Alright. I'm making fun of him for no reason. Do this. Can I block that? I think it's gonna AoE me, right? Oh, I blocked it. Ouch. 
Why am I taking no damage? Did anyone see that? I took no damage. Is it the barrier? Don't die from DOTs often. They heal each other. Yeah. Why did I take no damage, though? I got hit directly. Must have been a small amount of damage. I mean, I have decent barrier now. I have eight barrier. Hmm. Favorite fishing hat? This hat looks cool, doesn't it? This is the build. The fishing hat build. You shall die. The stamina is my biggest problem with this build currently, but I think once I get to the the mega stamina pots and stuff, we'll be fine. Luckily, I don't think it gets any worse than this. Look at the impact. It's phenomenal. Where's my backpack? Oh, it's over here. I'm thinking, yeah, probably the barrier. Yeah. I didn't think I had that much barrier, but I guess I do. So 10% decay bonus here. Actually, my helmet is going to give me a decay bonus as well. That's another reason I wanted it. Um. Oh, I have no water. That's why my stamina is being bad right now. It's being bad. It's being bad, guys. Yeah, here we go. Barry probably blocked it all. He only hit with five damage. Ah, you're right. That's a really good then. That's really good. Only thing we're having an issue right now with is mana consumption, which is going to get a little bit better later on. And I'm uh, making potions. I need to make more potions. Okay. Do, 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 do. But this is going to help with the mana consumption because it's going to give me it back. I forgot. Let's do this. Time to kill another show horde to test out the power of this build. You want some of this, you big scaly reptile? Take it. By the way, that does not block while you're doing it. I just... If someone told me it did, it does not. You get hit every time. I'm gonna say right now, I really despise... Uh, the fact... That... Infused shield... Or shield infused, like, is goofy as heck. It's really goofy. Uh oh. Fight music? No? Okay. We gotta get out of here. I'm in trouble. So the mana sword is terrible against enemies that have high impact. But it absolutely cuts through enemies that are resistant to it. Really need to get Gep's Blade to fix that. I need to find another source of uh, damage for that. Use shield should definitely be an iframe. I would agree. I think... I think it's because it's mostly used for, like, range damage, and I'm using it for whatever the heck I want. Alright, well... I think that's where we'll have to leave the build right there. I don't like to leave it with corruption and stuff, but, uh... That's about it for me today. It is a lot. We ended up with 57 gold... We ended up with at least one star stone. That's cool. A couple different items for the bosses. Six power coils. We can get Bafinos next time. Yay. <laughs> and all but one of our armor set. So we got to go get the last piece of our armor set next time. And we will be good to go. We'll be... We'll be cruising. And do our faction quest with these. So... Look at the total stats right now. We're looking pretty bad in terms of weight because of my backpack. Uh, uh, but it's a really fast build. Decent mana. We got 95 mana right now. It's going to take one more point later. 
And then I don't have the... I think it was, uh... Is it efficiency or... The extra stamina from Harmattan. So... Catch you later, Anders. So, yeah. Got some nights because I need to set Legacy for a new hour. Oh, I got you, lady. Made my day go fast. Jeez. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you for, uh... Oh, hey, F. Sorry, we're ending the stream, my friend. Uh, thanks for everybody who watched. We got some donations today. Thank you guys for that. 91 likes on the video, ladies and gentlemen. 91 likes. That's... That's unreal. I think that's the most likes I've had on a video so far. Or a stream. So, thank you for the support. Uh, thanks for watching. This was a lot of fun. I had fun with this build. It's an interesting idea. Uh, definitely got some help from you guys for making it a little bit better. And I did die twice. So, it's not a good build. Unless you die twice. <laughs> unless you die every once in a while. So, uh, we'll be back on Thursday. See how good it is um, when we finally start our faction quest. And get to fight some harder stuff. That's kind of exciting. Other than that, um, that's about it. Yeah, 90, yeah, 90, 95 likes, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Agnes, uh, good seeing you all in the chat. Hopefully you have a great day, great night, whatever it is for you. Um, and I will uh, see you on Thursday. Hope you have a good week.